Good day, everyone. Good day. How are we doing today? I hope we are doing well. You know, I know how y'all like to do. It's Friday. Do not spin up all your cash. I appreciate y'all for being here, hanging out with me. And you know, I like how I like to start the day. When I say good day to you, I want that beautiful and excellent energy right back. Say good day back. Make sure you hit the like button, the share button, because we are the solution-based group. We are here to rebel against remedial rhetoric every single day. We want to make sure your thoughts is yours. You're not just regurgitating. As we build this plane while we are flying it in the air and we fly it high. Absolutely. Man, it's a beautiful day. Sun is out. Fun is out. I got some things I got to press. I got to still got to do some things. Hopefully y'all miss me. So I missed y'all. Yes, I did. I missed y'all. We got some things we want to talk about. What y'all doing for the weekend? Let me know. I got to set some things up. Come on now. There we go. Hmm. It won't allow me to. That's interesting. So what y'all doing this weekend? Are we going to have some fun? We going out to the bars, staying in the house, Netflix and chilling. What is it that we are doing? Me, I just became a new grandfather again. So that is pretty dope. Yep. I find we finally got a male in the house. So I finally got my grandson. So that's pretty freaking dope for me. I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't know how much they're going to be able to have time to themselves with that child. They're going to have a lot of free time with that child because... I'm going to steal it as much as I possibly can. My boy's going to give it back. For sure, you're going to get your child back. <laughs> That's the beauty of grandchildren. You get to play with them, have fun with them. You don't got to discipline. You don't got to do none of those things. Whew, coffee's still hot. Yeah, that's good. That looks good. Now, let me see. Let me get to doing some things over here. Why everybody come in? I cannot do anything for some reason. What is going on? Okay, let's do that like that. Let me start a poll. What you going to do? Okay. You are, that member is not in a good position. So what is on the plan for why I cannot do this right now? I don't understand. I usually could do this very easily. It's not making sense to me. Hmm. I cannot do what I need to do. It's stressing me out. But anyway, we could keep the conversation going. I also want I got some things I want to talk about on this as well. So we are going to talk about the goddamn squatters. In New York City, and how crazy it is out here. These squatters is unruly. What up, Otis? <laughs> what up, Dow Long? What it do? Now, nah, Otis. I, well, I had to take off yesterday because I became a brand new grandfather again for the second time. I got a grandson now. Just brought brought my grandson into the world, so that is awesome. You know what I'm saying? What up, down long? And uh, so, yeah. So I was just, you know, enjoying that and, and smelling of the, the new fresh skin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like that fresh new baby smell. It's an awesome thing. Mm-hmm. The real, real, what it do? Otis, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to drop it early since it is Friday. Well, I'm trying to get some more things situated. I will drop it early. And before we get to the whole squatter, New York City is getting crazy with the immigrants and the squatters and all these things. It's getting pretty wild over here in NYC. Being a landlord is more difficult than anybody would have ever thought today. Even though, you know, squatting has been something that's been going on in New York City for a long time. 
It's it's a real thing, especially if you live in like Queens. In Queens, squatting is a big deal. If you know somebody that's that's living by themselves, like a grandma or something, man, the squatters be lurking around that household, just waiting for her to die. So if she die, they had to wake, blah, blah, blah. People go do the thing. And next thing you know, some dude walking down the street, some alcoholic, he just go ahead and he go ahead and um get some kind of electric bill in the name of that household. And after that, he make up some fake lease and you can't get him out. And now he's just living in this house for free. And the people that get the house passed down to them, they trying to figure out how to get the squad out. You can't. It's going to take you about a year or two to get this person out while wow, you still got to pay the bills. Or you might just foreclose on your house. It's crazy. It is wow. Thank you, Darrell. Six CPs watching. Let's get the likes to match the watches. The bare minimum. That'd be awesome if we could get that to happen. Then let me see if it'll let me edit now. Why I cannot edit anything? Hmm. This doesn't make no sense. My computer is acting wild right now. Where you added it to? Oh, to the. Okay. No, I don't see. Well, I can't. I'm not looking for that. I'm trying to edit something else, but it won't allow me. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We also got. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this whole puppy situation is wild, wicked, too. That is kind of crazy to me as well. Like, so do do are we saying Diddy did it or or what? What what is it now? I don't know. Are they just trying to take a black man down? Is that what it is? They just trying to take a black man down? I mean, he kind of seen it himself. He's seen it coming, right? In 1997, all the way back then, Diddy knew exactly what was gonna happen to him. He knew he's gonna have to run away on a goddamn jet. Insane. So now it makes me wonder. So now is all these accusations just a big hit so he could lose money and his reputation so he could lose a liquor lawsuit? Is that what we're saying? Nah, but Cassie was just trying to make a money grab, huh? That was true. That's what people were saying. That is what people was absolutely saying. They were saying Cassie, she just wanted to break up with Puff and now that her money sources is gone, even though she's happy with her new dude, That she's just doing it for a money grab. Mm, that's very interesting. Maybe it wasn't a money grab. Maybe it was some real serious accusations being done. And it wasn't just... So we believe Cassie. That means, you know, male prostitution is a thing as well. Because we be trying to act like it's just a female thing. Prostitution just females out here selling a butt. But it's also dudes out there selling a whatever they sell it. So it's interesting to say the least. But if he is innocent, what well, why would they do all these things to him? That's my next thing. Because it is some people starting to come out and be on Puff's side. We got um what uh, what's his name? Uncle Luke, he's on the fence. We got uh what's the dude from Texas? What's the dude from Texas? I forgot his name. God damn. I was I know he's a thug. He's on his side. What's the dude name from Texas? He got the long ass beard. He be tipping on faux poles or some shit like that. Oh man. Chicago Rilla said it is a rap. No pun intended for Sean. It is a rap for Sean. So do you, but Chicago, do you think it's really because he did he did all these deviant things? Slim Thug, yes. Slim Thug is who I was talking about. Did he do all these deviant things or it's just like some goddamn Olivia Pope thing, and it's a scandal, and they're using all of his party endeavors because it's, uh, it's not far-fetched to, to do the things that he do. Maybe he is a little strange in the bed, but they're using all those things to make him seem worse than he is, just so they could win this goddamn law case, uh, make him spend 
a bunch of his money before they actually take him to court for this uh was it the liquor situation he pissed off the wrong person yeah because he tried to sue the house of darian who owns Ciroc and his tequila company and now he's saying they are racist against him and maybe they had enough and they just slandering the man i don't know it sounds kind of crazy but we believe that with bill cosby when he wanted to do something extremely awesome right we believe that because he wanted to buy cbs that's why they put this scandal on him so is it possible that probably is about to do something real crazy and now they want to put a scandal on him just to stop him from becoming a successful businessman? Is that what we're saying? Is that a possibility? Is what I want to know. Damn, he's no longer useful to the regime. Wow. Sloan Bear predicted this would happen to Diddy last year. She was right. She also said there's more going down with him, too. I can't wait till they get them Oh, damn. Uh, you know what? If if these people out here doing the wrong things, I want them to get, I want all of them to be gone too. I agree with you, Black Dolly, on that. Absolutely. They doing these deviant things that they are saying that these people are doing. And then Nick Lillian, it gets put out there as well. They was doing some things. <sighs> yeah, get them all. Like Pokemon, catch them all. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Mm. But yeah, so Puffy knew that he was gonna have to be on the run. Look at him. He knew they was coming to get his ass. He absolutely knew. Ugh. Crazy. Crazy to me. At least. Hmm. I seen another one. But I do think it's interesting though. I do think it's interesting. What's this? Uh, this is another dude. It got music. What do they do? Oh, here we go. What do? And we'd be like, damn, why? They treat their sex tapes like, yeah, remember that song, Me and My Girlfriend that Pac did? Mm. What he was talking about? What was Pac talking about, y'all? And that? Do y'all really know what he was talking about? No, we do but not. Those of y'all know what he's talking about. He's talking about a gun, but sexual predators is what hold on to their tapes. Mm. And cops know that. Damn. So I wouldn't be surprised if some storages or some of Puffy properties be getting raided real soon because they need to get to those tapes. They get one of those tapes with him with those little... People that have been making the accusations. Mm. Woo! Man. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Reggie prediction. Damn. I know Puffy is smart enough. Damn. He probably done already cleaned his houses. But sex sexual predators, what do they do? Mm. What they do? What do and we'd be like, damn, why? They treat their sex tapes like, y'all yeah, remember that song, Me and My Girlfriend that Pac did? Mm-hmm. What he was talking about? What was Pac Ooh. talking about, y'all? And that do y'all really know what he was talking about? No, we did. But those of y'all know what he's talking about, mm. he's talking about a gun. But sexual predators Yikes. is what hold on to their tapes, mm. and cops know that. So cops know this that these said they want trophies, like we see it on Criminal Minds and. Uh, law and order, we see it all the time that these these kind of deviant human beings they always want to keep some kind of trophy. It was even in goddamn Dexter, right? He was no matter what, these people that do these type of things, they want their trophy, they want to always be able to look back and say, Hey, I did this to such and such, and and share that memory again. It's not enough for them to just keep the memory in their mind, they got to have a visual. Memory, and that's what the cops was probably looking for when they raided his houses. If he's really into those things, he's gonna have some kind of evidence. 
Well, that's what they do. It's just a part of their psyche for whatever reason. That's how they all get caught. That's how Dexter almost got his ass caught, right? Even though I know that's just a TV show. However, it was placating to how these people think. Serial human beings, serial killers, serial deviants, sex deviants. Like, he's such a sex deviant that he don't even care if it's a man or woman. Like, I heard that he got a goddamn audio with supposedly him and Meek Mill. That's wild. How is this audio getting leaked out? Who are you sending this to? Maybe that's why Cassie got paid so quickly, quick, fast, and in a hurry. The reason why Cassie got paid, because she probably got one of the goddamn tapes. She said, hey, listen, I'm coming forward with the suit. He tried to play hardball. And she said, look, I got the tape. Once this tape come out, it's a wrap for you. So what you're going to do? He paid the next day, 24 hours, over 30 M's. So whatever she had or have, it was pretty powerful. Also so powerful that he's not even trying to attempt to probably attack her anymore. That's how powerful it is. Because this is a man that is probably very dangerous, right? He is a man that also got a car blown up just because somebody liked her. He blew up somebody called just because they hinted at liking this woman. So that means she's not really safe, even though she got the bread. If, she'll pay, if he'll pay $30 million to, to get this evidence, imagine what he's willing to do to get rid of you. That's the real question. Imagine what he's willing to do. He's willing to give you $30 million for to silence whatever evidence that you have. Mm. That's wild. And I'm not sure what's going on with the man. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with my goddamn. Let me see if I can share it. How about that? That was letting me do that. But I cannot edit. Hmm. They usually allow me to do these things. Let me see. Let me go here. Let me pin this to the top. There we go. Pin to the top. There we go. Kim Porter, Diddy's baby mother, has evidence still hidden about him. Supposedly, she has a phone hidden no one knew about. Somewhere's Diddy better hope they didn't find it. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, clearly he's, um, he probably, hopefully he's smart enough to know that he had to get rid of all the evidence that he had. Because that's, that's the only thing that's going to keep him from going to jail. Because he don't have no arrest warrants. It's all search warrants. So meaning that they they believe that they got the smoking gun somewhere, but they got to get to it before he gets rid of it. And the thing is, if he got to not just hide it, in my opinion, he will have to get rid of it. And that might be a difficult thing for somebody that's supposedly or allegedly like the way how people are assuming he is today. And he's a dangerous human being because the, the reason why... People like Puff is dangerous is because when it comes down to the local level of human beings, men talking about men like this, they will always give a man like Puffy the benefit of the doubt all the time. Every single time they say a man like Puffy don't got to do this. He's this and that and the third. You know what I'm saying? That's what he would say. And they would use Puffy as a way to. You know, to get around the things. Shout out to Barry White, my homie. Shout out to you for supporting the show. About to be a hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much with the five boys. He says, Good Friday morning live. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody that shows love and support the show. Thank you. Also, we have. Otis who? And we have Brownsville, New York. What it do? Good day, sir. Grand rising, grand rising. <clears throat> peace to the chat, peace to you, peace to uh, Brownsville. Nice to see everyone here this morning. It's a beautiful, this great day, not morning. Morning is a bad negative word. Uh, great day, great to hear everyone. Great to hear everyone. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> What's going on, Brownsville? Hey, peace and love, peace and love, Otis, man. Peace and love to the 
to y'all two kings. Congratulations, Sharon. You know what I'm saying? Most uh, definitely. We added added another member to the family. Yeah. You know, salute to the SBG fam, all yeah. the listeners, everybody in the chat group, man. Salute to y'all on this good Friday, man. I hope and pray that everybody just have a great weekend, man, and just celebrate life this weekend in a yeah. positive, productive way. Yeah. Hey, but uh, Sharon, man, what intrigued me about this uh, Puff Daddy situation, right? Can y'all hear me, by the way? Yeah, we hear you good. I'm on the road, all right. What intrigued me about uh, the Diddy situation is this, is who actually is investigating him, right? Mm. So when I heard that it was the Department of Homeland Security that investigated him, I'm like, wow, because, you know, Homeland Security only investigates certain things. Mm. You know, they they normally investigate terrorism. They investigate threats to national security. They investigate threats to our border. You know, these are some serious investigations, man. But one of the things that falls under their purview is human trafficking Uh, and child exploitation. Okay. Right? So we're not talking about no Bill Cosby situation. We're not talking about no R. Kelly situation. You know, this is some major, major, major uh, allegations that they're investigating, right? So it's it, it, we got to handle it with a lot of seriousness because I, a lot of people are talking about it. But like I said, what really intrigued me about it was it's Homeland Security that's investigating this matter. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, I believe in innocence until proven guilty. But we also got to, you know, take into consideration, like, these are some very serious allegations. And when it comes to human trafficking or child exploitation, we got to handle that with the proper due diligence. And I pray that everybody involved, uh, will get justice behind this. Um, and I, I honestly, I pray that these allegations are untrue and unwarranted because I would hate for anyone to be actually doing and participating in child exploitation or human trafficking. And I would hate, hate it for the victims of these alleged crimes of human trafficking and child exploitation. Um, these are serious matters. And we need to handle them uh, accordingly, man. So peace and love to y'all, man. It's a good topic, but we got to make sure we we handle it with the appropriate level of intelligence while we're speaking on it. Because it's a major, major, major situation. And I know that on social media, a lot of people make a lot of jokes. And then there's a lot of rumors and all these kind of things. But when you get into the weeds of Department of Homeland Security, like I said, they only investigate certain crimes. And when they're investigating it, the allegations are very, very, very serious, man. So peace and love to all y'all, man. Like I said, I hope everybody have a wonderful weekend. Same yeah. to you, man. Be careful out in them streets, man. And I think um, a lot a lot more people are going to be, because uh, now that they see the chink in the armor, they don't think that he is as powerful as he, he once was. They don't think that he's as scary, the big bad wolf. All of a sudden, he ain't as big and bad anymore. I think a lot more people are going to come out and say, these things happened to me. And these things that I've seen, I was just quiet all these years because I was scared. I think a lot of people don't realize how scared the, the victims actually get and how they be. Like, why Cassie didn't come out 20 years ago when it first happened? Because she was fucking scared of her life. A man that just liked her got his car blown up. It's not right. as once you once you see somebody do certain things and you probably see them get away with it time and time again, it gets a certain it gets into your psyche and it's make you a little more worry about how you can escape. You feel like this man got all this money, all this clout, everybody love him. He got all this influence. Nobody want to pose up. She probably seen men that theoretically could whoop his ass physically, boxers and. Men that's seven foot tall, 300 pounds, you can't fight, but he always had, he made them intimidated by him. That's a scary yes. thing to a victim. They the like, they ain't that real. do. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes time for, it, it takes some time, but it takes for that, this bigger than life individual to get some chinks in his arm. And then now the floodgates is going to open. Now the only problem with the floodgates when it opens, not everybody's going to be telling the truth. 
some people just want to get some cloud off of it as well. And that's the right. part about it. And that's the part where we are always going back and forth. Did he really do it? Did or is it because they just want to bring a black man down from getting too high up because he want he don't want to just be rich and stay in his land. He want to be rich and going to other, you know, say so got these all these things going on in his story. However, again, somebody else came out and said something about it. Torrey, we know he's, you know, this is a pretty powerful person. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. You know, I was personally disturbed many years ago. Okay. I, I, I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I and he said yes. And they were flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Mm. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what do you, why did it end? He wouldn't yeah. say. And years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. Wow. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh, and the internship ended. Uh, you know. That's crazy. Wow. That's, that's wild. Yeah. That's crazy. Chicago Rilla, what it do? Good day to you. Hey, Before sure. live from the trenches. What's up, family? Hey, what's going I'm on, Chicago? Well, real you. Good you. Word, man. Can I ask you a question, Sharon, real quick? Yeah. No, I'm not denying, I'm not questioning what Tore is saying is true or valid. I'm not saying that at uh, all. I wasn't there. I'm not saying that I'm not his cousin or nephew that he called Puff to get the internship. But he said that happened 10 to 12 years ago. And Tore is a person of... I wouldn't say influence, but he has a platform that he could have let that be known 10 to 12 years prior. My only question is, why come out now? That's all I'm saying. Wrong is wrong. If he did it, he did it. And he mm. needs to be held accountable. But why are these people coming out now? There's a lot of people. Yes, I know Puffy's powerful and all that. I get that. That's part of it. But the truth is the truth. I know part of the answer. I'm just curious to see what your take on that would be. So, um, so the thing is, when somebody as powerful as Puffy was, especially 10, 12 years ago, right, he would he have the complete deniability to say, why would I do that with a man? I got all these beautiful, you don't you see Cassie on my arm? Who is this man for me to be lusting over, over an intern? Like, he got so many things that he could say and do to, um, to hinder even Torrey's career. He has the power to do it. And that so Torrey crazy. said, you know, the, it, it doesn't <clears throat> justify, like, him going through all that trouble 10 years ago saying that this is what he did to my cousin, and he kept my cousin out of being in the music business because he didn't want to spend the night over his house. And also, when you just, when he's at, say, spend the night over the house, we don't know what that could really mean. Puffy can say a whole bunch of things. <laughs> right? It don't right. have to I be in the manner right, right. of a sex deviant. He just say, "Hey, I just need I needed somebody that's gonna grind with me all the time. I don't sleep for two days, and, and everybody gonna soak it up and say, yeah, Puff don't sleep. Puff is always on the grind. Puff be doing work at three in the morning.' You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Take that. Take that. I got you. Yeah, no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he didn't come out because it had been more trouble for him to come out then, and he wouldn't have seen, uh, he wouldn't have no backing to keep on moving forward. This and now crazy. that he got the backing, everybody will believe his story a little differently now." So now they feel a little bit more safer to come out and say, this is what happened with me between me and said human being. What's up, the Chicago Gorilla? What's your thoughts? Uh, Man, I got a couple of thoughts. Uh, To Otis' question, I think one of the reasons that people are going to come out now, you're going to see a ton of stories come out. Convenient now. The coast. The coast is clear. Mm. with uh having to fear repercussions of what will happen to you if you say your story some of them will be real experience i think uh really uh, you're going out right? yeah you're going in and out really <clears throat> you either got to stay close to the wi-fi you got to go real far away from the wi-fi <laughs> what 
I don't even think he can hear us anymore. His audio bad. Yeah, he can't even I'm hear. Put him on, I'm gonna put him mute. Wait till he get back. What's up, Conrad? Do we got PA's Diva? What's up, Conrad? What's your thoughts? Damn. To everybody, first of all, congratulations, my brother. Congratulations. Thank you. See, man. Keep I finally got a. Legacy. I finally got a mail in the house, so I'm excited. <laughs> I almost said something, but I tell you in private. Uh, this whole Diddy thing with everybody popping up. Um, Goddamn, your audio is just as bad as Chicago's. Oh, are we being attacked? Is everybody Wi Fi? Okay? Nah, I should be right. good. Nah, nah, I just pulled away from the Wi Fi. I'm walking. Okay, yeah, now you sound good. Conrad, your, your audio is a little messed up as well. Maybe you got to uh, refresh your uh, your earbuds. Go ahead, Chicago. Try to, let's see if we can hear you this time. Yeah, my bad. Now nah, I was just I'm I'm uh over the grandma house, so I just pulled away from the Wi-Fi. I'm just walking the neighborhood real quick. But um the thing of it is, and Sharon, I think you may be old enough to know. Hey, that was a time when puff parties were the were the parties to be at. It was a time like if you didn't get an invite, you was on the outside looking in. This is before all the debauchery, right? Right. right. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a thing. You wanted to be at his parties. So the truth of it is, we've known these things for years. Um, you know, people that he's dealt with in the past, there's a reason a lot of those ladies distance themselves from him and don't even speak on his name no more, right? So I don't think, <laughs> I think one of the reasons why this stuff is coming out now is because he pissed off the wrong person and he's no longer useful. And let's not get money, having money and having a lot of money confused with having power puff doesn't really have power in the way that we think he has power right so one of the things uh when tla was doing his um live yesterday and i saw um a couple of names in this lawsuit that was amended i was like huh that's interesting but if i'm y'all i would pay attention to uh sir lucian grange i would pay attention to that name and pay attention in particular to how he moved that's who owns Universal Music Group. His son is uh, Elliot Grange. And if you do a little, little digging, um, I think you'll find it interesting. But Puff is going to be the one to um, take the hit for this. I think he should have took that trip to Bali and kicked it with uh, Russell Simmons. But, uh, yeah, he about to be cellmates with Kells now. So wow. I'm on mute. Yeah, PSD, but what's your thoughts? Uh, good morning, everybody. Good day. First off, uh, Sharon, you, uh, you had a baby? Who had a baby? Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a grandfather again. I got a grandson now. I'm the, I finally got a boy inside the family again. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Congratulations. Feels good. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, so I guess my thoughts are pretty much what everybody else's are. Uh, you know, Chicago really just said he probably gonna end up being cellmates with Kells. Damn. And you know, it's important to not confuse having money with having power. And I think a lot of people in those industries, uh, especially black people, especially black men, confuse money with having power. Uh, and so there's always a point of like reckoning where the system shows them, hey, you were a useful tool for what you were, but don't confuse that with you being one of us, right? <laughs> and so, you know, because that type of behavior, honestly, is so rampant throughout the industry, in Hollywood, the music industry, all even politics. They had the Pizzagate, you know, a, a few years ago, right? And so all of those people are engaging in that type of behavior. It's just who has the the network and the connections, and or either the power themselves to uh, insulate themselves from being uh, having any type of consequences for it meted out. And so I think he probably did piss off the wrong person, uh, just because again they're all doing it. I had a coworker whose uh, uncle was a director in Hollywood, and this was uh, what ten years ago. He was talking about how. Uh, you know, the parties they have 
you can get whatever you want. Children, you know, animals, whatever. Yes, 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 yes. You know, whatever you want, any type of drugs you want. And so it's not like he was doing anything out of the ordinary. And that's probably why he was doing it, because everybody else was doing it, right? And so you start thinking, oh, okay, well, this is okay. Uh, but again, I think as black people, we have to always understand that we're not going to be treated the same when our shit hit the fan. So I agree. No lies told. And, you know, also, I don't know if it's um, uh, a color thing, more of, um, no, we've been doing this for centuries within our family. You new to this. Even if you can, you know, you cool, you made it to a billion. But you're the first generation of this. We got like three generations of doing this. This is our ritual. This ain't this ain't just new to our family. Like my grandfather did it, his grandfather did it, so on and so forth. So now <laughs> I'm glad you say that. If love comes up yeah, into yeah. it, not only that you are black, but also you are new to this. You don't got generations. We you didn't knight um Justin Combs and King Combs into this yet. Maybe right. after right. like three generations, wow. then, and then now we can say, hey. You're a part of this deviant covenant, covenant that they got going on as well. But, it's not but, just your money, absolutely. Sharon, just him, really quick. The network, though. Right? Hey, Diva. You don't have the network. Diva, I'm like I'm not big on conspiracy theory, right? But I did hear something that I thought was interesting. Um, I don't think that deviant behavior exists uh, just for like recreation. Right to assess, insatiate, like I mean, to satisfy um, insatiable appetites. Right, I think some of that is uh, like sacrificial. I think some of it is uh, Luciferian. I honestly do. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's just uh, debauchery for the sake of debauchery. Mm -hmm. I think that I think it's symbolic in a lot of ways. And I'm not big on conspiracies at all, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would hey, I wouldn't call it a conspiracy. I mean, people have been talking about it, but people just don't like to talk about it because they don't know they don't know that much about it. And like Saran, man, these folks be playing in our face, old dog. They be playing yeah. in our face. Of course they have, but like like Sharon said, and like uh PhD Diva said, the difference between power and money. When you have that type of power, who's going to say something? Like like what like uh somebody said. Everybody was wanting to get to those puffies parties so bad they wanted their invite. They wanted it so bad. What happened, and it happens in real life on a smaller scale, once you get that invite and you get to that party, you see some things that you wasn't expecting. But you at the party now. But now you don't want to say anything because you want to be invited to the next one. Not because of what you've seen there, because of what it can get you to that next level. You don't want to per se partake in it, or you might want to partake in it, but you don't want it to be known because it's going to advance your career. And that's what are holding a lot of people back from outing these people, like the Puffs and the other people that's way above Puff who's doing this because they want they want some type of gratification for themselves without being aligned with the negativity part. They want their cake and eat it too. But now somebody is coming home to let them know, nah, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I'm about to tell. And I'm thinking Sean Puffy is the sacrificial lamb in this respect. That's what I think. Absolutely. Hey, Conrad, you want to check your audio? Uh, it doesn't sound like it's ready yet. Yeah, so like he's definitely going to be the sacrifice. And it goes to show that um, people, they have, um, you know, if it ain't benefiting them, a lot of the ones like, you know, like I seen Tyrese recently, he said, he said, I never been at a party so late when I seen all this goddamn deviant things happening. Yeah, I heard him say that. Yeah. All right. So now they get themselves uh, uh, out to the situation. I, I never <laughs> seen Like, you know, you know, goddamn well, you seen some things. You just choose to ignore it because you left a little early for whatever reason. But you heard, you, you know, you heard the stories. We know you heard the stories. For sure. Hey man, I think one of the few people that will come away like when they end their career and they'll be completely unscathed. I think Ludacris has done an amazing job of navigating this industry. Ludacris go to work and he go home. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't think this came wait. out yet. I don't know. I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, 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 I, no, 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 no. Ludacris, listen, Ludacris go. Trust me, Ludacris. You ain't got no stories on him in the A. You ain't got no no thought bots and nothing coming out saying, hey, he was at the strip club and did this and touched me in the... Nothing. 
nut, and especially in the way that we're hearing these stories come out. Nah, he's a he he literally is an introvert. That dude do his work and he go home. I if something came out, I'd be surprised. That. But you're right. I don't put nothing past nobody. But uh, Tyrese, yeah. that's wild. <laughs> I, I hope you're right. But that, that, that will be a perfect example, though. That will be a perfect example. Let's hope it holds true. Did you? Uh, I mean, how many Fast and Furious roles he got and so forth? I'm just playing. Okay. Hey, did you see? Um, oh, you you talking about Cat Williams? That's funny. <laughs> That's Did you funny. see um what's his name? Uncle Luke talk about it recently? No, uh he got his own podcast yeah, now, yeah, right? Yeah. I didn't see it. What what was he saying? I don't know. I ain't said neither. Come on. Cause you know, uh, the only thing I did see is a clip a clip of him saying that he wasn't at those parties, and it was crazy because the point that he was making is like you would think that would be me getting caught up in those situations. Uh, but Luke was known for having some wild parties too. I don't think to the level of what we're hearing about with Pub, but yeah. Mm. What Luke said was, what Luke said was, was real. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let's see what he's saying. Campaign, matter of fact, I'm gonna generate a couple hundred thousands or a million dollars to put in your campaign. You win the seat. You didn't call up the president. President didn't say, "Hey, look here, man, nominate this mother right here." So now you got a, you got the state judge. So then now you, you black man. Who don't own these people company? You want to talk all your cash money shit, and you want to go after these people, what ends up happening? They start the smear campaign because they own, they down with the media. Okay. They gotta smear you before you go into the courtroom of your peers. Okay. They go, okay, you we can't settle with this dude. We can't we'll have no voice of reason. Mm. He wanna act crazy. Now we're gonna go after you. Now we're going to call up our same senator. Hey, man, I need you, man, go issue a search warrant, man. I need you to drag this. Mm. And, and I'm going to max out in your campaign. What you think so far? The hood, that's what we I call. think he cooking. I think he's yeah. cooking. He is. <laughs> there, there, there could be some validity to what he's saying. It really he is. is. I, I, can't, I can't negate that. There could definitely nah, people the move. I said in the comments, Diageo. Yes, Ain't none say. of this started until Diageo. When he started talking about See, like, I didn't know Ciroc had been around. I didn't learn that till Nori. He was talking about how Ciroc been around. That's that's a France product. And that been mm -hmm. around for years. So right. when Puff came aboard, it kind of like revitalized the brand or whatever. And he became the face of it to to the degree where people thought he was the owner. No, the that's brand. Diageo. The right. Now, now he made the deal for De Leon. The interesting thing with De Leon is he was running around after he issued that lawsuit against Diageo for Ciroc. He was running around saying, yeah, I walked away from the deal with uh, De Leon Tequila. And I'm reading something the other day saying that Diageo got both still. Mm. So once you once you kick in the door, I think Luke is spot on. Once you kick in the door and you're talking all this whoopty whoopty whoop, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we got something for you. We tried to settle you. with you. <laughs> you ain't want to settle. Oh, you so you, you going to get your, then, your nigga wake up call. Can wow. also both of them be true saying that like, yeah. Yeah, they, they run him through the ring, but also that he actually did all the things that they accused him of. Yes. Man, the 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 uh the coincidence and the timing of it uh is absolutely amazing if that were true. Like I said, the thing with Puff is Puff has been Puff for years. We know this. There's nothing that's coming out that we're like, oh my god, I can't believe the same thing with R. Kelly. Right. Oh my god, I can't believe he's being accused. No, we knew this for years. Right. right, so there's a reason why these things are happening, and I don't think none of this is happening. I think you, 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 you know, you like, again, we talk about money and the power, don't confuse the two. Right, right. I know what Scarface told you, right? right I know right. what Tony Montana told you, right? Yeah. But don't confuse the two because, again, look at the players. I don't even want to say the name again, but I'm just telling you, look at the, the people above him that really green lights it cuts checks and really right. makes the moves right, right. so if you and look at that, that then i'll tell you who has the power part, i think the r kelly part is interesting too because that goes to show what um homeland was looking for right because r kelly had tapes mm -hmm. and so it goes to show that these people they they got to keep their trophy around and that's what they are looking wow. for that part. Oh, you Damn. know what that's about um sharon mm -mm. hey man now y'all trying to turn me into a conspiracy theorist so what what <laughs> what I heard was um one of the reasons for them doing those tapes is that they were 
catch people in compromising positions. So, you know, I say for instance, oh, I know, I movie. know, I know she said she was 18, but that girl you was just with, she was actually the one you had that time with, the one you, you know, you filmed and did all this and woo woo blah 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 and took them drugs with. Yeah, she really 15. She really, you know, she really 14, man. Right? Shit like that, yeah. So, so, so they now got it on tape. So now you doing what I say. This is why he was feared. How the heck you gonna smack a man? Who, he smacked somebody in Miami, right? Light skinned dude from Canada. Drake. Smack someone. How do you smack somebody and get away with it? Right. <laughs> right. And at the time, that person was a powerful person as well, right? Correct. Correct. So, yeah, so yeah, the dominoes are falling, brother. The dominoes are falling. Mm. Can I please add this, Sharon? Or what were you about to yeah. say? Or were you about to say something? Yeah. Yeah. What they're, how they also getting his ass too, and let's put it into regular life situations. If I'm not puff, I'm just a regular Joe, and I met a party, and my girlfriend's not there yet, and maybe she's in Chicago when I'm in St. Louis. She's on the way back. Hey, babe, I forgot my package, some weed. Bring my weed with you and meet me at this party. That's a regular everyday occurrence, even though it's illegal. Let's keep it real, but it's a regular everyday occurrence. You add my prestige my money to it then you have a woman bringing you some drugs or a male bringing you some drugs across state line now that's easily easily drug trafficking now that's easily you a mule so that's what they're doing they taking the smallest minute situation that we do on the regular everyday occurrence even though it's still illegal and they're making it into a federal case that's what you have to watch out for and that's what's coming to bite his butt in the, the, the bite his ass well, I'm trying to get the phrase right, but this was coming to bite his ass in the butt. Oh, Small no diddy. Stuff like that. No diddy. That's what I think. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> forget you, Ph. Diva. I'm repeating what Sharon said. Oh, well, forget you and Sharon. But um, yeah, that's <laughs> about that, uh, the sex trafficking. I mean, the uh, drug trafficking. What is that pink? I never heard of no pink cocaine before. It's uh Molly, which is ecstasy and cocaine mixed together. Mm. No, it's got something else in it. Because uh, I, I heard it's it was got cool, a yeah. bit of, of fentanyl in it as well. Well, I ain't about the fentanyl part. I just heard them too. The Molly and the uh, the cocaine. You might be right about the fentanyl. I just heard hey, those Sharon. two. That's a Sharon, lot. when you think about that um that video with Jada Kiss and Fabulous, right? And, and Puff Puff. Yo. Puff about, when you coming to party with me, daddy? <laughs> Yo, wow. that's fabulous. crazy. Yo, Fabulous. Yo, I already kicked it with you, nice. Yo, there. all those stories, all those lyrics, like you know, like this, this thing about on dreams and nightmares. One of the first things um, Meek Mill said on his song, uh, "Fucking and swallowing." Like, what are you talking about, bro? Mm. What the fuck are you talking about? When he said on that other record, wow. he said, "He said, he said, I hope I never, I hope I never be judged for the things I did with Puff." What are you talking about? Whoa, he said that. Yeah, he's in the Man, I need to go back and man, no. Nah. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah. Who, oh, yeah. Like, hey, Nick Mills, who who was fucking oh swallowing? God. Who's doing what to who? What are you talking about? It, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? Because you didn't put no yeah. distinction on it. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now think hey, about this too. Puff, to your bro. point. To your point. How do you go from MMG to Puff? That's when and Ross don't even be, you know, sitting in circles with Puff like that. Right. How you move that smooth like that? That's mm. that's wild. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, you know, no. a lot more lyrics is gonna be um things are gonna start. Man. Hey Sharon, do you think lyrics should be scrutinized in the um, court of law? Clearly no. it's gonna have to, clearly it's gonna have to be. No, he didn't ask you that. He asked you, should it be? I know. It's, I think it's going to have to be because way too many times we we seen that it is rappers out there <laughs> telling the truth. <laughs> that's crazy, yeah. man. They it's all, they all yeah, not lying. Crazy. They tell, it's a lot of them that's telling oh, the dog, truth. It's coming, exactly man. What they actually did. I, I think of this recently, another rapper just got locked up recently. Because he told they, himself on They be telling on themselves. Or whatever the name of that show. Out no of 22. Yeah, yeah. He, he, no jumper. He new flag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um I think I think they I think hip hop did it to themselves because they never wanted to be a, a culture of music where you could just make things up just because it sounds good, but you gotta actually live it. And so so since we fought for that style of hip hop for so long, then yes, it's gonna have to be used in the court of law.
I don't like that because I mean, I hear what you're saying, but to the extreme, only a small minute of the actual people who are actually talking violence on their uh, music, which is a form of expression and this artistry, are actually living that way. Yes, some are, but I don't think it's a, a high number. So you're going to scrutinize everyone else and take their art as for being actually what they're saying is just not looking at it as an artistic, as an artistic uh, portrait is what they're trying to say based on the 10% or I don't know what the number is of the people right. actually and, so-called gangster living their life for real. The so stupid his, ass his, people. So his, oh, his, as his, much as I love hip hop, my best friend. If I, if I hop out right now and I could come up with the most vile, evil lyrics and I start rapping it, people will look at me crazy. They would not say it's just rap. Oh, I thought you was solution-based group. Why are you making all these songs about shooting niggas and put, hit, hitting the switch? Because hip hop music, for some reason, it sticks to your character. It ain't just like how country music is or rock music is. For some reason, hip hop sticks to your character. We are so convincing about the way how we portray our music, people believe it 100%, no doubt. Well, we told them to, Sharon. We told That's them, hey, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it thorough. This yeah. one thou wow. When I Hell said I yeah. shot him in the face, I really shot him, shot in, the him in the face. So what these shorties do now to get a record deal? You got to have a rap sheet. You got to be arrested at least 20. You know, Chief Key story was that he shot at cops mm. and that he had a record. He had a record of mile long before he even really popped up like that. Mm. If you go back and watch CB4, that tells a part of the story. But, you know, these rappers today, look at T.I. T.I. got, her, you know, <laughs> T.I. got his run ins. All the top right. dogs. All of them. And, yeah. and and when you say, hey, man, you really not thug. You say you are. What do they do? They go out of their way to prove to you that they are. Hell but yeah. The idea is say, he did say, and it's been on proven on, it's in black and white, and it's in video. He said once he started rapping, and he also gave advice. No, that, was, that was he pop. Said, once I started, he, uh, he, he stopped. He did say that. You he did, stopped you did what? Say, correct? He stopped doing his. He stopped living his street life, and he was just rapping. It. He wasn't living in it anymore. Uh, allegedly, yeah, all of before. them tell a story. Hey, all of them tell a story where they were still in the streets a little bit. The rap game didn't take off the way they thought it was gonna take off. So they did it just for a little bit longer until that I first record yeah. really, really broke through. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. so the thing is, that's not uh, unique to hip hop music. You can be scrutinized, and even just regular people for much of the stuff you do, right? So the FBI was subpoenaing uh, YouTube for the, the names, addresses, yeah. and mm. other information of people who watch particular videos. And yeah. so that's not limited to people making music, right? If they want to come after you, they can find a reason, and it could be come any on. little innocuous thing that you did. Mm. Great point. That's a great oh, yeah. point. Yeah. That's our word for the day, innocuous. Innocuous right. is our yeah. college word for the day. I got innocuous. My, yeah, I got my dictionary <laughs> after the phone. Let me look it up right now. How you spell it, Diva? I N O C C. Innocuous. U S or O U S? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be playing. I, got that. I'll, I'll be looking up that shit. She, she ain't finna get me no more. <laughs> what's up, Flo? What up, Yeah, Flo? Hey, what's up? Get hey, him, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Flo? Innocuous, not harmful or injurious, harmless. Okay, I got you, PhD. Diva. What's your thoughts, you, Flo? I was just listening to all the dust, um, but I, I realized I missed the beginning, so I don't really know what stance you guys are all taking. All right, no problem. So I'm just gonna listen for a minute. All right, Darlon, you ready? You got any words, or are you just chilling right now as well? You. Got your sim uh, gun on. Nah, man. Um, nah, I think that Diddy going to jail, man. You know. <laughs> and, um, he should be in jail. Damn. And everybody that was associated with him should be in jail, but it's not really surprising. Um, black men. Damn. But uh, but so far, he don't have no arrest warrants out on him. It's only search warrants. So why would you say he's going to go to jail? He going. They getting everything They're searching ready. Between the case with Cassie and Lil D or whatever his name is, Lil Rod. Hey, yo, no Diddy. What you call them? What's his name? <laughs> Lil D. Uh, Lil that's D. his name. And that's, that's what they call, call him. But um, what? No, what's his name? I want to hear you say it again. Yeah, say oh, it again. Come on, that's very <laughs> sus. Little Rod. Hey, yo, oh, that's Lil Rod. Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> and Lil Diddy was making him have sex with you know. With um sex workers and all kind of stuff, bro. Damn. So 
again, man, it's like we be trying to tell people that a lot of these men be out here gay. Shit. And they be thinking that it's a joke, but it's not. It be mm. they be undercover like a motherfucker. Yikes. And the dudes that be with them be undercover too, man. But at the same time, I see a lot of like dudes, you know, stepping in for Diddy, windmilling and shit, saying like, you know, the hip hop community turning their back on him and shit. Right. I know this, man. When you got money and you and you know and you black in the black community, these niggas don't care what you did. The Damn. stuff that's in Diddy fucking um case files is ridiculous, mm, right? It is. And I mean, again, as long as you got money and people feel like you can put them in a position, even just talking about them is gonna help them make money. They gonna just try to make it seem like the niggas cool, but it's ridiculous, man. He gonna hey, girl, if it. Is it, you said that they don't care. Do you think it's, it's not that they don't care? They know for a fact that they're not in a position to do anything about it. But that's but that don't uh, be the case half the time. A lot of times, a lot of people do be in a situation to do something about it. They, they do. just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because they they benefit off the individual or they benefit mm. from the story itself. You feel me? And they choose to do nothing about it. But there's always something that they can do. You know what I'm saying? And you know it's crazy when I when I hear that when I hear you say it, the thing that pop up in my mind uh is somebody like Tasha K. She is important because she is somebody that's willing to put out these stories way before anybody say that it's safe for the story to come out. She's she willing to put her Tasha name on a lot. Whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent, she's still willing to put out a story if it got enough. She did so a video called, with, alleged with, evidence behind with it. Beats and and she they, did a video with one of Diddy yeah. X's like eight years ago, the little mm. Asian girl. And she was one of the first ones that came out saying Diddy did this, Diddy did that. Talking about the Cassie stuff. Talking about this. But you know what men did in this space? Go Ooh. back and read go back and read the comments. You know what men did? What they, they do? shamed her. Damn. She probably lying. She probably a gold digger. She mm. only wanted him because of money. They act like they women. You feel mm. me? They act like 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 you want to suck him off for some money, and we nice. see that there are situations when men are doing that. So when it comes to that whole situation with Diddy, again, when you go back and you watch the young lady interview on Tasha K, you literally see man right Otis in the chat. She's a liar. She did this. She's a gold digger. Mm. These men don't know her from nothing, right? All because they want to say, well. All women move like this. Oh, this right. they all want to mess with the rich man until it goes bad for them. And now they got a case. But that's how they justify the rich men who they wish they can be, mm. you know, criminalizing and doing some of the worst shit out here and acting like, well, it's okay because the woman must have knew it, right? She Cassie must have known. Yeah, I heard that a lot happened to her, right? Otis. Um, um, all the young ladies that messed with Robert Kelly in Chicago, they must have yeah. known that he was gonna hog tie them and put him in a dark room and shit. Mm. But again, when you got money, black men put on a blinders. I've seen it in this space. I've seen it in real life. They don't care about what niggas right. doing, especially to women. And it goes to show like some, it seems like the women and gay men are the real protectors of the community, at least vocally in uh, these spaces. Cause those are the ones that would, they are not afraid to let these stories come out. And then let us, the audience, figure it out as it goes along. Tasha K is willing to do it. Politically uh, involved. That, thing, that unlock, that Hollywood unlock. He's a, uh, you know, he plays the tambourine. Uh, Jason mm -hmm. Lee. Jason Lee. Uh, oh, you know, God, a lot, a lot yeah. of times it's usually either a black female or a gay man oh, that's new. willing to put out the, the story. Yeah. But Sharon, this isn't new though because it's not new. Like, Go ahead, Flo. Well, and if we want to get Ray, Ray Midnight in there, well, Go ahead, Flo. Yeah. During the time of the Black Panthers, 70% of that organization was women, right? So it's always been women leading the charge of morality, of prioritizing the community, always, right? So it's this is nothing new. It's just we're still on brand. Wow. That's crazy. I agree with you, when you really think about it. When you think about it, it's kind of crazy that uh, we the people that's actually not afraid to speak up about things is the black woman and the gay man. Because I think what happens though is that the straight man, we feel like we are a part of the situation for some reason. We feel like we, we attacking ourselves if we talk bad about another man. 
It's kind of like, oh, you must hate yourself, black man. You talking about this about Diddy? Diddy's a black man like you. He came from mm-hmm. the projects like you. And do, 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 do. That's well, we what know that's mean. not true because there's, you know, they shit on other black men. How many? T- mm. I can't, I can't name how many times somebody told me, oh, you in, you in the projects. But then if I ask them, all right, cool, let's see who can pull out fifty thousand right now. Let's see who can really pull out even ten thousand cash right now. Mm. Do you, do you, do you fucking got it? Right, mm. and, and usually they don't. Usually they're sitting around broke. Yikes! You feel me? So broken, hungry. I'm posting what? my uh cash app in the back chat. Just FYI. Hey, <laughs> <T-H-G-B. All right. laughs> Jerron, let me know what she's saying. I I'll match her, but you know. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm posting it for all y'all. Ten thousand dollars pulling out <laughs> people to cash out me. <laughs> oh, well, post it in the back, PhD. I'll buy you a coffee for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's the thing about it that I don't like is, like I said, is to Sharon's point, they'll say, well, you know, A, B, C, and D, and this person is this, and ladies, he came from the same hood. No, I'm dog. Because y'all be the same one to see anybody. I, I don't want to say no names, but shout out to my brother, the president. They were shitting on him. Uh, oh, you, you in the projects, you in the hood, you poor, you got three kids by yourself, and you live in a dirty house and everything. In the pro-. So again, I don't be want to hear all of that bullshit. Mm. Oh, ladies, be nice to him. He from this place, the same place that when you see somebody else you don't like, you're going to shit on them. So mm. let's stop it, dog. This man is, is fucking relentless with their dick sucking. They do, do nothing else but come on here and windmill for men who commit crimes and, 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 and then, again, blame women for stuff Diddy did. Diddy did all that stuff his own. Like the stuff he said about shine. Mm. All the men should be instantly as much as men get on here and windmill for other men about this brotherhood bullshit yeah where's the brotherhood saying a brother named shine right otis did almost yeah. 20 years in jail mm-hmm. yeah, because another black man lied and then the black man openly in oh yeah 95 99 i was the one i pop you like i did oh girl mm. right where's That's the scary. where they at where's the man talking about that but again it's only a problem if glorilla do it Sexy red or somebody like that. Then they got they 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 vocal, they open, they talking about it, they bringing up stats, everything goes to solutions. What's the solution for men? Imagine if I set up imagine Otis if I shop a club and I and I name dropped you. Man, it mm. was that it, it was dude Otis podcast, him and Sharon, SBG. They was in that bitch shooting up. Ooh. I'm an eyewitness. Mm. And they actually charge y'all, mm. take y'all away from your families, mess up your career, right? Mm. What, that's scary. What is to be done about somebody like that? Like, if, if I was to do that, come on, that's bro. That's scary. That's not cool. Hey, Ray Midnight, what's your thoughts, Ray? Good day to you, sir. Buddy, you good up? morning to you. Good morning to you guys. We say good, we say good day over hey, here, Ray. by the way. What's up, y'all? Good morning to the ladies. Salute to the general. Ray 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 Ray. Um, I'll Look say this. Today as well, by the way. Oh, I appreciate you know we gotta rock the cross cuz I gotta go to the hat store and get one of those Negro League hats to go with this. You know what I'm mm. saying? The rep for the Negro League since MLB season finna start. You know we got rep for the Negro League. Mm. You don't talk about them enough. But um yeah, I would just say this about Diddy. I don't know if he's gonna go to jail because y'all know he has connections and and money, and we know how that can go. But um he's taken an enormous uh image hit. His career and image is done. I will say that whether it's Little Rod and Paws and and whatever, if he's coming out to be uh, 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 these allegations is to be false, um, we could see through that. If you read the paperwork, there is some uh, validity there because he was there in the studio and he was in those places. So he there's I, I believe there's some validity and um, a lot of this coming out through these different gossip blogs about. 50s child's mother, the sex workers, Carisha from young, um, the uh, city girls. And you, if you do the timeline with her and Diddy, yeah, and what she said on her show that Diddy gave her on his network, mm. you get what I'm saying? She also says she like to be peed on. Oh, uh, yeah. Get what I'm saying? We so are, we are, on, we are, on, on that show, on that show. She okay. Did. She said that. She did. I, and, I and, and, and so, um, she also said that she is a whore on, on Jason Lee's show. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In a dopely candid way. This is documented. Mm-hmm. This is there. Go look well, this up. 
Ray, I hear you, and I think wow. you know it's mis it's it's unfortunate that she was a sex worker. Oh, go ahead, Shrine. Take care of you. Well, I just wanted I just wanted to, oh you got somebody to bring in. Go ahead. Go ahead, Shrine. What's up, Brian O'Shea? What it do? How you feeling? It's my first time seeing you. What up though? How you feeling? But, uh, I was oh, just wanting to finish this before you jump in a uh, uh, little uh before Daryl. Um I got you, um, ready. Hold on one second. What's up, Brian? Man, I'm just chilling doing what I do. Uh, you know, living life, hopping on these black panels, trying to get good conversation. Like drop that nigga. See? <laughs> What's All up, right. Brian? See? Talk to me. See? See? See, I got two black people on my panel right now observing y'all being racist to me. Wait, what, Brian? You what you mean, Brian? So he on the what? panel watching our panel. The fuck Go ahead, on? get out of here, bandit. Hold on. So, Brian, what's your thoughts, Brian? Man, I got. I, I'm sick of being treated with disrespect on this panel. What? You got treated with disrespect just now? Yeah, yeah, that's I did not, because y'all really y'all trying to treat me. All right. So, what's your what's your thoughts, Brian? What you want to talk about? Um, let me see. Let me go back to the title of your stream. Yeah. It says SBG. Ciao. So right now, what we're talking about right now, the topic right now, we're talking about Diddy and his situation and all the things that he's doing or not doing. So that's what we're talking about right now. See, this Brian. whole Diddy thing, I think it's kind of weird that like men are going to gossip about another man. Mm -hmm. And also this whole Diddy thing. I like that Chicago gorilla. I'm from Chicago. See, the Chicago dude laughs. See, the only dude from Chicago laughs. See what I'm saying? So shout out to Chicago. So shout out to Rico Reckless. So, um, um, yeah, Rico, that's my dude. Who is okay. this You want to be the best dude, baby. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. We're going to see. We're going to mine it out, y'all. Hold on. You know, so, over so here, P. we don't Diddy. silence. So no, hold whole... on. I got you, Brian. Over here, we don't silence nobody. We want everybody to get a chance to be heard. He's new to the panel, so he got to get acclimated the way how we communicate. We communicate with words, and we're very precise with our words over here. So you got to be able to hold down your words and make sure it's very concise to what you're talking about. So the thing is that we are not gossiping about Diddy. This is something that uh, involves everybody because somebody of his stature that is going around possibly sex trafficking and uh, trafficking drugs is important because he is a part of the community. So it is important. It's not gossip. So if y'all don't force me to talk about Diddy, I'm going to say it like this. You got to ask yourselves, why would this happen? You think they, you, seek, seek Christ, bandit, please. What? Nobody's forcing you to do anything. You came up here. Literally. So, so, so the stuff with Diddy, you gotta ask yourself: Are the are the authorities really being altruistic and trying to like save theft traffic, sex traffic people, or did Diddy piss someone off who's who's in a powerful position? And you gotta ask yourself: Why is it all in the news? Gonna buy NBC. So here's the so here's the thing with that, Brian. So it doesn't it doesn't matter of why they decided to do it. The problem is, is that he did do something. And now, if they have evidence that he's did it, he's doing it, and then now they're affecting uh, somebody's um, way to make money. This is just when they decided to use the weapon because before they was able to hold them accountable, say, "Hey, you better not say certain things because you know we have this on you." And then when he decided to say, "Hey, fuck y'all, I made enough money where I could put all that to rest." That's when the the fight happened. So now they got the opportunity to say, "Hey." Listen, we're gonna let we're gonna release all the shit that we got on you, and we're gonna give it to Homeland Security. So that's what kind of happened with and you yeah, know why? Here, when you have a over here when you have the opportunity. If you ever have an opportunity where you're like, I'm not sure what to do, then just come inside. Okay. Ah, no diddy. He committed yeah, a just crime, say, bro. Why we wanna ask, about uh, this I wanna ask Flo if she's single or not. What? But I don't really care if she's single. I just want to let her know that I'm trying to, trying to, you know what I mean? So you're not, so you're not really here to have a conversation. You know, we do have, we do, we do have bounties over okay, here. Back so to Diddy. Think back to the gossip about another man. Um, so anyways, about Diddy. Um, think about yeah. the fucking conversation. Jesus Christ. So I would ask why you guys spend so much time gossiping about another man. Again, so that's not gossip. So why do you think it's called gossip? Do you not talk about it on that point? Why would you guys not focus on what y'all do? Do you ever do you guys talk about this is about what we're doing? So uh our community, we do um love hip hop in our community. This is his name is Brian. Yeah, but who is he? He's a he's Brian O'Shea. We was being racist against him. So who is he? We don't know. 
Is this a, a white man? Or what? Yes, I'm, assu- I'm assuming that Brian O'Shea is a white man. Yes, okay. I'm assuming. All that. I'm gonna tell y'all is yet another example. The women was trying to ask questions and figure out who this motherfucker is. Y'all are just open the gates and let anybody in, nah, and then me. they always pull mm-hmm. down their pants and show the crack of their ass. Masculine woman yapping to men. What's okay. going on? That masculine uh, woman uh, yapping to men. Hold on, bro. Well, you're well, no, you're, you're not to... masculine, so who's going to. Ray, is Ray Midnight right? still there, Sharon? I was trying to so dress so before he Imagine said. Imagine yeah, I'm, I'm here. here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, Ray, I'm about to address what you said about this clown ass nigga in the back, bro. I ain't about to be sitting here 20 minutes watching this motherfucker talk about nothing, bro. Talk to your shit. Get back to your gossip. Shut the fuck up, white boy. Yeah, that's Talk your shit right. then. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So I came here for shit, more of that. And she right, bro. Should I team you him so we can have a fucking conversation? Sure. Gossiper. Or are we just if all going to do obscenity? If, if we all going to do obscenity, then I'm going to start too. And that's not what y'all want. No, let's, we do not. Let's relax. Had a fucking conversation. <laughs> let me ask some. Let me ask Brian. Son. Brian, are you streaming while I'm streaming? Yeah. Of course he is. This is no, you uh, drop you that nigga. Know? This I got you too. Uh, did you, you tag? Did you tag my name in it while you streaming it? Mine too. I'll drop your link right now. I'll drop a link to your, to my audience right now. No one wants to watch your destiny. And how many people you got watching your show, Brian? I got twenty-seven. Okay. Mm. Well, that's 26 more than mine. Could you drop my link too? Because I know what you're doing. I don't mind. If it's Otis, right, I don't mind. Otis, 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 I know what you're doing. I want you to go over to Sharon Bracey and show him some love. My name and is, Otis, name is Sharon. Sharon right? Right? It's pronounced Sharon Bracey, by the way, oh, Brian. Damn. It's pronounced Sharon. He's so disrespectful. I didn't even try to be disrespectful like that. What a I wasn't even trying. I read like a third grader. It's all it's all good. As long as you um, you know. It happens often. Brian, but where you where you at? You up north we'll, we'll where you, you at? We'll bring you into the conversation when we're not gossiping, but uh you're welcome to stay and hang out with us. But make sure you in tag Las me Vegas. in your stream. Brian needs to go streams. be with his people. Brian needs to go be with his people. No, we're not gonna Ooh, do that. Over here. We're not gonna do that over here. Everybody is welcome. It's gonna take him a while to understand over here. We pay attention to words and we just have conversations, and uh so it's gonna take Brian a little time to uh accumulate the way how we communicate with each other, and that's fine. So, Brian, make sure if you want to uh, stream while I'm streaming, make sure my name is tagged. Oh, this name is tagged. So this way we could all build with each other, not try to take advantage of each other's situation. So I appreciate that, Brian. Oh, my bad, shit. Ray. I've been trying to say this to you since that band so, came on a fucking uh, Go ahead, Daryl Long. So, so, Brian, we don't just so, 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 turn. So right now we're going to let Daryl Long talk. Daryl and Ray Midnight is going to have a conversation. Brian, so just give me patience. I'll bring you right back into the conversation. Go ahead, Daryl Long. Right, you remember what you were talking about with, 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 with the Carisha stuff? So just so we can yes. go yes, back yes. to what we were talking about and the audience can know what the fuck we were talking about. Go for it. Appreciate you. The whole thing with Carisha being a sex worker, I don't think that that shit is important. It's not mm-hmm. as important as Diddy graping somebody. That stuff is all in the legal casework if niggas take the second to not get on panels to troll and actually fucking read. Right? Read, motherfuckers. Read. And then if you look at what happened with Kid Cuddy, his car was exploded. He could have been inside that joint. Absolutely. Right? That's but true. Instead, mm-hmm. What we're talking about, not, not just you, Ray, but what I hear a lot of men talking about is what Carisha doing and what Daphne Joy doing. Again, mm. these are supposed to be men who care about other men, right? But they're not talking about what men are doing to other men. They're not, they're not talking about Kid Cuddy. They're not talking about Little Rod, who, again, alleged that Diddy made him have sex with sex workers, male and females, and may do and, and do is watching. Mm, like disgusting. At what point? At what point are we gonna bring those things up? Because and and for people in the chat saying, well, those things are alleged. Well, y'all not using the word alleged when y'all call um um Carisha a sex worker. Mm. Y'all, y'all not using the word alleged when y'all talk about Daphne Joy, mm. baby, baby mama. Y'all making it seem like yeah, they was for show hoes. Mm. So let's keep that same energy. Diddy was for sure doing these different things. Great. That should be what that's really what should like what we should be talking about. It's it's crazy. Um, I don't disagree. Uh that, that shouldn't be the focus on the main focus is Diddy, and that's why I said in the beginning, and that he's he's taking the image hit. Do I think he's gonna jail? I don't know. You know, I said it earlier a few months ago. This is the year of exposed. Ever since what Cat did has been going up ever since then. I called it. It's, it's gonna be a year of exposing, and every day 
you're going to find out something new with allegations and speculations and stuff, some truths and some false. And, you know, that's what they got lawyers for. We'll find out with Daphne and, and, and 50 in their custody situation. Um, but at the end of the day, Diddy is, uh, you know, there's, he did evidently some bad things and he ain't follow the code with somebody. You get what I'm saying? And he's going to take, this is the image hit and a lot of things is coming out from all parties. And there's other people that is in the bigger labels that connected with Diddy as well, that mm. participated is allegedly. So a lot of people could go down for this, that, you know what I'm saying? So um, this is going to be interesting every single day. It's going to be a hot summer for real, for real. And names is going to be spewed out. And, um, we, and we've been hearing about these things on the low low about Diddy for years. You get what I'm saying? Some of these speculations. And like I said, money and connections can play a part in hiding things. So um, we are being exposed to some things that we thought that this guy was really nice for those that didn't. Here we are today. And if he's not innocent, if he's innocent, why aren't you saying anything? You should have been first on the board. You shouldn't have left your kids there getting handcuffed. Where was you at? And if you got Homeland Security with them big raid trucks, they already got enough information. They already got enough. You know what I'm saying? If the Homeland Security is coming through like that, the feds, yeah, the feds, they yeah. already got enough. For they, they already got enough. They just trying to find a little bit more. They got can enough. Just, Ray, can I ask what you're wearing and why? This is cross color shirt. Um, I like bright colors, you know what I'm saying? LGBT. Oh, you get I, more I thought that was a Coogee fit. <laughs> well, you know, I like Coogee too. Well, well, a lot of people, right. they don't know what, uh, you know, for a lot of people, they don't understand what cross color is. It was one of the original mean? black brands in the, in the, in the 90s. No, I like it, right? Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Good. it's a 90s thing. It's a 90s rebirth of cross colors. Like I said, if you go to the store, they got the new Malcolm X's from the 90s and the Negro League colors with a different red, black, and green. Mm -hmm. So uh, I plan on getting one of those hats. I like to rep the, the brand. I like to rep the culture. Nice. You get what I'm saying? So when y'all seeing JP go after Is me, I'm not LGBT for you know black. I'm taking no so, to so, Brian, what's going on? so what is what is your purpose, Brian? You here to just to troll or you here to be a part of the, the conversation? Well, I don't want to be part of the gossip. It's getting boring, so I was gonna dip. All right, okay, so we, uh, if you feel like it's uh, fuck out you, here, like, what you here for then? If you feel like this is gossip, you are more than likely to hit the X button, sir. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to say hello, though. Um, if you guys maybe are doing something later where you ain't gossiping, I might come back and hang out. We don't so don't give right, a fuck. We, 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 we don't give a fuck. Keep on liking, keep on watching the show, keep on supporting. Uh, make sure you go pick up one of those uh, No Diddy, No Doubt sweaters that's in the descriptions. It's in my store. I appreciate y'all for picking one of those up. <laughs> it is all good. We appreciate everybody here, even the trolls. The trolls have a place and space in these spots. All right, so Brian, right, he wanna, he wanna anything that we talk about, he's gonna make it seem like as we are gossiping. But you know, a young man right. copyrighted that, right? right no, Diddy. He bought later. no Diddy two days ago. Hey, Brian, but seriously, can you come on my channel? I would like to interview you. I don't have any viewers that much, so can you? I would oh, like to talk no to you. No one's gonna watch. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Come on my shit and uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But I'll see y'all later. Okay. No problem. All Make right, sure you come out. back. I appreciate you, Brian. All right. Peace all out. All right, all right. Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Ray is super. Oh, you tweaking, boy. Come on my channel and say that, boy. Oh, look. You tweaking hey, scary hey, ass. Hey, nah, you won't clout. Said, Fuck hey, off. Hey, hey dude, the thing that tweaking, I think is interesting is that he I said that we are boring and we are putting him to sleep, but he cannot hit the <laughs> thought, We thought you were leaving, Ryan. Yeah. Tweaking, boy. <laughs> Tweaking, Daryl. Tweaking, boy. Tweaking. Oh, my Tweaking. goodness. Clutching my Tweaking. pearls. This dude right here. All right, he finally left. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we welcome the trolls as well. It is all good. He he derailed it. He tried. He attempted to derail. It is okay. Um, I didn't miss. I, uh, I, didn't, I forgot what some of you guys had to say, but I, I was coming in late on the uh, monologue about it, uh, Sharon. I didn't really catch what you guys really felt about it because this is still an ongoing thing. It's news. It's not it's gossip. This is news. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't really catch what everybody had to say. You know what I'm saying? I just came in and just said what I had to say because this is interesting by the day. Yeah, and it's absolutely. no surprise. 
And maybe that's why Brian doesn't, uh, you know, it is what it is. He got a different culture. Maybe he wanted to talk about Metallica. Maybe it would be important if Metallica was doing it. You <laughs> understand? So that's always a possibility. Who would you say Metallica? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Unlikely, what's your thoughts, man? You didn't get a chance to jump in here. You on mute. Yo, what's popping yeah. everybody on in the chat and in the panel? My head look crazy right now. What's but, uh, yo, yo, yo. What's goody? I just want to say what's up. I'm listening, I'm listening to y'all right now. I'm gonna keep listening. Uh shout out to Sharon for putting this together for us, having a place for us to chill. It's our little bar right here. You heard? <laughs> so right. um, yeah, I'm gonna listen to y'all. Tip y'all goddamn bartender as well. <laughs> Shit. All right, let me tip. Hold up. The breakfast bar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we still got some more. Uh, we didn't finish going through what uh, Luke was saying. We could keep mining out, see what Luke is talking about. I want you to drag his. I want you to have all kind of allegations. So by the time he come in this courtroom, he gonna wish he know. We gonna take every dime you got. Mm. Oh shit! Because <laughs> we made you. You didn't make us. God damn it! You uh, with my stock. You my money. Go ahead, Diva. What happened, Diva? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I thought you had something. I thought you wanted to jump in right there. All right, we keep it going. Let's see what Honey, you come you up. Me, I'm gonna f you. I'm gonna break you out to the lowest term. That's how they go, boss. Mm. So when you people that put that bread in your pocket that made you, they're gonna take. They're gonna take you down to the lowest terms. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Sound like the movie Scarface. Bingo. Bingo. Okay. That's how they do. Mm. So you go, they just smeared your name. By the time you get in the courtroom, you lost already because yep. you're sitting up yep. there with a jury looking at you like a pedophile, and you probably ain't never touched a little girl in your life. In the hood, that's what we call. Mm. Mm. Thoughts. Mm. Interesting point of view. I think that like that situation might be true, I guess, but it don't apply to a Diddy. You feel me? Because we got eyewitnesses to the situation, for example. Mm, that's a great point as well. That is a very good point as well. So we do actually have people that witness all the debauchery that actually happened. So that's and a, they confirmed a it. Like, like Kid Cudi confirmed his car blowing up. His attorney confirmed that. Cassandra yes. uh, Ventura, yes. also known as Cassie. Mm. Tiffany mm -hmm. Red confirmed some of her stories. Tiffany Red yes. is a, Cassie was the one that broke writer. it open. Yes. Exactly. And, mm, and, and Tiffany Red being a very... known writer. She put out Ooh. a lot of the stuff that happened to her. She said that she was being attacked by people, like you know, goons from Bad Boy. They were stabbing her tires, all kind of stuff. So mm. there's a lot of witnesses on this. It's not like it's just made out of thin air. And they didn't just attack him for no reason. They raided him because they have a strong case against him. Mm. Wow, that is a great point. Shout out to. Shout out to We Need More Tyranny. Go ahead, PhD. I'm sorry. I forgot you was there rocking with me. All right, Ray. For an elder man, you sure looking fine. Oh. That's what she said. Thank you, Tyranny. Ooh. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Thank you, Tyranny. But I think what uh, Luke was basically saying was they gave him enough rope to hang himself. Right. And so what's they just because somebody's giving you enough rope and you stupid enough to take the rope to hang yourself and they pull the noose tight, mm. and then we're acting like the other person did something, right? So we right. can choose, we can let you get so far in to where it ain't no way you can dig yourself out before we pull the trigger and say, Okay, now we coming. Mm. Wow. And that's not somebody doing something wrong to you or setting you up or anything like that. You still had to engage in whatever it is. Uh, that you know they're claiming you engaged in, right? Because we even saw it. I mean, uh, if he talking about a smear campaign, basically, so you've right. lost the case in the court of public opinion before you Correct. step into the court. Right. I mean, we could look at what they did with OJ. It was the same thing, but he still got off, right? Mm -hmm. And so, if you awesome. have the and R. <laughs> Kelly got off the first time. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you have a decent defense or you have any, you can raise any type of reasonable doubt, then you still get off regardless of what the smear campaign is. That's that is what I'm saying. He could probably don't get off. Absolutely. Yeah. Can absolutely. I, can I please make a statement and ask a uh, uh, PH diva a question? And I want to see what, what she will actually make a statement and ask her what she feels about this statement. I feel that P, um, P 
P did is going to go down, but he's not going to go down as far as people's going to think he's going to go down. He's still right, going to right. be wealthy and all that, but he won't probably have the prestige that he used to. I feel and I believe that it's unfortunate that the women who's going to be involved in this case, whether by her uh, by a happenstance or accident or just because they're in the proximity, the proximity of the case, they're going to be held more responsible and have a more negative connotation on them than Diddy in the long run. Where's which is the question? The statement was, I think the women are going to have more of a negative outcome than P. Diddy. That's my statement. What do you feel about that? Say it again. I feel the ladies that are involved in this case, like the Carichas, the case, the Cassies, and all of them are going to have a more negative uh, outlook image than P. Diddy is at, yeah. when it's all said and done. Um, I think if he if he gets convicted of any kind of crime, I think it's going to vindicate the women, and it's going to vindicate a lot of women that are scared to come out against powerful men that are doing these things and and um, using their power to get women to do things that they might not necessarily be down with. And it's going to get that remedial rhetoric out that, oh, she was there. She drank the liquor. Nobody forced the liquor down her throat and all these things. Because we do understand that women get put in some positions, especially sexually, where they are scared to say no. They are, so they are actually scared to say no. And so now it would give them a little bit more light. And now people will start to understand that, yes, 50% and greater women are getting taken advantage of. And this shit is not a game. And maybe now the men that are all of the righteousness and that are good, they're not going to be afraid to stand up to men just saying BS. And we start to recognize them from the door. Like, oh, we know exactly who you are. We not taking that. It ain't no just no barbershop and locker room talk. Nah, that's not acceptable, bro. Sharon, this is bad, Sharon. This is, this is very bad. Show. DJ Vapors, good day, sir. How you feeling? DJ Vapors. Hey, what's up? What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? Good morning. We doing well. What Thank up, you. Bro? What's your thoughts, DJ Vapors? Yeah, I'm good, man. Well, um, to the Uncle Luke uh, commentation, uh, we also got to uh, keep in mind that uh, P. Diddy put on a lot of people. He made a lot of money. Yes. So, um, you see people speak out, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, they they doing that as a favor, you know? Like, it's like right. a <clears throat> rapport or whatever, you know, okay. business transaction. Right. So, and I think yeah. I, this is why I think this is why I think I understand what he's trying to say. So this is this is very important. This is why I think is an important case, because now people would be able to separate the person that they make making money from and from the right things. Right. Yeah, because, but, because, go ahead, Diva. No, no, I'm just because Uncle Luke, like Luke was around before P. Diddy. Correct. <laughs> and so there was no yes. putting on of Uncle Luke. And I don't think people in this day really recognize who Luke was. The reason they able to say and do all the shit they able to say and do on these records is because of him. Luke, right? Mm, they Supreme took Court. the case right. to the Supreme Court for free speech on these Correct. records. On these records. Yeah. Well, you have you, you had Tyrese. Right. Tyrese Diva. and uh oh, hold on, Ines. but I'm still speaking. Go ahead, Diva. Right. Don't speak over me, please, sir. Uh so yeah, I, so there was no putting on of uh Uncle Luke by Puff Daddy. That's all I was trying to say. Go ahead, sir. Right. So so what, what she said, what she's saying, um, uh, babe, is that Uncle Luke was one of the one of the first artists that had to fight for freedom of speech and they saw they had to put this goddamn parental advisory on Play, records yeah. and all these things. So Talking he was a part of that whole um, but he was the first hip hop artist. He that wasn't the was first one, but he, but he was like one. He was part of it because he was so explicit, so to speak. Well, he was the one that went to the court to get that. To your point, to the advisory lyrics. So he was the one that had to fight to stop the censorship. Yes, he had the, the first. He was the the leading force that had to fight due to what you said. Yes, he wasn't the first. To your point, yes. Yeah. He was the leading force. He was out in the forefront. And now Diddy's out in the forefront where people are going to have to start. This is what I think. Diddy's going to be in the forefront of where people are going to have to make a decision between their moral code and how much how they want to make money. Because that shit is not going to be cool anymore. Like you cannot just rock with him because, oh, well, he made a million dollars. So, you know, I kind of put a blind eye to the deviant shit that he was doing at his parties. And you know, be like Therese and, and not hold himself accountable. Well, when I was at the party, I didn't go up. Well, you just didn't go upstairs into the secret rooms, but you knew what was going up. Upstairs right, in the right. That's what I was talking about earlier. 
Yes. I was talking yeah. about earlier when it comes to black men and DJ Vapors don't make it. I'm not I'm gonna make it clear I'm not going at you or whatever, but that's what I'm saying earlier. I said that earlier, right? Otis, when it comes to black men and making money, they're gonna put on a blind view. They're gonna yes. put on this blinder and act like we didn't see it, we wasn't a part of it, we didn't know about it, right? Again, Gene Deal, who is mm. Diddy's main bodyguard. Wow. He has a YouTube channel, he has openly spoken against this. He spoke about what happened with Kim Porter. He spoke about what happened with Cassie. But again, to Vapor's point, um, Gene Deal not putting people on. He's not putting millions yeah. in your no pocket. He can't get you no deal with the Grammy. So what they do, they pull on the blinders. So I don't hear Gene I'm Deal. I'm glad that you said that because that just mm. sparked a thought pattern in my head. So like, I think Gene Deal should be put in the same bucket as wow. Puff Daddy. Oh, and he from St. Louis. There's that. There's they been saying that too. Uh, Sharon, right. like y'all yeah, was there right. and think Why y'all ain't do nothing in? Because oh, right, so he got. Mm. Even though he's speaking up about it, just because mm. he's speaking up doesn't make you um innocent now. Just because now yeah, I think you that's what the majority is getting to. Yeah. yeah, that's what the majority is getting they to. That's what they're alluding to. It's just like the R. Kelly situation. Well, you know? yeah. well, a lot can of people. Um, yes, yeah, put it on well, him, and you know those people around him. Go yes, go ahead, Flo. Then so, get jumping because I know your mic is not that powerful right now. Go ahead, Flo. <laughs> right, thank you. Um, you are, I just want to, in response to what Daryl said, you know, and I don't want to diminish what he said at all because I do. Okay. When it comes to black people, it becomes very exacerbated. It's a lot worse. Um, but this Nickelodeon tells us that this is not a black issue, right? This is people. People in general will come back for That's money. That's That's true too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And what we have to remember is that. Yes, this is a people thing, but when it comes to black people, the issues that we struggle through are going to be exacerbated. They're going to be three times worse. Mm. So that's why you're seeing this, um, and people are going to be dragging Diddy um, because although he's powerful and rich, um, you know he's still a predator at the end of the day. Mm. Uh, you know and, he he fits a bill of other predators who are other races. So mm. and oh. I, also, I think it's um I think it's gonna be uh exacerbated. Great word by the way. Uh, to for a black man to do it is because uh we are not seen as these kind of this type of a predator. We are more of the the violent predator. We are we are fight you, we shoot you, we shoot ourselves, and <laughs> and we do we well, do crimes well, right. Well, but we don't do became... we don't do we are not known for these heinous crimes. The people that are known for these heinous crimes are the Caucasian men. I think and so now that we got somebody too, that is, and then somebody now we got that's somebody that's a problem because I don't think that this is a new behavior from black people. But I think we as black people like to think that grief and trafficking like this is not something we do. And so Diddy doing it, being a black man in a position that he is, it's going to look worse on black men because you know we're. We're black people. We're still struggling with our image, and you chose to take the power you had to abuse people. So. Right, but but I think so that, now, so, also, uh, yeah, Diva. being a pimp, like that's correct. There you trafficking these days. So you know, yeah. <laughs> black men have been doing that for a very long time, right? Right, uh, yeah. Now, yeah. right, because we also put people like what's his name? Uh, what's the dude that's green and gold? I forget his name. Oh, uh. Magic Don Juan. Yes, Magic Don Juan. You know, that's somebody that yeah, yeah. we praised in our community. But now he's not going to be praiseable anymore. Now that Puffy's coming out. Oh, like, hold on. Well, that's, well, that's, uh, well, that's, uh, well. No, no, that's, that's different. Well. That's different. Yeah, that's that's different. different. I wouldn't go there. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to let, let, there, let DJ, yeah. hold on. We, we can mind this out. We're going to let DJ Vapors explain why it's not. And then we can have our, all of our rebuttals. Because Ray Midnight is on the same level of uh, DJ Vapors. Let's uh, hear they, um, they commentary on that. And... Can I make an announcement? I just wanted to let everyone know that Lou Gossett Jr. has passed away. Uh, Damn. Rest in peace. Damn. Damn, he looked like my granddad. Salute to Lou Gossett Jr., officer wow. and a gentleman that was still oh, here in Tacoma, Washington. That white boy is sharing your content too, Sharon. Just let you know. What'd you say? How old was he, PhD? How's he sharing? I think 87, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Damn, I love me some like Lou Gossett Jr. Like what? Wow. Salute to like Lou reaction Gossett video. Oh, okay. Did he tag my name, his punk ass? He did not. <laughs> I told you. I told Fuck you. Y'all gonna learn to listen to us. Motherfucker. <laughs> That's us right there. Mm. i send you a link. All right. Uh, go ahead, Vapors. Uh, explain to us yeah. how you do not believe that pimping is not sex trafficking. Well, the difference is, you know, sex trafficking more alludes to um, underage um, and um, smuggling. Like of 
you know, younger women. Mm-hmm. It's usually targeted to the younger women. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to be careful when you when you uh yeah. Ask those these workers, things. And they ask those. Ask those. Hold on, let me finish. Let me, let me, let me, let me, you, you have an Asian consent, so you're an adult and you're participating in like adult porn and stuff like that. That's I got you, Flo, but That's let him it. let him get it. Hold on, Flo. Let him get his full thought out first, please, and then we could we could give him some questions. But let him get the full thought out. Go ahead, Vapors. Yes, yeah, so there's a difference when you're talking about age of consent, and then you're an adult. And you're participating in adult porn and things like that, nudity mm. and stuff like that. So, 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 sex trafficking is a different uh, monster. You know, mm, it's, no, it's, a, it's a predatory. No. A type. lot of those girls. Hold on, Flora. I know we got you, Flora. Let them finish though. Let them get it out, and then you'll be able to rebut. Promise you, you will. <laughs> Go ahead, Vapors. Yeah. Yeah. So, even though um, we had pimping in the you know, going on. It was a structure of, you know what I'm saying? Pimping was a representation, you know, of the, the, the style of the black man, you know? <laughs> like, you I'm think? Not... Okay. Go ahead, babe. Go ahead, get, I'm get saying, it. like, you know, what we call pimping is, uh, the other word is simping, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you ain't pimping, you simping. Like, that's, wow. that's that was, like, the mantra back then. You know you had the pimp C's, you had you know you had the pimp C's Vapor spitting that ism, they can't take it. No, that's no, that's real. I mean that was a real deal. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right, so them them women were different. They were giving their submission. They were they were participating in the dog. But you saying so so baby, so we can get that so we get the gist of it. So you saying that if you're not pimping, you are simping. And so you saying that you cannot sex traffic grown human beings. Right. <laughs> it's possible, but the, the, the whole the idea is that it's targeting younger folk. That's what, like, you know, when you see, Ask when you talk about people like Diddy, he, he's, 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 golly, God damn, Floyd. God, he was he targeting younger about. women, like, like, point blank period. Like, we can see the yeah. pattern, like, you know what I'm saying? There's a pattern. There's, there's a so, difference. So, so the thing is, so the thing is this, uh, Vapors, if you ever, I don't know if you ever spoke to, um, um, pimps they do target teenagers first first so a lot so of times they grab 17 year olds uh, 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 it's always a line uh so yeah so just um i give you a, i give you a space to talk in a second in this alignment so here's the thing so they usually target younger women that's the that's what they do 17 to 18 and this is why a lot of times those women the young women that are in Dionese at 16 and 15 that might look like they are older, they go ahead and lie. Possibly, we we could give you that if you want. And they lie and they say that they are something that they are not. They say that they're eighteen or twenty because their body looks like it. And then that's what most pimps actually get arrested for. They get arrested for sex trafficking. That's how they do 10, 20 years because they're taking these women across state lines and putting them in these different types of strip clubs because they got to tip in when you are uh, when you have female dancers, you got to tip into the goddamn establishment. It's the opposite way. So when you want your woman to dance, you got 10 women, you got to pay $100 for each woman, and then now that's how you get your new clientele. So it is technically sex trafficking because they're going across state lines, state to state to state. Can I read the definition of sex trafficking? And also, go ahead, PhD, but read the definition of. All right. Sex trafficking occurs when someone uses force, fraud, or coercion to cause a commercial sex act with an adult or causes a minor to commit a commercial sex act. So it doesn't matter whether they are young or old, you can still be sex trafficked, right? So it's just human trafficking for the purpose of some type of sexual, you know, act. Yeah. I mean, so do we do we, do we differentiate like, do we like, differentiate what? sex trafficking uh other than human trafficking or are you saying it's still the same? So sex trafficking is a type of human trafficking. Right. Okay, a type. Okay, got you. What you said, vapors? Um, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> no problem. Go ahead, Mr. Lyman. What's your thoughts? <clears throat> I'm good now. <laughs> yes, sir. You can hear me? Oh, now I wanted to talk to the white man. Y'all know every time a white man come up here, I want to ask him about the uh, how he feel about the behavior. Of you black motherfuckers. That's all. Uh, He's gone. Why are you concerned about how white men people what? think about? It? Anyway. 
I just we're gonna have to we'll work that out at another time. I'm glad that he's not here, so you don't have to ask that crazy ass question. That's crazy talk. Now, can I say something real quick about what Vapors was saying and Diva was saying? Because yes. there's a there's validity on both sides, trafficking is trafficking, but we also cannot ignore the problem of the actual human trafficking that is actually not talked about in the low income neighborhoods that is not pimping and it's just men out here snatching up uh runaway homeless and young underage women and boys so that i think that's what vapors is trying to differentiate to it now that pimping is trafficking you know what i'm saying yes, yes, but it know. isn't outlawed the way that the word is classified as it is you get what i'm saying it's allowed it's glamorized it's you know what i'm saying it's 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 promoted still and we know it's been going on for a long time feel more slim and and all others you get what i'm saying so um it, it, and, and we know some of the politicians and stuff and what we coming about these celebrities is involved in the human trafficking side not the uh sex trafficking side and and sex trafficking side we also know that p diddy were coming to find out he had cameras in his home to mm. try to attempt to blackmail folks just in case you get what i'm saying in every room absolutely because mm. we do have a, a, a epidemic going on in queens right now queens new york where it is women mostly asian women at that is asian hispanic from they just out there eight in the morning while kids is going to school just out there selling their vagina out in the open. massage parlors robert Kraft, new england patriots so so you understand so like this is not just um little children when we go down the sex drive this is people that's just in um very poverty um places they look decent enough they in some kind of shape and they say hey we're gonna put you in this goddamn shipping container so that's the trafficking part or snatch you not even put you we gonna snatch you snatch you mm. up drug you up and this way now you just in this thing yeah. and now you can't get out because you're scared yeah. to get out people actually get scared to leave i know we yeah. like to have this whole ideology that oh you could just leave and walk away you you walking out on the street as soon as they send you out on the host show you could just leave these mm. people are literally scared to leave yes they that something's going to happen to their family member father auntie daughter son something is going to happen to them and so it is very important that we see Puffy and he might be possibly a part of this whole bigger ring that uh -huh. the world doesn't know about that they do this to people. And now we understand that he's been um, paying for and buying for not just women, but also mm -hmm. men as well. The rapport, like Vapors yeah. is saying, keeping the report so the report don't get exposed. And it could be going after that, him to go for the others. And we know people like Lenny Kravitz. He put women on goddamn airplanes all the time. He'll fly to them, fly them out, and it's, yeah. It gets a little crazy. It gets wild. Wow. wow. Yeah. We also can't forget, yeah. Sharon, that and there's women that also did that because they wanted to be around the status with the hopes of being with the money, too, though. So there was that also is, some. Well, to be a And so that's the problem right there, Ray. You made up a good point. Is that so? People would say, "Hey, what about the ones that's doing it on purpose?" And they yeah, put those like, like lump sum, right? But it's more of them that are getting snatched up every single day. We know for a fact people are getting snatched up, but we don't have no idea where they're going. Well, I don't right. think. Okay, so I think one part yeah. trash box the, equals the, the garbage. What they said. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this one part of the definition was coercion and so if there you, you know go. what yeah. coercion is like it yes. might appear that people are participating of their own free will but right. there could still be that. some coercion right so puffy like kathy kathy said, for example oh my god Correct. can i please finish my sentence yes <laughs> you i'm can. sorry i'm sorry Deirdre. go ahead i'm sorry um so even with young miami at one mm. point, she said that he was giving her, paying her like $200,000 a month, Ooh. right? So right. she could make a case of coercion. He could have been coercing her with that money, right? And so it can all be sex trafficking. And I still don't, I, I got distracted for a minute, so I may have missed it, but I still don't know the distinction that was made between pimping and sex trafficking people. It, yeah. well, so, it, so I want to say, like, I, I, when I speak on that and I'm speaking on the difference between the two, I'm not trying to uh, desensitize or 
diminish what's going on or play down the actual it? act of sex trafficking. Like, I'm, I'm not right, right. for sex trafficking. I'm not for pimping either. Like, you know what I'm saying? Both of those are um, the aftermath, the, lo the uh, longevity effects are, are, are more detrimental than the moment. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what I'm speaking to. Like, it is a difference. Like, that, there, there, there's a, a porn industry that makes billions of dollars. Like, so you can't. Oh, sorry. My yeah, no problem. So, so here, here's the thing. So that's the problem that people get. Um, they get this part um confused with. And this is um this is something that happens a lot. Um, when we had a conversation, this is how come good men they tend to uh protect some of the bad men because they lump themselves up with it. So they want to put all the women and the people that uh that is doing it for profit. They they we're not going to talk about the psychological problem because we know most of those women that's in that industry, they have some kind of issue. And then once they try to, when they get a little old, they try to say, hey, I can't find no man. Um, my family um, disown me. I cannot well, go. Some of them are the sex family. addicts. Huh? Some of them are just sex addicts. Some of them are. But again, but that's usually a problem. Something mentally with them. They usually have some kind of issue. And we try to just ignore that because they want to do it. But we keep forgetting the part that they have an issue. A lot of them are into drugs and alcohol. They go to these parties where just they allow anybody into their body. They got some issues. And we, just that, negate, yeah. we just That's negate true. that part because they say they are willing participate in the act, right? But it's also a lot of people that is coerced into doing it because, hey, you're going to be around celebrities. You're going to have this kind of money. You're going to have this life of luxury, so on and so forth. You're going to be on private jets. You're going to be with Let's see, like Sharon, like, like, for instance, like the Instagram models, like, you know, they pose, they show their bodies, they show their BBLs, their, their you know, their breasts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They, we, they willing participants. And, and that's, that associates with the sex market. See, like, that's so that's the issue right there, um, baby. So now it's to a point, right? Because right. look, somebody could say, like, hey, listen, Sharon is doing a podcast, but I'm doing it to a point. I'm not going to be talking about something that's egregious, neither. Right? So now she's selling her, she's in a bikini. She want to just sell bikinis. She didn't want to actually be busting it wide open for every male that has $20,000. Well, yeah, well, also to Sharon and Vapor's point and uh, to what I was saying to what PhD was saying about the coercion and the money, what we've seen in these allegations and in the paperwork, there were three women that got paid this monthly stipend of that much money. Go. And then right. so now one of them and these three women knew about these parties prior to these monthly stipends. Mm -hmm. And one of them happens to be 50 cents baby's mother. Mm -hmm. OK, yeah, so yeah. At, at, and so at the same time, you get a monthly stipend, you know what comes with that. You know right. what to do. They was high. They was putting his pink cocaine. They was right. making sure he got and they were hot, you know, holding his guns for him. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even read the need. But that's 50 cent baby mom. She didn't need that money. City girl, Carissa didn't need that money. You mm. get what I'm saying? I don't know about the Jade girl because I don't know who Carisha. she is. Don't but these, that but, but these one women one. was not coerced. They did it because they wanted that money and they wanted to be in that set. Is, they knew what they were doing where, and they knew what they saw and they didn't have to do it and participate. So this is where I disagree with you, Ray. So this is how what this is how Pippin actually works. The pimp is not actually going to recruit the woman. It's women going to recruit the woman. They say, hey, look at the lifestyle that we live in. Yeah, we busting it wide open. But look, he take care of <laughs> everything. Of that. In the finest clothes. <laughs> but at the beginning, the man the recruit the woman to do it. We, we live in, in the, the illest spaces. It's the women that call her some. So a woman getting paid this kind of money, then now she could go over to a homegirl. Hey, listen, why go out there and work and be with a broke man and build a family where you could just come over here with me? You're going to get 20000 a month. You gonna be on private jets? You are gonna have the finest this? You are gonna be around the finest human beings in the world? This is what the cohesion is, and ain't the males doing it? If you ain't got it like that, of course it sounds great. But for the woman that has been around that lifestyle, the woman that's been in these uh, allegations and the paperwork, they didn't need that money. So what what, and, and and they knew what was going on with that particular individual and the things that we heard from ten years ago. We all heard about the Diddy parties from ten years ago. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying, but Ray, at the same time, before all of this came out, if he would have invited you to a party, you would have went. But now you're looking at like, I don't know if it's worth going to the Diddy party now because now you're going to be taking more than just a liquor shot. See, see, like, oh, hold on, Sharon. To us, to us older, you know what I'm saying, folks, 
before social media, mm-hmm. we knew uh, network. Like we, we we was already hearing about transgender uh, situations with Diddy, okay. Usher, Busta Rhymes. Right. Yes. We heard, we heard about these stories. Like, you know what I'm saying? So here's here's the thing. So, but we also know if he'd invited me, Ray Midnight, and DJ Vapors to the party, we know we wouldn't be able to go upstairs into the secret part of the party. We would if that's what we wanted to do, but we yeah, know there's yeah. stipulation. You better take that ecstasy drug and put your phone in this bag. Thank you. But so that's what I'm saying. So we was willing to go to those parties, right? Before it's the way how it is now, because associating yourself with the party just means that you're part of the it crowd. So now you got more chances to get more DJ gig. Oh, Ray Midnight was at the party. Now you chopping it up with uh, DJ Who Kid. Yo, what's going on? Oh, man, come because you you want to use this deviant place as a place to network so that the, the means justify it now. But now we're seeing that, no, it don't justify it. Gene Deal need to be in the same fucking boat as Puffy because you was going ahead and recruiting those women. And all the women that was Might getting $20,000 yeah. a month and you yeah. try to recruit more women, you belong in the same boat with Puffy as well. All of y'all, just because you're willing to talk about it now, it doesn't take away the fact that you are part of this whole criminal empire if that's what it turns all, out. All I see for uh, Sharon Bracey is that we're dealing with a black Epstein and he had his his black uh, uh, lady workers as the Jalene Maxwells recruiting for him at the same time. Don't he? She already said a long time. I mean, if y'all go back to the tweets, Carisha kind of implicated D when he was going at this other girl who's unnamed saying that, hey, girl, I can make uh, Diddy make you drop on your knees and do what you want to do. You get what I'm saying? This is all documented. So this, she kind of, on the way, kind of implicated him, but now we go back and look at it. Uh, you uh, get what I'm saying? I don't so these, even, these Otis, are in tweets. You got what he said, Otis? I'm, listen, this is so interesting. That's why I'm shutting my ass up. I see both sides. I'm telling y'all, there's a lot. Listen, man. I'm he in trouble, both. man. He in trouble. I promise you I'm seeing both sides. That's why I'm not I'm not saying nothing. I see both sides. That's all I'm going to say. I'm muting back out. I see both sides. I see what he is saying. I see what Ray is saying. Uh, Like it, the, the black Epstein, people don't want to hear that. Mm. They don't want to hear that, Oli. So what's the difference? She's going out. She The Carisha, she even said it's documented. Yeah. It's documented. Women yeah, don't want to yeah. hear that, but you also crazy. gotta remember that the non-disclosure. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the NBA, the yeah. Act too, yeah. Like the non-disclosure there we go. Act. So that's a, that's another thing as well. So they get caught up in some things, and then after it's done, you can't talk about it. So she that's, was another, that's, another, that is another thing why we just hand about it now. So because people gotta break non-disclosures, and for you to break these non-disclosures. You need the government to come back and back you up for to break these non disclosures because they could come after you when you know you don't have enough money to fight against a puffy financially. Right. So right. after you did after you did whatever said act it was, whether you agreed with it, whether you liked it or not, you already signed the NDA. And now the only way you could talk about what happened to you is if you could prove that it was criminal now. That's the only way you could break an NDA. You got to prove that it was criminal. And then now yeah, you gotta have some good proof. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. Now exactly. to prove that exactly. it was criminal, yeah. you gotta say, "Hey, I didn't have no drinks. I didn't have no alcohols with them. I didn't say yes. I'm coming to your apartment at three a.m. Uh, I was at the like all these things gonna make it seem like you was with it. Yeah. And so now you're like, "Fuck it, I can't say nothing." But to PH Diva's point, her definition of and that's the key of sex trafficking. We got to hear the whole definition. Cohort. Oh yeah. Cohort. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. So I could argue the other side as well. Yeah, hey, let's do it. Let's, I, I, let's go. You put out your disclosure now and say, listen, I don't agree with it, but I'm yeah. going to argue the other side. That's fine. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? That's why I could see how Puffy could get the allegedly the, the sex trafficking thing because, again, I could see a female being sent a plane, a private jet from Puffy, get into his destination with promises of grandeur and all uh-huh. that. Now that you're there, you're you're among the opulence, you're among all that. Mm. You get the bag, Good you get word. this, you get that. And now I'm thinking the the, the what, what's that word? The uh st- uh the syndrome, the Stockholm syndrome Stockholm. coming in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. You really leave now. You p- keep keeping the guns in, in your bag for them. Now you're keeping it. So I can see that. I promise you I can, but at what point do you become a willing participant? 
That's the gray area. That, 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 and, the gray yeah. and, that's why, and that's why so many people do not come out about it because no matter what, if I start rolling around with P. Diddy and then all of a sudden everybody gonna be like, yo, but S, you knew what P. Diddy was up to. You knew, you knew what, what it was. Why are you here? Well, regardless, yeah. in my mind, I might have just think it was an opportunity. And then next thing you know, just like what happened to Torrey's cousin, he's telling Torrey cousin, if you want to keep this thing going, you don't have to spend a night with me. Yeah, I, yeah, I seen that. Yeah. What I you mean spend a night with you? What you mean spend a night with you, Puff? You know, wow. yeah, yeah, I think that. I think that. But Torrey, why are you just now saying so, something, Torrey? I brought that so, up. So now what happened? So the dude just lost his internship and now he's just not a part of the, the culture, even though he wanted to be a part of the culture. He thought it was just up and up. I'm gonna get there for my merits. Or he wanted the opportunity, Sharon. Mm. He wanted the opportunity for his internship. He didn't expect all that shit. And we know what happens right. when you get an opportunity. If you ever have an opportunity where you're like, I'm not sure what to do, then just come inside. My God. And come inside like intro. I heard intro said back in the day. I'll play no game. You better come inside. <laughs> That's what Diddy wanted mm. to do. He wanted homeboy to come inside. God damn. Craziness. Absolutely insane. So I think it's very interesting. I think um, black people was not considered to be this kind of of a deviant. We was always considered just super hyper masculinity and violent. And don't now, forget, Sharon. Adding this part to it is going to get real interesting. If he have a list of human beings that he been Had doing on the team, like yeah. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, Sharon, it's getting deep so much that the Homeland Security is going, they raiding the businesses that Diddy's involved in too. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? They trying to get to the to computer mention, files. You get what I'm saying? And not to mention the higher labels like was under. Like they was selling. They was bring, delivering dope for him. The higher label man, of, of record labels. Correct. And so what? What exactly. they attempted to do? They saying like so. Since Puffy, he was smart enough to get rid of all the evidence. He's hoping they hoping that they could catch somebody that was a little lower, that's not as quick as him, or have the resources to get rid of things like how he did and catch. That's why they kept the sons at the house and whoever was at the house to raid to flush all that stuff before they came. You think he didn't know he was going to get raided? That's why he was out of there when they came. Mm. He yeah, had to leave somebody to flush all the evidence, his sons. Because any mm. other time, his sons is with him wherever he go. Quentin, we're not making things up. We are going by the facts that we are hearing. We are going by everything that's insinuated. We having a conversation about the things that we know today. That's it. And then we... Having a conversation about it. so we are not putting any proof on anybody, it's just what it is. If we, we, we want to go get. into it, we could talk about the rumors of, of the people that then passed away, the people that then mm. being around Diddy. And this, and this just is the problem that a lot of people have they always want to say, You don't have no proof. Was you there? You don't know what happened, you don't know what that woman's intent was. This is this is always why uh victims are scared to come out. Because now you got to scrutinize every single thing that happened up to the said situation. What y'all witnessing from Young Miami is that she literally sold her soul. Damn. And now, and now, and now it's coming back to haunt her. Right okay. now, as we speak in the flesh. That's Real crazy talk. When you think you about know, it. you know, a lot of women don't like just just by you making a statement. You know that just perturbed a lot of women, unfortunately. Mm. You didn't see her homegirl follow around with her doing that shit, did you, uh, uh, Sharon? Did you see JT with her? Nope. Mm. Mm. She was Why? a devil worshiper, though. No. Allegedly. You can see the signs, too. Like. She was a devil But if she, listen, JT could have been a part of the team, too. But she knew, somehow she didn't. She let Carisha go ahead and leave the group and follow behind. Did he become his toy? You, If you look at his show and she said, you mind now, look at his reactions. Mm. He was like, "We are we together? <laughs> we together?" And not only that, he said she like to get this show. show. She he said she's a hoe. Damn, and I mean, and she said she's a hoe. This, is, this also goes into the music, right? So now she got a whole bunch of lyrics saying that she is one as well. This yeah. is the problem. This is the next problem that we're gonna have. So uh -oh. you know, we're just having a conversation. Girl and we use the lyrics into what your character is. Now we go by her lyrics and all the music that she put out there. She sounds like a sex worker. She does. How are we gonna move along from that? Was well, it all just a uh Megan the Stallion? Like, Meg, we could keep going down the list. We know we can. <laughs> hey. you know hush, money. hush money, it's hush still money. Hush money. There's still such a thing called hush money. Mm. 
Yeah, they love you. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's getting wild and crazy. So I understand people are saying that this is gossip. Uh, we don't have no proof, or anything. But this is why women and men, Homeland Security, got proof. This is why they scared yeah. to come out and say things because you always got to have the burden of proof once you say, "Hey, this right. happened to me." And a lot of times, the truth is stranger than the lie. The lie is going to sound like, "Nope, <laughs> this is what happened." He Again, came, if y'all keep saying it, the feds has raided his house. He came to my uh my um <laughs> not my the locals. Room. He came to my hotel room at two a.m. Uh, he drank. He poured his own liquor. He took his own ecstasy. He knew what was going to happen. That's what they're going to say. And you could be like, nah, bro, That's I just came up there because I thought we was just chilling and you had some, I like to party and I saw what I thought was going to happen. I didn't know I was going to be bent down, assed up. I didn't know all that was going to happen to me. But how you going to prove that you didn't know that when you went over to said person house at 2 a.m.? It's hard to prove it. Now, to Quentin's point, though, he hasn't been arrested and they, you know, he ain't been served. But right. So why weren't you there when they came to your house then? Mm. If you innocent, why are you sending phantom jets to, to different parts of the world and you ain't you might not have been on the jet? Mm. They came that, when they that, knew that he wasn't there. That's what happened. They came when they knew he wasn't there. So you but said again, his kids was the, look, he, he got tipped, he got money and connections. He got tipped off, bro. Absolutely, Hell because man. you know, because you know homeland security tipped everybody else because also not only did Puffy know. Every news media knew as well. They was there hovering helicopters all over the place, cameras everywhere. They wanted to have this, you know, they wanted this worldwide. They wanted everybody to see that man get arrested. So somebody tipped somebody off for sure. They went to the house where his daughter was back. They went went to all his houses, but they went to that particular house because they knew somebody was going to be up in there. Yeah. So it's going to look a little bit better than he go to an empty house. Yeah, I mean the news got access to like police radios and shit like that. Exactly. So if you if you know the radio station or news station have it, what do these billionaires have? I don't think they got that. Nah, I think they came in when they knew he wasn't there. Nah, I think he uh, he set it up where he could get away. He understood. He understood the assignment. He didn't want Why your lawyer got to issue a statement, oh, Quentin, for something you can say yourself? Mm. What, mm. what what was that Gene Dill statement you made? Ah oh, man, Gene Dill was saying a whole bunch of shit because he was there. That, so Gene Dill was saying that he was there. He seen all these things that went down, and he been trying to tell y'all Jaguar White Wright is correct. She said all the correct things. She was there. So Gene Dill is saying that I was there. I was one. Of the, I was one of the people that bring these boys and men and girls and the drugs and he was there he was a part of it is what he's saying he's seen it all and done it all but what i'm saying i don't have a problem saying what he's saying but we're not going to act like gene dill is innocent neither he is innocent he didn't bring nobody nowhere where you get all that from he ain't never said he did all that he was just a security guard (laughs) exactly so he was securing the whole criminal activity but if it is, mean, if if we if we if we come, he to was find a bodyguard, not a no. security guard. Yeah, he was, he a, was bodyguard. a bodyguard. Yeah, bodyguard. My bad. So if it comes but, to find out that Diddy was doing a whole bunch of criminal shit, Gene Dill was protecting him. Yeah, right, because he's he a bodyguard. Ended, but I mean, by but default, the that's day, just at the end of by the day, default. Like, don't say nothing. Day, don't do nothing. But just protect me. That's what bodyguards do. At the end of the day, he really don't have the insight. He the one in all the rooms when Diddy was doing all that stuff. He went inside the room. He was outside he the room, right by that door. Man, come on. He still know what? What he was right by that door. Hold on, so, 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 so this is what makes it so. See, vapors is what makes it so dangerous. A woman could come up there at three in the morning. Gene Deal could give her the liquor. Hey, we got liquor back there. You can take pop a pill, do all that thing. And then once she goes inside the room, now it's like, oh, uh, I don't know what happened. Yes, you do. Yeah, she took the pill. You know exactly <laughs> what happened, but this when is the a danger. Come to a party, she wants some Molly, she wants some drink. What? Like, I need to go to jail because she she took some Molly. And when and things drink. involved yes. like that, what you, was he there supposed there to do? What was he supposed things to do? you're supposed to do to protect yourself? What was yeah, you go. That's so, 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 Vegas, now you can understand. Now you can hear the logic of the remedial rhetoric that goes down, and they put the they put the victim in a position where the victim cannot. Come out what and was say Gene Deal supposed to do? Say what? What was Gene Deal supposed to do though? Quit. What you mean quit, bro? Like, see, this is the thing right here, man. You acting like he was raping random people. Most of the people that's coming out on him was going back. They was going Allegedly. back to him. So 
if this man this go and tell the police, they ain't gonna believe him because the victim will be like, no, he lying, he lying. You're not talking about hold on. So so Gene Dell, if he if he know that all these things are wrong, you cannot wait 20 years later to talk about all oh, Puffy was wrong. You was a part of the wrong. It wasn't you seen it, you was there. He been yeah. trying to expose Puffy for a minute now, over ten years. He he was one of the first dudes to come out. So yeah, but also wait. one of the first he dudes that protect Puffy and say, "Hey, this is why he even know those things are happening." So the nigga's guilty if he's seen it. But, though, but he didn't have nothing to do with nothing though. He does. He really don't because yeah. all he's the, the, if he's the driver, if he's picking up the woman, he's picking up the drugs. He wasn't picking, picking up, up no alcohol. women. He wasn't no driver, bro. <laughs> he wasn't picking up no women. Well, what is he, he doing it for? Up. He's doing it for the money. So come on, bro. Yeah, like, but he was a bodyguard. He wasn't no driver. He wasn't no store runner. He was a bodyguard, bro. Yeah, most of you the know, stories, if, right? But well, he's stories, doing the job. So you say, so touch your team. I want to make sure. I want to make sure I'm correct. So you saying, as a bodyguard, you don't drive. You don't drive somebody around. You don't pick things up for them. That's the whole reason he why wasn't the driver, on, he was, This is the whole reason why Ti got locked up in the first place. His bodyguard was the one that solicited the goddamn gun deal. That's how he got. That's how Ti got hmm. caught because of his bodyguard, bro. I thought that was his cousin or something, but you might oh, be right on that. Christ. But still, at the end of the day, though, like I said, Gene Dill wasn't doing all this stuff that you saying he was doing, picking up girls, bringing girls. Well, the they had we, don't we, we don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. Most of the stories that Gene Dill told, it was situations like the police kind of knew about it or it was a willing participant. All right, so so ten fifteen. So you are you saying are you more on the side that uh Puff Daddy is innocent? No, I'm on the side that you said Gene Dill need to get locked up. I think Puffy is guilty. Like I don't think he's innocent at all. I think he's all right. So you believe? So you believe? Puff, think, so, all right, so I don't all right, think I got you. So, all right, lying. you don't got to reiterate. You don't, you don't got to say the same thing twice. So you believe that Puffy is guilty? So anybody yes. that's involved with the guilty shit that Puffy did, what should happen to those people? Gene Dill wasn't involved though. What, I didn't like, ask you, you that. What you I don't ask, know I that. You, you don't know you, that. I, I asked you a, a, a very simple question. That. Anybody that was involved in anything that Puffy was doing that was what illegal. What was their involvement though? 1015. I got a question. Anybody that was involved in what Puff Daddy was doing, what should happen to those individuals? This is what I'm saying, man. I don't know your definition of involvement because you trying to say a damn bodyguard. I didn't even put the man's name so, in and it. If we talking about, but look, if we talking about people that was going to get girls and delivering girls, like you saying, and women that didn't want to be around Puff, women that didn't want to be around Puff, I ain't talking about chicks done decided they're going to link up with Puff, so he sent this driver over there to pick them hoes up. They know they coming to the crib. They know they doing all that. I'm not, I'm talking about people who was kidnapping people if that's what he was doing. People who so was kidnapping people. So here's the Niggas problem. Giving him you, drugs, okay, bro, hold on, like, hold on. So since you don't want to, hold on, hold on. Ten fifteen. You don't want to stand on it, but it's okay. So here's the problem when we go with this. <laughs> no, <whole>. you... <laughs> no, he don't want to stand. He don't want to stand on nothing. He don't. So I'm he want to go to. So he want to go to the stream to say that. Oh, they got to be kidnapped for them to. Uh, for it to be considered a, a crime. But we already had the conversation saying that you could be coerced into these sexual acts. And then by the time when you get up and behind that closed door. And you have any kind of alcohol, 2 a.m., drugs, or anything that you took on your own. And then now it goes to a next level, even if you start to say, hey, I'm not down for this part. Because guess what? If I'm with a woman in my private space and then she do something that I don't like, now you say that I do not have the power to say no. Because I don't like what she's attempting to do or vice versa. That's what you were saying. You don't even realize that's what you were saying. Nah, because you're bringing up drug dealers. and like, Because you was like, Gene Dale was delivering drugs. I'm, Jesus. I know you went... Scratch Gene Deal. If it was a guy delivering him drugs, what do he have to do with what Puffy was doing? You distributing right. drugs in the house. Oh, you are man, involved you in the fuck drugs. shit. He didn't get drugs from nobody. Puffy wanted some That's drugs. He listen. delivered them hoes, bro. I, I understand what he's saying. America, yeah, I understand bro. what he's saying. Yeah, what what if he go, he, it is a stretch. Bro, like, if you're outside the door while somebody getting like, F.A., somebody. you are guilty. You but just guilty so, so, at the court. Let me make sure I understand. Stop it. I want to make sure I understand what 1015 is saying because it's starting to confuse me. So you are saying, if you are at my house, and I say, hey, I got this pink cocaine here. Right. Me, me and you, 1015, we about to go over to uh, Cleveland. I want you to ride with me. I'll have it in the car. God damn, what why you guys say Cleveland? Are you not part of the, the trafficking at that part? Damn. At that moment? 
Bro, you said that they can deliver. Why you gotta bro? bring Cleveland? I just, I just want to know at that point. I don't know why you can't answer the question. I don't know why you trying to. Look, I don't know why you trying to know the question. I just, I just want to get into a baseline. I just want to get into a baseline. Listen, Puffy wants some pink cocaine. Puffy wants some pink cocaine. Man, you could have said Detroit. No, I got the pink cocaine. I bring him the pink cocaine. What I got to do with anything else going on in that house? So now. So you so you don't no. think that you are a drug dealer at that point at that moment? I don't see what's wrong with dealing drugs. Can I give a bit example for real? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What this nigga just yeah. said? Yeah. Let me give a bit example, please. I'm begging you. Let me give a better example I to mean, prove what he's trying want, to say. But I mean, that shit is all voluntary, my nigga. No, I'm on, so I'm that's on you, please. bro. That's, that's I'm, on, I'm you, on your nigga. side. I'm on I your side. Nigga, Watch I'm this from example. The trenches. I never took no fucking cocaine. Bro, I'm on your I side. Never... Watch this example. God damn it. I am just, just can I please get an example? God. I'm the bodyguard. I'm the bodyguard. Please stay with yeah. me. I'm the mm -hmm. bodyguard. I'm there to protect John Doe. Mm -hmm. I'm, the body. I'm protecting John Doe. Now I go pick up Sally. I am picking the up Valley. Sally. Sally is. There's drinks there. Sally, help yourself. I'm the bodyguard. Uh, John Doe, whatever, be out in a second. Feel free to have your drink if you want. There's the marijuana right there. Whatever partake is there. J uh, whatever will be outside. We'll, he'll come out in a minute. I go back outside the door. The door is closed. Allegedly, there's a sexual assault going on in there. I don't hear it. I don't hear nobody saying, please stop. Oh, please get off me. I don't hear that. Mm -hmm. The alleged sexual assault comes out years down the line. Or maybe if you do hear about it, it comes out later. How am I, the bodyguard, have anything to do with that? Unless it was going on right there and I could prove it was going on right there, but it was no gun held to that person's head at the time. Now, inside that room, that Jane is being coerced by whoever's doing it. Yes, that is going down. Is she being coerced and all that? But that's not the bodyguard because he don't know what's going on. What say right. you? So here's the problem. So now I disagree. So the person that's getting this uh -oh. done to them, you are part of the problem because he might say, I have a bodyguard on the other side. All of this is a part of the whole power structure. And for some reason, we act like we don't understand that. The people in power, they use everything that they have. I'm here to guard your body, not your you drugs got, or nothing you else. Got four, you got the four seven-foot motherfuckers walking around and listen to every word you say. That is a part of mentally, hey, this is hey. dangerous. Hey, hey who's able to get these type of drugs? You able and to if you're not doing it, weapon. you're not working. The same <laughs> like, you I work. got y'all. You're gonna be able to, you're gonna get a chance to talk. So you have all these things, and you look like a very powerful person to the person that this is happening to. We hear women tell us all the time they get into positions when they are with somebody they actually like and they and they like, and they're afraid to tell that person no. I'm you know what? Uh I, I'm not ready to have sex with you yet. Even that happens on that small level. Of regular human beings that a woman is scared that she is going to say no by the time when she's down to her bra and pants, even though she might have a indication like, nah, this is too far. I don't want to do it yet. So imagine if it's on a magnitude level of bodyguards, vans, clout, power, and all these things, that human being is going to be scared. They're going to be caught. They're going to do whatever they did. And then now they're going to have buyer's remorse after. This is the part that y'all are failing oh, to realize. And look, it happened, this one, and it happened a lot. It happened way more than you ever thought because the problem is a lot of men fantasize about rich men and saying that they just get all these things thrown at them and it's not true. They are taking it. You they are promoting these well, women. Look. They not just get women are not just throwing themselves at them. They don't want the woman that's throwing themselves at them. They want the one that's difficult to catch. Then Sharon, we also got to make it like what y'all don't understand is because y'all keep saying like, well, how can a dude who bringing the drugs get arrested and be charged? Let me break it down for you. For one, they're not legal drugs. You basically fuck. Well, let's say that they are and they still use in that coercion against those ladies. They're going to say who brought the drugs. Mm. Right. Diddy. The first dude, first dude in the dope. Did he? The, the drug dealer brought the drugs, right? So he will be <laughs> held responsible. That's why they call him the little white boy, Diddy Drug Mule. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. He brought the drugs. 
Come that on, were man. used in Tell the it. crime. Right? It's mm-hmm. not just that. It's not just that he brought the drugs, but those drugs were literally used in the crime. If I put Molly, like Rick Ross was saying, I put Molly in her drink, she ain't even know it. You know it. If DJ on. Vapor sold me 300 Mollies and I put 300 Mollies and 300 girls drinks and they all end up SA, me and DJ Vapor's going down together. Yeah. Because he sold me the drug without him damn near. My coercion might not even get off because I needed the drug to get these ladies in a in a state Wait. where I can coerce them. Correct. And that's the problem. Yeah, I get well, that. The same thing. Hold on. Let the same him, let thing him, like when I got um, you thing. Let him get his full thought. Same out. thing when adults bring liquor to minors. Correct. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't give it to the girl specifically, but you pull it up and you brought liquor to a place where you know it was gonna be individuals that's underage. Mm. Then something happened. You going down for that, bro? It is what it is. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I'm on ten fifteen to get his thought out. Go ahead, ten fifteen. Then Otis who? No, I was just gonna say the same reason why Cassie. I got you, Tony. I know. I was saying the same reason why Cassie and Usher, Mama, and all them other people didn't come out. The same reason why Gene Dale didn't come out. So do Cassie and Usher, Mama, and all them do they need to be? What what need to happen to them? But just with the drug dealer talk, bro. Um, he provided the drugs, you know what I'm saying? But he still had nothing to do with the situation that's going on right now. Yes, it was drugs used to and to, like to do whatever they did to him, what they was knocking him out. What type of drugs was they using? Right, yeah, keep, just keep going with your statement. It don't matter what type of drugs they was doing. <laughs> I mean, yes, they do. Was they using drugs that was knocking them out? Was they using party drugs? Molly, like what was they using? So because the, I mean, the, re- the reason the reason why for some reason Molly, for some, Molly for some... isn't no date rape drug, bro. Why not? Alcohol is the original date rate. Why ain't it? Why ain't it? Hold on. No, I'm talking about when I'm saying hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You asked us a question. Alcohol is the original date rate drug. What are you talking about? Look, when I'm talking about date rate drug, bro, I'm talking about some shit that you barely have to consume, nigga, and you out of there, bro. So when you, you can't. So Molly, the problem is you you going by. Hold no, on. So ten fifteen. Stop right there. So the problem is you going by what you want to classify it as. No, not what's reality. You right. One Molly, you're not gonna be out of your mind to the point where you don't know what you're doing, bro. If Jesus you take Christ, one again, shot, don't go for again. everybody okay. though. Ten fifteen. Not everybody. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. So are you saying that if I take a shot of alcohol and a woman that is hundred and ten pounds take a shot of alcohol, we are going to handle it the same way? She's not gonna be messed up to the point. I ask you a phone. Hold on. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. I ask you a very specific question. I don't think y'all will, but at the same time, she's not gonna be so out of her mind that she don't know what she's doing. All right. So therefore, so so again, all right. So ten fifteen. Stop right there. So so that's what we're talking about. So the fact that we all do not uh consume the drug and react to it the same way—that's number one. And number two, once you take it and you think that you are having a good time and you taking more and more until you consider an overdose of it. Now you don't have control of your body. A lot of people will get drunk and they do not have control of their body. Stop it. We Especially know if you don't drink drugs, like that. Bro. If you don't That's do the drug and drink that- like that, you're going to get drunk quick. Yeah, and we yeah, are just talking about alcohol. And we just talking about in 1015, we just talking about alcohol. Right, so imagine, what, nah, so imagine so hold on, bro, damn, let's have room. a conversation. To the right, so what right. I'm saying is that so imagine when you add things onto the alcohol, what that person uh, mind state is going to be. Stop saying that you can just take one Molly plus a shot plus yeah, smoke you can. and you, you can are being your right state of mind. Damn, my bad, my bad. <laughs> so can I, uh, according to the <laughs> National Institute on Drug Abuse, Molly. Uh, it alters mood and perception and so once you take that <laughs> that person is no longer able to consent right Papa Molly I'm sweating Woo! <laughs> that's hey don't listen to the end of that shit but all right whatever yeah you got it you got it uh, sir now my whole point is don't listen to it but are you a law you a street lawyer Right, and yeah, so this is course. all these are all medical and legal things. And from the way you up here talking, we know that you don't have no background or basis in either of those. It is what it is, right? It, I know it is. 
I'm just pointing that out. So the idea that you would sit here and tell people, say, oh, well, don't listen to none of that. You will have people going to jail. You can't. I know from personal experience that I don't need no white influence. man to tell me what the fuck I need to think. I know from personal experience. I got out there in the field. You know, okay, from, that that came from a rapper. Exactly. And this is the uh, <laughs> 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 dad He's in the field with it, man. Just right. chill. Hey, so, right. right. so what we're going to do, we're going to let um, PAZ finish her thought. DJ Vapors want to jump in there as well. Ray Midnight, I think he want to get in there. So we're going to go PA Ziva, Vapors, DJ Ray Midnight, and then we just open it back up. Also, I want to get Tony Golden after that. I'm sorry. Tony, Tony Touch. Uh, no, so I was just pointing out that, uh, you you know, consent, you can't consent when you're under the influence of any type of mind-altering substance, right? So that's alcohol. <laughs> okay. okay. Sir, is something wrong with you? That's not realistic. No, no, no. But is something wrong with you? That's not realistic. Oh, okay. So something is wrong with you. Okay, yeah, something is, and I keep going. Yeah, I can tell because right, you keep talking. acting you like you're about about something. Keep talking. Keep talking. Right, I am. Yeah, but yeah, if you'll keep, stop right, cutting go. me off. All right, all right, go. Right. So you cannot consent under the influence of any type of mind-altering substance. And so if that the situation that Sharon laid out you know, occurs, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of people in trouble and having to defend themselves from some allegations. And so don't listen to these street idiots who just have a revolving door in and out the prison themselves so they don't see it as a big deal, right? Guard yourself and conduct yourselves accordingly. The law is the law. I yield yeah, my The time. law is the law. Go ahead, Vapors. Yeah, uh, the piggyback off of that, I agree, like, as a man, like, we have to, as men, we have to accept reality and, like, like things for, accept things for what it is, like, <clears throat> and, and also dealing with things that comes with it. Like, we have a, a, um, a trauma, like, thing with that, like, with processing, uh, our traumas and, and, and desensitizing. Like your feelings, like come on, bro. Like you can't sit there and say like that don't matter. Like it's a drug. It it it, it influences you to do things. Like it, anything can happen. Like I don't even want to bring this up, but there was a female that was um just got acquitted uh for smoking marijuana, and Ooh, she stabbed the boyfriend. She stabbed that man a hundred and eight times and her way to get off of that case is that she went through a marijuana psychosis and all she got was uh 11 months of probation and 100 hours of community service because she took one hit of a marijuana bong and she said she had marijuana psychosis that is a perfect example vapors yeah so that's dangers that can happen to yourself so like you just gotta be smart like we, we can't just like say whatever we want to say with, without no uh consequences behind it and that's what i'm saying like we have to stand up as men and and really stand on business with that like this this shit is coming to an end the people that's looking the other way and ain't saying shit like they are the problem like that is the issue and we keep trying to gloss over that like we don't care about the money we have a we have a problem we have a problem going on in the social group, we are not advanced. We advance technology, but we're not advanced in them areas. We, we, it's proven. So, there's so many stats, like to prove otherwise. Like we, and we need to work on that. And that's the, and that's, that's all I'm saying. Hell yeah, sure. Right. Can I say something, shout out? Since she, since she directed something to me, can I just say something real quick? Like 10, 15 seconds. 10, 15, That's the kid. All I'm saying is using her logic. To all y'all, I know, I know we talking about? That, that woman that was just talking. The Did woman that said something to me, yeah. Okay. So using that logic now, for all y'all, I know people don't keep it a hundred, but for y'all brothers that be buying women drinks at the bar, a uh, brother that might invite a woman to the house with a bottle, like come through, let's sip on some. If you had sex with that woman, she got a good case of rape, judging off what old girl saying because she ain't in the right state of mind. So y'all brothers buying women drinks at the bar, y'all inviting women over to the crib to drink, take a couple shots. Remember what old girl just said. Well, right. well that's it's what I was just speaking to, bro. We are, 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 we
we are mature, bro. We have to accept, like, you have to accept what comes with that, bro. You approaching the women with drinks. You you are already altering the situation already. into a disadvantage. Correct. Like, yeah, I'm talking about fact, inviting her well, yeah, to the yeah. house and y'all That's how you come yeah, at you it. You alter yeah. her state of mind, so you can't have sex with her. You gonna have, she gonna have a case of rape. Yeah. All so right. Like, so hold yeah, on. Yeah. I got I got a question yeah, for yeah, 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 thing because yeah, he's acting yeah. like he, he acting like every man is innocent. So you mean to tell me you never heard in the barber shop or locker room say, "Yo, when you get those girls drunk off of this, they act different. They a little bit more loose. They of do." Of course, they, I have. All right. Okay, so that's what we are talking towards. So stop acting like <laughs> okay. it doesn't exist. That don't, that don't that don't matter. You ain't never bought no yeah. girl to drink at the bar. You ain't never invited no girl to. So your again, crib? so Have the problem is what DJ. So crib? hold on, hold on. Again, this is what DJ Baby was pointing out. He's saying it's way too many men that's just okay with the shit happening. Y'all want to just be a part of the the debauchery and say like, Have oh, you ever it's okay to, to buy a chick. Damn it, God damn it! You asked the right. question. So the problem is, is way too many men that is willing to just. Close their eyes to the situation. Act like they don't know that these situations have that. These women are getting taken advantage of in the ideology of we are having fun. We are at a party. This is what people do. We get drinks, we buy them, we get you drunk, and we go home. This is a party. This is why a lot of women do not go ahead and say, hey, something happened to me. Because they know what it's going to look like. And they say, yes, I was at the club with him. Yes, I, he bought me drinks. Yes, I went to his house at 2 a.m. But then it got to a point where I didn't want to do it anymore. The men are going to always say you knew what was going to happen when you were at my spot at 2 a.m. after we was partying and drinking. And that's how come we do not know how many people actually get an advantage taken of. And for some reason, you cannot understand the logic. And you're going to be just like oh, Puffy. Nigga, I just said I believe that Puffy is guilty. Now, I'm talking about Gene <laughs> Bill because y'all trying to implicate niggas that ain't that need to be implicated. But so my thing is... Oh, girl was just talking about liquor. So what I was asking you is, have you ever invited a woman over to your spot for a glass of wine? So my question to you is this. All the right. things that I the thing that I just laid out, do you agree with it? Yes or no? To a certain extent, yeah. So that's the problem. Now, this wanna, is what I'm asking put, you. You want to put a blind eye to it because you did it once in your life, or I did it once in my life. So yes, have I did it once in my life. That? So okay, so this is what you want. You want a smoking no, no, no. gun? This Hold on, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you a smoking gun. Yes, I bought a girl a drink before, and I had sex with a drunk girl, and I was drunk too. So what is your point after that? Do she have a case? Y'all great, y'all great, y'all great each other. Right. Okay, so fine. Okay, so fine. Cool. So now we get past that. So no, now, no, yes, you that's, didn't answer the question. Do she have I a did. Case for hold, okay, hold on. So I, I did answer the question. So yes, that happened. So now, what's Do your she point? Have a good case of rape. If she wanted yes. to okay, so I, I already conceded to that. Yes. So now, okay, what's your then. point? I don't think so, but okay, I just wanted to see her train of thought. I don't okay, think so. Okay, so now what's the point? I, what was your point? Of, hold on. I want to know what was your is, hold point, on. Let me ask you a fucking question. What was your point of asking me that line of questioning? My point was it's not realistic. That's what I told her. When she said, even if you give a woman a drink, you alter her thinking patterns and you still rape her. She can't give you consent because she been drinking liquor. So my point was it's not realistic. Everybody do the shit. No, that's not. That's a horrible point. <laughs> well, you do it. Everybody on this panel. Done okay, so it. yes, everybody on this panel done gave a girl a drink. Uh huh. So the problem, the problem, with what you're yeah, saying is now. this. The problem, the problem that what you're saying is this. This is what happens a lot with men, right? Just because we did something in the past that was wrong, we thought it was right at one point, but now that we are older and we have and we understand things, and we like, oh, this was fucked up. And now that we change exactly. our ideology, you want to hold on to the past. That something happened that we all was a part of because none of us want to jump up and say, hey, what we was doing was fucking wrong. And it's okay. We changed our ideology. We got more mature. And we know that is wrong. It is a that's form saying, of is predatory. It? That's what is a form of. And Pub Daddy, he just took it to a whole nother level. Yes. He took it to a way higher level because he got the money to do it. Yeah. My dog, I agree with you. All right, just so stop trying to fight and defend people that's doing predator shit. Is Dude, what DJ Vay was just saying. Dude, didn't do the, no predator shit. Hold on. The problem though, is, is that you acting like we cannot grow up and say, "Hey, we gotta call it out." So this way, younger people. So this way, the young people will start saying, "Oh, it's older men that think like this, this is wrong," and so we can start changing the goddamn chemistry of what's going on within yeah. our culture and our community. Yeah, you're manifesting the wrong shit. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't think Gene did. You manifesting the wrong shit. You speaking shit in existence that we shouldn't even be focusing on. That's what I'm speaking to, and that's what Sharon is saying. Is like you trying to implicate a man for something that the the victim didn't even go to nope. the cops? Nobody's implicating nobody. Us, her what? Mom didn't even because you want him. You trying to implicate this man because he knew some stuff. The victims didn't even go to the cops, bro. I Us think you guys are on two different pages. Hold, hold on. So, so, so again, 1015. So you, you guys are talking in general. So 1015. Yeah, 1015. 1015. I, I got a question guilty. for you. 1015. I got a question. Do you believe that 50% of women get SA? Yes or no? It might be higher than that, to be honest. Jesus Christ. So you're saying that What's we shouldn't point, do bro? anything? So you're saying that we shouldn't do anything to lower that number? I'm talking about Gene Deal. I asked you a question. Do you think we should do anything to lower that number? Yeah, of course, bro. All right, so why are you arguing for the people that's doing degenerate things? What did Gene Deal do? That's what I'm telling you, bro. We already explained that if you don't want to he didn't, he didn't he didn't Go ahead. Okay, okay, cool, cool. I get it. Go ahead, unlikely. What's your thoughts? <laughs> I don't even know what y'all talking about right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what y'all talking about, but I don't want really want to talk about the Diddy shit. So if y'all still on that topic, y'all can have that. Ain't even what I'm mad at. You know what I mean? They so, went down the rabbit hole. And <laughs> they yeah, they go down the rabbit hole. Sure. Right. Go ahead. Hey, Tony Golden, Uh, what's your thoughts? We do have people trying to get on in the back. If you want to, you want to join in, you could drop $20 to drop somebody in the back. We do have people that is not on camera that is in the back, and you could drop them. Uh, so you drop twenty dollars, I would drop somebody that is not on camera. Uh, well, unlikely though, we're not talking like about uh, uh, Diddy though. We're talking so about the ahead, behavior. Uh, we're talking Tony, about... Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Go. Let me get Tony. Go. Let me give him the space. Go ahead, Tony. What's your thoughts? Uh, the conversation is very interesting. Um, and ten fifteen, I don't think she was saying if you just give them the dream. I think what PhD was saying once you get them to a certain point. The, the consent is, uh, you know, null and void. Uh, that's what I think she was saying. If people can drink and, you know, if they can function, this will be good. But if you're too drunk, I can understand having um, the the consent, you know, revoked. They, they, you know, in a very altered state of mind. So I definitely get that. I, I really, I guess I don't really get the whole bodyguard part thing. I know that they're privy to some of the shit that happens, but they're not privy to all of it. There was a right. security guard. There was a security guard, I think, on um, Vlad, and he was telling the story about how you know Diddy and Ja Rule was going in, and how them you know them niggas would come out with these like long ass dildos and stuff. That's so the they guy. know, the yeah, they know some stuff. I don't think they know everything. And they're definitely around, and they they play a part. But I don't, they're not yeah. in the room. If you, make, if you know some, or you know a little bit. You still know. You you know. You know what's going on. My is that more of a this is like if you know it's somebody's gay or not. Like if you see gay tendencies, like you, what, what are you, you gonna be like? That. Oh no! You can't like, say that, bro. You can't no, say you can look at Uzi. Do you think Uzi's gay? I think a lot of niggas gay that say they ain't gay. So that's I mean, why I'm yeah. just be like, we ain't gonna go down that road right there. I, I mean, know. I would say, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Uh, go ahead, Otis. Who then I'm gonna get ready to back in there as well. Go ahead, Otis. In my opinion, in my opinion, regarding the bodyguard, Gene Deal, shout out to STL because he is from St. Louis, but I know he's been in, in uh, LA, I mean, not LA, New York for a long, 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 long time. Uh, with that being said, it's a moral thing to me. Yes, morally, he's wrong, he's guilty morally, but mm. criminality wise. I will be a great lawyer on his side because, again, my point of view is he's bo he's bodyguarding the alleged predator or the alleged SA. He's doing that. Yes, I could go pick up somebody, but once that door is closed, I'm outside the door. I don't know what's going on behind there. Again, there is no yelling. I don't hear any yelling. I don't hear any of that. I could assume what I want. Let's keep it real. No. I could assume all I want. He didn't. The the, the uh, yeah, I didn't know of because since everybody wanted to paint a narrative because I love Sharon, but Sharon loved painting narratives. I didn't. Gene Deal didn't say he heard somebody run out the room naked, saying, "Oh my God, he touched me." I don't think Gene Deal said that. If that is true, then yes, he is culpable. Then he should have went to the police. But if that's not the case, 
just because I pick someone up and they go behind closed doors. And then years later, or even months later, it comes out that I was S8. You can't blame it on the bodyguard. And that's all I'm saying. And I could defend that on that side. So the that's problem is I'm what saying. you're saying that it exactly. Happen. So here's the problem. The problem is that it didn't happen one time. This is this is a habit that he has. What this was that? Not, not a, again, so what, you, what you're suggesting that something happened one time, you're not really sure. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but you but everybody know what Puffy was doing. This is not a secret. Gene Deal saying that no, everybody that was at the parties know that these things is happening. You go, you open up this door, psh, hey. You know what's going to happen once you go past that door. And you got to they came back. Therefore, it was something that he was planning on doing. This is not just a one off. They and we got to stop acting back. like it was a one off. Just because we are righteous and moral people, we put our righteous and moral things on somebody that is a deviant. One thing we forget to remember as bodyguards back then, they wasn't just like the Kevin Costner. Um, Whitney Houston bodyguard. These are niggas that some of them was from the hood bodyguards and even some professional bodyguards that was doing more than just guarding the body. If Gene Deal was there when he was bringing them pink cocaine in there and he was like, Gene, go get that cocaine for me. And you were just there to be the bodyguard and you go down for some of that. It is what it he's is. going to be a part of that. No different if he's the driver. And Diddy was shooting at somebody. You're guilty by association. You're an affiliate to the crime. You affiliate. Yeah, he you wasn't go. providing I, drugs though. This all. This all I'm going to say. Matter. You everybody. touched it. You. 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 you, you you're a bodyguard. You got no business touching nothing else he but didn't. making sure they, the bodyguard is guarded, from, bro. Where are you getting Gene Deal was giving people drugs? Where are you getting this from? If Gene Deal was, that's just an example. If he was involved in seeing the S A part, Deal, big dog. so, so here, here's the thing. So, so for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, you want to defend. We, oh. are not, we are not saying that he exactly. We are saying, if you are said, involved, yeah. if you are involved with the debauchery that is going on, you are picking a woman up, you are driving people around, you're doing all these goddamn things that you are know they are guilty of. Then therefore, you are an accessory to. The crime. You are an accessory. Yeah. 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 The crime committed. Now, now, what we can now bro. what can happen now? What can happen is that oh yes, that um they're gonna give him a deal to say you don't do no time because you over here telling the story. Yes, that is possible, but that doesn't make him any less guilty just because he was able to cut a deal since his name is Gene Deal. But yeah, yeah. I'm just talking yeah. about yeah. Make yeah. Make yeah. Yeah. Gene yeah. Deal yeah. do none of that yeah. stuff you saying he doing though. I but was we, specifically but, talking about Jane Dale. He didn't so, do none of that I'll stuff. So like here, here we go. Again, 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 we know he was involved with because he knows the intimate things that happened. When you agreed it was morally wrong, forget, take the criminality off the table. Would oh, yeah, you at least yeah, agree yeah, it was yeah, morally yeah, wrong? Yeah, of course, but I mean, okay, no, then, so we good. Nigga, bro. All... I mean, yeah, he morally, but he talking about putting buddy in jail and shit. We I mean, actually didn't say that. We was actually talking about the moral part. <laughs> you said he needs to be right now. No, hold on. Hold on. Puffy, hold on. So that was the big... So the big right confusion was that you didn't understand that we was talking you about said, the moral no, part. You that said we he need to be locked up with Puffy, bro. That's what you said. That's why I was like, why he need to be locked up, bro? Jesus Christ. People hear what they want to hear, Vapors. Uh, Vapors, people hear what they want to hear. <laughs> And this is what we were getting there. You just summed it up, Otis, like in, in, in three seconds. It's a moral <laughs> thing. Like, I mean, just to understand that we're on this side. But he was I said he was morally, morally wrong. wrong. But criminality is totally different. But morally wrong, wrong. is fuck. We all see like a defense attorney, bro. Right. Like, My whole point not, was he don't need to be in jail for the shit. All this other shit y'all talking about, I don't know what y'all talking about. I No, if he's an accessory, hold on. We know. So now we got that's the moral part. Okay, now we're cool. We passed the moral part. Now, if we want to talk about the criminality part, if he is aware of all the criminal shit that is going on, then his ass needs to go to jail too. And that's a whole other conversation because we got to prove criminality. And that's where that's we could have now. Now we can have that conversation. Yeah. But so yes. Now I am saying that if he knew all the criminal shit that was going on, I'm going to say it again. If he knew all the criminal shit and he was assisting them in all the criminal activities, he deserved to go to jail too. He's an accessory. You can't keep yes, on saying the word assist. He wasn't assisting the nigga. That's what I'm saying. But all right. All right. You don't know that. All right. All right. So, you know, but we'll some, find some out. Some people. 
uh, when I'm when I start to realize is that some people they just feel so morally strong about things and saying that they got to protect other men that didn't actually do said crime. Maybe it wasn't the physical one doing it that they got to protect these bad characters at all costs because they made have did something very similar, like give a girl a drink and now he feels a little like nah, it's okay. We was we was a part of some shit when we was younger. It's it's yeah. okay. <laughs> and now that we yeah, older, we move, so we move differently. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's I feel you on it's a manipulation oh. tactic. Yes. Yeah. Can I just say something real quick? Yeah, uh, to that point, because I want to jump in right there. Yeah, hundred percent, man. If you, if you, if you drinking with a woman, you got to be conscious to understand that you have to take full accountability for everything that happens after. Like, there we go. You're not just gonna just you see her lay down in the bed and you try to make a move on her, bro. You a fucking creep, bro. Mm. You a fucking creep. If she wobbly, all you should be doing, and I've done this. Women that I've just met lay on the ah. you break you breaking up, brother. You have to bring it back. You break said layer what. I think what he was trying to say is that he he had That's not a good free frame right there, by the way. I know. Right? I think I think what he was trying to express is that he'd um he he uh, laid them down, let them go to sleep, taking that. There you go. He you back. I right. Think. Yeah. So like you saying, Bracy, I lay him down. Yo, chill. Go to sleep. Boom. Lock the door behind us so only she can get in there, and I'm back outside. Yo, I'm out. Because usually the women that I that I bring around me are, are are women that's not gonna rob you, no hood chick, nobody that I feel I need to be afraid of. But women do have um, a lower level of alcohol, so y'all could be drinking. She get fucked up. That don't mean it's time to take. That's taking advantage, my boy. That's taking advantage. And and, and you a horrible, you a horrible hunter if that's how you gotta move to to get to something. Like right. me, you should always, as a man, you should take pride in her later on saying, yo, I felt so comfortable. I can't even believe I did this. Mm. I usually wouldn't do this, but I, you made me feel so comfortable, so open. I'm walking around your house naked. Mm. You know, so like me, I've always taken pride in that. And I feel like anything that is is in any way, like if you bring in the alcohol, you got to understand, yo, she might get lit. I don't even know her like that. Or or like, yo, this is probably our first, second, second, third time. Let me chill. And you got you to gotta restrain yourself, man. And that's what we was talking about. Correct. Yeah. And no, unfortunately, that falls on us. And that's what I was alluding to. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. But my whole point, my whole point was like... As a man, you gotta understand you are hold up. You break you all these, breaking up. Uh, Lee. Lee, I'm gonna put yeah, you on mute yeah, real yeah. quick because your connection is acting wow, crazy man. real quick. Yeah, it's just um you chopping up. I'm gonna let well, you yeah, Wi-Fi catch up so you can get back well, to my point was, man, we should be classifying things like Molly as a day rape job, bro. I think about things like Rufy, bro. Like I don't oh, think giving a I don't think giving there, man. No, because we're talking about the drug talk. Well, I'm talking about this. Is you got to understand, my friend. I'm talking about a a, a pill or oh, just a drug insane, that's similar bro. to that. Look, look, I'm talking about a drug that's similar to that that it gets you out of your mind, bro, without even really consuming that much. Like a Molly is not going to put you out of your mind to the point where you don't know what the fuck you're doing. That's what I'm trying bro, to say. Do you bro. watch professional sports? Do you watch he's, basketball? He's on this. You watch? Standing, you know that they have a drug it. protocol. Like well, in anything, we like, talking you have to about. Make sure. it, it, all right, go ahead. My bad. On my soul in the NFL, absolutely. NBA, you have to make sure what you what you uh putting in your body, or you will fail the drug test, and you will be suspended and not get paid. Like mm. just that. I'm like, not talking about sneaking under- Molly on people. I'm talking about them willingly do the, doing it, bro. Yeah, like the smallest people. thing could be classified as a drug. Like, mm-hmm. but yo, Molly baby, is baby. already a, a high level drug. Like, and, and speaking it's, of that. Viagra is like what uh, before the uh the germ vaccine, uh Viagra was the most selling thing. It was like a nine ten billion. But see, uh, vapors. Let me go and cut in this because I and, I and I apologize for interrupting you, bro. Listen, let me tell you right now. As Sharon know, I smoke a lot of weed, right? Not <laughs> not little boy shit either. <laughs> if you see me smoking, just know I got the real packs. You feel me with the real seal on them? I even I even went there yesterday, right? Grab me a new little weed hoodie and stuff. You feel me? Just because, right? Let me tell you something. A woman, don't have, to do, a woman don't have to do 
none of them hard drugs y'all talking about. She can smoke a woman who not used to smoking can smoke some strongs and be faded. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Especially, bro, I got some moon rock. I'm not gonna put down the camera, you feel me? But I got the moon rock too. The dabs and the weed mixed. You feel me? The right, the right person who don't smoke normally, they hit one hit of that, they done. You feel me? One or two hits, yep. Like I, I, I don't like this talk that we talking about right now, cause like me personally, that's why I don't really drink around women. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I brought up the 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 female that uh got expedited off the uh stabbing. That's what I brought that up. That was the whole point. That's, that's the danger yeah, like, to us. They can get like, high. You can put yourself and, in that danger. They can get high. Anything take happens. They, they they pick up the gun. You know what I'm saying? Cause they mind so impaired. So we got to stop saying like it's just Molly and stuff like that. I, I come from a drug family. I'm telling you. A million different drugs, even promethazine. You feel me? And activists. For those who don't know, that's that's fucking lean. So you can get that from your fucking doctor. You can get prescribed that. People put that in somebody yeah, cut. They you. call it lean. They you you you're literally done. Grown men falling asleep out of nowhere. You feel me? So it's not just a super hard. No, Gucci man had an issue with that. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying so. We got to be careful, like you know, how we talk about drugs and what it do to people. Because I'm telling you for a fact that I know for a fact I can smoke an ounce right now and be straight, talk to y'all, be complete coherent. I get that same 3.5 blunt to a young lady, and she faded. Shit, you give it to me, three hits, I'm no, done for the, thing. I'm I, done I, for the day. Uh, I want to bring it. Uh, I think unlikely is. Uh, <laughs> I think unlikely is is good now. He's okay, straight, and then we're gonna go older too. I know he has something to say as well. Good job, yeah, clear me. now. I bet. Yeah, yo. I mean, the whole thing is this, man. I've 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 chill with shorties. I've smoked with shorties. All of that. Uh, Damn. That's another crazy freeze frame right there. <laughs> brought to you by Unlikely. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, you 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 bleeped out again. Yeah. And uh, for the people that started to join in, yes, we do. Uh, Let me drop. We gotta drop uh, 20, 20 beans. We had dropped somebody in the back that is not cammed up. That is up to you. Go ahead, Otis. Who? And just support the show. Just to support the show as well. Too, it's Friday. Stop back like y'all didn't Most get paid. Definitely. Show Most some definitely. love. Support the show. Send a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It's all good. If you want to support drug free um, mingling. Send 99 cent to the cash app. Uh -huh. So that's all, right. all support drug free mingling. You're stingling and mingling. You're drug free and the date. Yes, send 99 cent. <laughs> yeah, you still. Real quick, uh, two points. To me, it boils down again macro and micro. It's unfortunate to me that we have the majority of the panel, and I'm trying my best because I don't want him. I don't want the young man. I forgot his name, but who, who is that that has the who wants who has to take who's taking the stance that 10, Molly? Who is it? Ten fifteen. To ten fifteen. I don't want ten fifteen to feel like we're coming on to him like that because it is what it is. And what I mean by that is, it's unfortunate that there is a facet of men out there, and I agree with what men are saying on this panel that feel the way he feels. He's going to get it one day. He's micromanaging a macro situation. Yeah. It's unfortunate that he feels that Molly is not as strong as whatever to inhibit a woman's decision. Yeah. Just So it's unfortunate he feels that way. I understand that alcohol, Molly, a hit of some weed, whatever mm. it is, a, 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 a margarita, a daiquiri. Mm. It, One of those things. It, it affects women or men differently. Mm. So Lack of I, get I get that. It's unfortunate that some men, a, a facet of men, I don't know how big it is, but it's still alarming that giving women alcohol back in the day is a form of loosening them up, even if the mm. woman wants the alcohol themselves. It's still a form of them loosening them up. And you are taking part in that. Mm. You got the will. You got to understand that's what you're doing. It yeah. feels good to me when I was single, when a woman tells me, no, I don't want any alcohol, and we still end up doing what we're doing. Mm. I know there's no alcohol involved. I was lit, but she wasn't. That mm. let me know she really was into me. Alcohol was not part of that. I get the difference now. 
I understand, mm-hmm. but he's going to get there. And that's all I'm going to say. But don't feel like we're pumping on to you. But the way you're thinking, it is kind of scary, though. But it is. Um, it is. Tell me why I, when I was there. And I want to let everybody know we do have three spots open in the back. So all the people that was trying mm-hmm. to get that was not willing to pay for oh. it, you now have an opportunity to hit the link for free. <laughs> Because <laughs> oh, for some reason, was... I don't want to support the show. I don't know why. But, hey, much love to everybody that's here. Hit the like button. At least let's get to 100 likes. I will appreciate that. Bandits. But no, so, oh, when I was at Central Michigan, it's a club up there called Wayside. It's, uh-huh. you know, it's like the only, you know, really club up there, at, you know, at my, at my college or whatever. And it was this girl, I remember, she took a fucking edible, bro. They said she took a, a regular little chocolate brownie. Bro, she was done. <laughs> Mm. Like they had to take her out that bitch. They had to call the ambulance. Like when I say she was hospitalized, mm. you feel me? Even yeah. though like they found out it was a regular um edible, five hundred milligrams, not even a lot. Well, average but person can handle that, but her, yeah, yeah. 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 she yeah. couldn't yeah. handle that shit, bro. She, you know, what I'm saying they they took her to the hospital. She had to have fluid put inside of her and shit because she was drinking too eventually. So the combinations, she was done, bro. She didn't take no real hard drugs. You know what I'm saying? On top of that. At the at the place they was giving out jello shots, you feel me? So they was mm. you you free jello shots with you know what I'm saying every shot that you order, whatever. Come on up. She was cooked, bro. So I don't I, I definitely don't like this the conversation of because mo- all of these drugs can harm you, literally. Absolutely. Unless she's smoking hookah, a cigarette, and even that can alter you. Mm-hmm. Right. But when you smoking certain weed strains with people, I'm telling you. Even me, Sharon, I, I smoke certain strains with certain individuals that, that smoke heavier than me. And mm. I'd be like faded. Like the other day, I had to end my stream because I was smoking with my mans. We was too strong. I'm like, bro, I gotta like I gotta lay down. I can't even run the stream. Yeah. And not to brag and boast. I don't do it anymore, obviously. But back in my younger days, I, I was on the they didn't call it Molly then. Show you how old I am. It was called ecstasy. Back then, the right. stack, the double stack, the Spider Man, the the yeah, had all of yeah, I did a the trans yeah. dolphins, yeah. 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 Alter you, of course it alters you. You can get a bad one, it'll fuck you up, or you yeah, so it alters you. So for a person to say it doesn't alter you, that's why I don't really get into that. It, it, it's unfortunate, but yeah, yeah, I agree, one hundred percent. About to be a situation. Shout out to DJ Vapors. He said he sent some money. He is supporting the show. Shout out to you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. He's on the street and supporting. He's a prime panel wise and financially. Shout out to DJ Vapors. He do have a channel. It's called Expect the Unexpected. Please go and show DJ Vapors some love as he's building up his channel. Let's get him monetized. Absolutely. Let's get him to the support that he needs. Let's all support each other because we have to crowdfund our, our own sector. I don't know why y'all don't understand that, but we got to crowdfund our That's own sector. That's a fact, though. <laughs> we have to. Whether it's a dollar, a like, a share, all that shit matters. You yeah, understand? Yeah. Every last thing matters. I don't know why I be, be trying to act like it, it doesn't, but it do. 100% it matters. You know, Y'all don't understand how difficult it is to be out here attempting to create something. We need your help. <laughs> yeah, it is a must. Shout out to yeah. uh, unlike these Wi Fi. Yo, y'all can hear me now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can hear you good now. Yeah, good I had to change. I don't know what's on my laptop because that shit's so far away from the, uh, the modem. But, um, yo, I hope I ain't cutting nobody off right now. You good? I just wanted to, I bet, appreciate you, Bracey. Uh, I just wanted to say, man, everything is all about discipline with a man. You could you could smoke with a shorty, you could drink with her, but you gotta understand that if she's inebriated in any way, you you shouldn't be trying to engage her at all. You should be laying her down, telling her chill, let, giving her her space to herself. Because you gotta understand that women are vulnerable in this world, and it's our job at the end of the day to protect them. At least the ones that we care. I mean, I mean, I feel like every woman you lay down with, you should have so at least. A, I mean, a, a little care for her, you know, at a least. A little bit. Like, I just, <laughs> right, like, damn, I'm like, oh. Damn. Damn. You was doing so good. God damn. So good. Damn. 
but yeah, so I think a lot of times they, they don't even when when we start talking about like men and women shit, I don't even think they even consider uh they family members as um as females in the world. And they don't realize like when they spewing these things and they just saying these things, they're not realizing that also it's gonna be a man that's possibly running to one of your family members that's gonna have the same ideology that you said, and you're gonna react completely different if your little niece, nephew, and so on and so forth comes to you and said, Yeah, I did let him do it, but I was scared to say no. You are going to look at that man in a different way. You might attack that man. You're not gonna look at it. Well, you knew what you was doing going there at 2 a.m. in the morning drinking. No, nah, that's crazy. No, you got to go ahead and um, toe tag niggas. You're not right, going to look exactly. at it the same. And then so on you top of that, you don't want men, you don't want that to be women's image of a man. Ooh. And it's like, like, you want it, like, we should uphold that standard where it's like, yo, if, if Shorty comes to the house and gets too high, or like uh, Darrell said, he handed a moon rock and she passed out, Darrell ain't going to then try to go up under the covers and, you know what I mean, do some weird shit. He going to go play the game. He going to go hop on the panel. Wait for her to wake up. Mm-hmm. Yo, hey, are you all right? <laughs> Could you pass out? Have a laugh with her. And then this is the secret, man. That the res- mm. uh, he, uh, he, he done locked <laughs> lock uh, uh, Y'all in trouble now. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all okay. are in trouble now. Oh, oh my goodness. I got to play this. Hold on. because Don't provoke me to anger. Or else you be in danger. <laughs> Y'all in trouble now. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. What's Uh-oh. up, Kelly? Y'all in trouble now. Kelly in the building. What up, Kelly? What up, Kelly? <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? What's, What's good? Up? How are you? <laughs> Kelly, bud. Y'all over here tripping. Y'all let y'all let ten fifteen talk about drinks as if people can't tell when somebody is really that fucked up where they can't consent. Like, ain't nobody talking about buying nobody no two drinks and, oh, she gonna cry right if you buy two drinks. No, 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 no. no. That's not we, you know what somebody is f up like with, to the point where you know they're not in their right mind and it ain't off no daggone a drink or two. So oh. let's let's stop dealing in the, in the extremes like that. Like, yeah. that's look, Callie, look, Callie, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Just give me one mm-hmm. second. All give right. me one second. Ten fifteen. You'll be able to address it. Go ahead, PH Diva. The dating pool roast react. Did we hear from Farnsworth Bentley? Not yet. We did not. He's he going to be a very interesting person to hear from because we know he dibbled and dabbled in a lot of different things going on. But go ahead, ten fifteen. Uh, ask Cali Bev your crazy question. No, I was going to. I wasn't gonna ask no question. Like what I was gonna say, we got a woman that's coming to the house. Cause like what Daryl said is true, and what Lisa said is true. You know what I'm saying? Like you can give a girl some smoke, and it's gonna put her up out of there. She's gonna be on the moon. You know what I'm saying? But for women that's coming over there knowing they're gonna engage in that type of activity, I think that they got a higher tolerance than just a woman that I'm sneaking a drug on. So my whole thing was I'm not, I'm not justifying people pumping a woman up with drinks or pumping a a woman up with ecstasy of molly and then taking advantage of her what i was saying is i don't classify like liquor and molly and shit as a date rape drug because they gotta willingly like fucking overtake that shit not necessarily okay so perfect example right um what you gonna call it i was talking to somebody who was my own age it's a little static okay how about, how about how about now? Is it better? Okay. Yes. So, um, what you gonna call it? I've told this story before, so I'll go ahead and tell it again over here. Um, I was 17 years old talking to another 17 year old, right? 35 year old dude hangs out with the young dudes to get the young girls, right? Damn. Like you know, get, he he provides you know liquor and all that kind of stuff like that, right? So you can go ahead and you get the young girls. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my Bluetooth. I think it's yeah. I think your hair is hitting. Yeah, it. that's ahead. what it is. Yeah, I think your hair is hitting the microphone. Go ahead, talk again. Because when you pulled your hair back, it was very clear. Okay, so what you call it? Um, you know, he would hang around the seventeen-year-old dudes so he can be around the girls that's going to follow the seventeen-year-old dudes, right? Of course. Mm. So you know, I drink my little booms farm, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been drinking since I was about fifteen years old. 
Mm. So I got my little, I got my little Boone's farm, my little fuzzy navel and everything like that. He was like, here, come to find out it was a goddamn Long Island iced tea. Yikes. And guess what he tried to do? Come in there with me and the 17 year old dude. Yikes. So yeah, that shit, it, you don't like dudes do be trying to do that shit. And you don't always know what you're drinking. Now that was luckily for me or whatever like that. I have a higher tolerance for liquor because I had been drinking for so long already. But you know what I'm saying? If I had been out of my out of my right mind, I would have been, you know, quote unquote, young and dumb, which I was. Last I accepted a drink that I didn't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? Lesson learned on that one. But what you gonna call it? That shit fucking happens all the right. time, all the time. And so, and so, and this is the thing that um, sometimes um, people like 1050 don't understand that he's promoting that. He, because he, he's not promoting it on purpose. Right? That's the problem. No, I'm not, not condoning like sneaking people, sneaking stuff in people's drinks. I'm talking about giving people straight up drinks that they're conscious that they're drinking and they drink. I'm not talking about well, sneaking well, a drink. Yeah, you, I was, yeah, I was that's what Kelly Mervis trying to explain like to you. Right. That's what she's trying to explain. I was conscious of me somebody drinking. Her, I didn't know that he gave me no fucking no Long yeah, Island ice tea. No, he snuck some shit on you. But it was it's still, but what, what she's saying that it was still 15. What she's saying that it was still um, alcohol, though. It was like he gave he, her some shit stronger than what she wasn't used to, bro. Jesus Christ. She didn't know. No, it ain't no Jesus Christ. He pulled a trick. Nigga. She wanted a fucking wine cooler or some shit. And this nigga fuck around and give her a strong ass drink. All right, so yeah, so you saying that? So you saying that? So, so what you saying right now? What you don't realize that you are saying is somebody give you a Molly that you are not accustomed to. What does that mean? What do you mean? I said a woman that's coming over there willingly doing that shit. If she never took the problem, right? Is, is I that was what you what you I was, was coming over there willingly to drink. What you fail to realize what you were saying is that I you saying I don't believe that she takes one Molly. That she's gonna be so out of her mind that she can't control herself, and what and what Kelly yeah. Bev is this, um, is is giving an example of. She took a little bit of a drink, and she was like, "Hey, this is too strong." But at that moment, because but, she was but drinking she for so drink long, long wow, this is long insane. Island. A this woman that take Molly, yes, one Molly ain't this gonna put her out of her mind like that. She didn't she drink Long Island. She drunk, she even had this conversation. She drunk wine she coolers, bro. She drunk wine coolers, not Molly, bro. It's two so, different alcohol contents in that shit. A woman that do Molly, taking one Molly is not finna like put her like out of her consciousness to the to the point where she's just out of her mind. She don't know what she's doing. Ooh. I'm talking about a woman that do this shit. That's coming to the party to do some fucking cocaine or do some Molly, like yeah. But what's bro, your point though? Again, macro. But even my still, whole hold point, on. Hold. My whole point was I don't think Molly and cocaine and shit is a date rape drug. I think but this you shit also, like the problem is shit. ten fifteen. That was my the whole problem, point. But, but the problem is ten fifteen. We gave you a, the problem ten fifteen. We gave you example after example why you are wrong and you just don't want to concede to the fact that you are wrong. It doesn't right, matter. You ain't proved me wrong, bro. Just because you think you're right, so, they not wrong. So, no, it's not. It's not about me thinking that I'm right. It's about that yes, drug, especially that drug, it changes the way how you move, feel, and think. And so once I that know that, happens, bro. I know that. Okay, you're telling so you act like you're telling me something on no. okay, That's so the again, point of doing it, because it changed the way you think. I think the it changed the point of doing is, it. What is he again, is a again, so once that drug. happens, the what problem is, is that you want to have it as it's different levels of the, this type of drug. You want to say it knocks you out is the only way you could consider it being a... Uh, uh, a SA drug. That's the problem. You saying that when she takes that, that drug, right she got to be passed out drunk or, or pass. She got to pass out. That's the only way you would consider it a uh, SA drug. That's the problem that you have it, and that is just a dumb way to look at taking drugs. I mean, well, if on, she Gracie, takes let's drugs. Not I want to. Yo, what do you think? Okay, so what is a date? Date rape drug to you. Like I said, I would say shit like roofies or nigga, exactly. that's white folks shit. Dumb, so. This is how dumb this conversation is. Well, okay, that's wait, what wait, you just say, up, my guy, but... Well, hold up, hold up. Okay, so okay, so you think roofies because it knocks you out? Is that is that what you think it takes for a because, woman to get raped is for her to be cold? Hold up, hold up. Uh, is, nah. hmm. Go ahead. Nah, that ain't what I think it takes for a woman to get raped. I think that's a date okay, rape so drug because I don't think that I don't think she's aware that she's taking that shit. And not only that, 
she ain't got to take that much of that shit, and she going to be, you know what I'm saying, her mind going to be gone, bro. When it comes to a woman that knows she taking Molly and she take it on a regular, bro, I don't think giving that woman a Molly is going to have her in the same state of mind as a fucking roofie. Because a roofie, All right. you ain't going to have no mind. Okay. Nigga, if a woman, if a nigga okay, so I'm going to ask you again. So I'm going to ask you again. Does it saying. take for a woman to be completely inebriated, in your opinion, for them to get great? Because that's what it sounds like you're saying. Because look, not. listen to this real quick. Yo, just not. listen to me. Hear me out. Okay, so if if I like uh, without her knowing, give her Molly, am I not date date great for her? Well, I didn't say no, without he's, her he's, knowing. He's, so. That's not what he's saying. I didn't say what he's saying. I know. Yeah, I think what? I know what he's saying. He's saying that a person who who says that they take Molly, they know what Molly does to them, so it shouldn't be a problem if she's going over there to take Molly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's wrong. what he's saying. So the problem is, is that he no, is but wrong. He's saying it does, that he it only doesn't does matter. It's the is is problem with what he's saying. Like he's saying. No, like I just said that's the only one. There's a lot of shit these white folks got, bro. I don't do that type of shit. So I said, I, say, yeah, I used the roofie. I didn't yeah. say, like, I didn't say roofie was the only one. I said something like a roofie. Just like I said, it's a lot of shit. Boy. All right. So the problem nigga, is, look, 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 this is what I said, bro. You asked me what drug. I said roofie. You just said the only drug, Rufy. I didn't say Rufy the only drug. Okay, okay, it's okay. So that. fine. So give us all right. So give us three more. Give us three more. Right. Thank you. Nigga, I just, and you just heard me say I can't give you no more names because that's some white folks shit. Oh, and I don't nigga. participate in no oh, shit. Oh my like god. This. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he basically saying he don't know all the synthetic drugs. He don't this know. No, 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 like there's All a right, bunch so, of ways so. to get somebody inebriated. Come on. If you give somebody Molly, if you give a woman Molly, right? And I live in a city where this is happening all the time. If you give a woman Molly, you will lower her inhibitions. You will bro, you will have her thinking that a that a dude, a homeless dude is attractive. You're definitely he's, say, he's saying that a woman who a woman who regularly takes Molly, she knows that she's going to be out of her yeah. fucking mind. But 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 we're she's saying consenting to be out of her okay, mind because oh, oh, she knows okay, she's taking right. Molly. Okay, she really takes okay, Molly. So does she that mean that you take advantage of her? Does that mean you take advantage of her? Hold on, hold on. So that's a great point. So that's the part that we are trying to really get to. So just because she went over there to take any kind of alcohol, any kind of drug, when she gets illiterate, when she gets to the point where she Inebrated. cannot consent anymore, now exactly. does that mean that she's invited? Does that mean, that mean why are you talking while I'm talking, bro? When she gets to that point. When she gets extent. to that point, is it okay for you to do whatever you want to do? That is the question. I just, I just said, no. Nah, if she gets to that point, all right. Guys, so what the fuck are you home. arguing hey, but about? That's what dudes are doing. Dudes nigga, are my using point. These, y'all these niggas is arguing, bro. Tool. I said, nigga, Yo. the only thing I said was if you give a girl one Molly that normally takes Molly, is not gonna have her out of. God damn, this man is not. Clearly, he took way only girl too you many. give Molly to is I mean, a girl you knew years or your wife. You don't never give a girl you just met Molly. That's crazy. I'm not giving a girl I just met Bro, Molly. If a, I know I'm trying to connect. Crib, this is talking and about I, she do my thing. Like no, nah, right. hold on, nigga, okay, hold on. Is acting like y'all y'all don't understand what I'm saying on purpose. Perfect, we do not understand what you're saying. You, the problem is you don't understand nah, what you are saying. Nah, no, I you don't understand what I'm saying. No, y'all 10, 10, 15, is you do not understand what you are in- implying. That's the problem that we have. No, with. no, no, no. I'm not implying nothing. Jesus, because you're talking, not... you are talking and not listening. You just talking. No, because he's not going to let you say what he is saying. He's trying to say what he is saying. Yeah. No, the problem is, no, no. This is the problem. We heard what he said. We heard him. The problem is, he just do not. He just, he just do not want us to say what he is saying. He's saying the no, shit, you're, and then you're we agree that he's tell me it, what I'm saying. But because he's, what the fuck is you're going on? You're spinning what he's saying. You're we are not what spinning it. About to be a yes, you way. are, nigga. Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Rising Souls for becoming a member. I appreciate you as you are being a solution-based gangster as we are dealing in the truth in 2024 and and. Therefore, I don't understand. Shout out to Brownsville, New York. PhD for. Woo. 
Be careful, men, women. Hey, most... I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brownsville. Be careful, men, women. Most legal limits for intoxication only takes two mixed drinks, one molly, or three to four beers. Stop attempting to walk tight ropes. Woo. And so, so the problem is, is that we hear the tight rope that he is trying to walk on. We don't agree with the tight rope that he is walking on, but he wants us to understand the tight rope that he's walking on, saying that it's okay. And we are telling him it's not okay. We don't care if she took it. What did I say was okay? What did I say was okay? What did I say was okay? I don't understand what I'm talking. You will get your chance to talk, please. What I am saying is that we don't care how many times she took it before you. She took it 30 times before you. The moment when she comes up to your house and you give it to her and you take advantage of her taking it, it doesn't excuse the behavior. But he's not taking it. What did I say was okay? What are you talking about? What did I say was okay? Because you're trying Dog. to... You, when did you say it's okay? You said it is okay when you said that this I just said nothing is, was okay. Jesus Christ, when you said that she's been taking it. She is a professional at taking it. And so therefore now what happens after she takes it, it doesn't have anything to do with the man. That's the problem that we have. I didn't say that, my nigga. Why are you, you saying all that shit I didn't say? I said so if you what, give a bitch you, one pill. So, so hold on, so hold on. Let me I make didn't say all that. that. I didn't so say all that. Let me make something clear what you say. So you, think, you, think, you, think, you think that you're not insinuating Nigga, if the bitch asked for a pill, nigga, I'd give her a fucking pill. What the fuck? Nah. No. I didn't, then that, bro, okay, you like her, you attracted to that woman, you just gonna pass any woman a pill just to get, like, bro, just to lower her inhibitions. My, if this hoe at my crib, of course I'm attracted to the bitch. She over there at a okay, party, so you got and the bitch want a motherfucking Molly, I'm gonna get that whole motherfucking Molly, nigga. Man, nah, dog. But still, let me, I didn't again. say nothing was okay, Sharon. But, and what, exactly but, what I just said but, was, uh, if on, she so, come so over there and take too many Molly, and what I said, if she come over there and take too much Molly and she out her fucking mm -hmm. mind, then she gonna get the fuck out of my crib. May I please ask the question? I promise you're gonna selfish, bro. No, 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 don't, don't attack him. Let me ask him a question, please. I'm hoping it's gonna come home to him. Mm -hmm. Based on what you just said, you, that's your question. Could you easily have sex with that young lady to come over your house and don't offer her the Molly? Or, or she gonna want to have sex regardless. Meal, meal. She gonna want to have sex regardless. She just, she just trying to party. You don't allow people to get the thought out, so because I want you to think about what I'm about to ask you. Right. When right, the woman come over your house, the Molly is on the table. It's there, but she's over your house. My question to you is. Do you have to offer her, her the molly and can you just bypass it and go to the room or are you giving her the molly because you know, even though she's experienced, it's going to help in her being relaxed with you? See, y'all niggas ain't listening. First of all, that asked, bitch, I, hold on, hold on, that molly. bitch asked for the molly, nigga. I didn't offer nothing. She fucking regardless. Okay. She fucking with me. She fucking regardless, nigga. She fucking regardless. Nigga, hold on, hold on. She fucking regardless, nigga. Did you hear? Did you hear the question? Look, look. She fucking regardless. Yeah, and the question was. Look, and she at my crib. She fucking regardless. Answer the question, bro. We ain't trying to. And what I just said was, and what I just said was, she asked for the fucking Molly. I ain't offered nothing, nigga. She came over there and asked for it, nigga. I didn't offer her nothing. I got you. It's fine. You, you didn't hear what I said, but I Why got you. Why you got the mollies on? No, we I heard what you said, said bro. But, yo, but your I, I question is irrelevant said, to the situation no, that no, he no, would be laying out. I heard what you said. It is. If she comes to the house, she fucking her molly and shit. He didn't say anything about offering her no molly. I didn't say anything about offering her no molly. I didn't say anything about offering her no molly. And she fucking her no molly. Hold on, hold on. One at a time, y'all. One at a time. So here's the problem. So the problem is what we was talking about. Once she is illiberate, once she is out of her mind, we don't care how many, how much of a professional she is. It doesn't matter that Kylie Bell was a professional drinker at 15, right? Once she got an extra drink, she's like, no, this is not the right space one. But because she was able to recognize it, she was able to take herself out of it. And we are saying most women are not able to take themselves out of it. And they get advantage taken of them. And then after they go over to said man's house and they do, they, they, they ask for this pill. And then now they are in a position where they cannot say no because they're going to look, be looked at a certain way because they consider a hoe because they went over there. They took the drug themselves. And then now at that moment, they cannot go and say, hey, this happened to me. 
because the man is going to say she knew what she was getting involved in when she came over to my house and took a sip of this alcohol. How many of y'all actually have done hard drugs here? I took an X once. I, 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 don't, I haven't never done I took an X once. I smoked marijuana. But the answer is no. The mushrooms. I did mushrooms. I did mushrooms. No. Yeah, doing something once don't really mean nothing because at the end of the day, again, I can have I can have somebody who fucking pop molly, do coke, you name it, do crack, you name it, inject they stuff with the with the needle, you name it. And they used to doing it, but then they can have a pack that's, you know what I'm saying, from a whole different supplier that fucked them up. Right? Again, what conversation are we really having here? Are we saying that just because somebody do a drug consistently that there won't be a situation where they might have a different pack from a different supplier? And it's still labeled coke or whatever the fuck drink, you know, drug y'all want to fucking name. And that shit won't fuck them up to the point where they won't be out of their fucking mind. Before I keep going, is that what the fuck we're saying? No, it's a dangerous game to play, period. So that's the and that's what we're is. saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Let me walk this down. I'm trying to say this for a minute. So when 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 1015 said, Well, she asked me for the Molly. And so I, apparently, because you you had to give it to her based on the conversation that y'all niggas been having. Otis, listen to me. It's the same thing when they blame the women for the babies. She asked me to take the condom off. Did you have to, my nigga? She <laughs> asked me for the molly. Did you have to give it to her, my nigga? Right? If she really wanted that bad, she could have came with it. Look, mm -hmm. look, dog. And on top of that, to his point, ultimately was, well, I I didn't give it to her. I I fucking like a hey, hey, Otis. I didn't give her the, the fucking heroin pipe. She asked me for it. So I did give it to her afterwards. So nigga, you did give it to her. That's I think one. With 10, 15, 10, 10, I think 1015 is arguing against the point that he's giving it to her so he can have sex with her. That's that's the that's that's the spin that's unnecessary. That's not what he's saying. No, that's he's not what he's saying. No, so that's he not what he's saying. But even no, no, but Daryl was saying that it could be a drug on, that's cut with still something. in that situation, right? He don't know that. Yeah, he right. Don't I can have a woman every day that do coke, and I'm just chilling doing coke with her. And one day I wake up and I want to grape her. So now when she come over, I'm gonna give her a higher dosage. Right. We can't just simply say, well, we know the intentions behind somebody doing something, and Correct. because the young lady repeatedly did something, did something. that she should have known what, what kind of situation that she might be in. That's Correct. that's crazy, right? Because again, let's keep in mind, Cardi B robbed a whole bunch of dudes and date raped them. And niggas was on here crying. They wasn't mm. saying, oh, yeah. Uh, and those men might have done drugs. No, bro. They were saying those men were victims. Mm. Point blank, period. Those men were victims. And, and, and when Cardi bragged about it, she was wrong. It's the mm. same situation here, but we're not coming to the same conclusion because we want to cape for niggas. It's right. goofy. And none of us has really did hard drugs. I have. Not one time. Didn't she rob him, though? Yeah. But she used okay, so the drug different. to do so. So that's what I'm saying. But she, she but, still used. She used. But what he's saying is that she still used a drug to do it. If they was in a right mind, she wouldn't have been a robin. And same thing with the woman. If they was in a right mind, they might not have got the vagina. That's the simple point. as that. Exactly. And ain't no way yeah, we can again. argue that. Yeah, ain't no I way around. The, uh, Kelly, I think, like, again, I you think, know what I mean. Some I, of these I, drugs I, are again, cut I, with, with with certain things. They, 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 they don't even put fentanyl in it. They put in all other types of stuff. If you ever heard even Kendrick Lamar's it. first album, DJ Vapors, remember he said, remember if your first blunt had you foaming at the mouth, I was straight tweaking the next weekend we broke even. The nigga mm, smoked yeah. the blunt and the nigga literally mouth was foaming mm. because they have, you know what I'm saying, out there they, they smoke something called 51s, mm. right? If you know what that is, that's a real strong lace weed. It might be laced with fentanyl, it might be laced with whatever, but they add that in as a sedative and you won't even notice it. Mm, right. Right. But what 1015 is arguing against is y'all putting a narrative on him as if he has to, um, he's going to be giving it to her to have sex. That's the only reason why I think he's fighting up here. But so he don't even know which way it's going to go that. based off the drug. That's what we're saying. And how, how do you, how can you anticipate what the drug and the effect going to do to that said person compared to their tolerance or whatever? It don't even matter. It could be something completely I mean, different in that not, drug but that's at that not time. His argument either. That's not his argument either. So, so, so Cali Bev, so are we saying, so the problem is that, that he don't understand that it's dangerous about it, right? Like, 
it's very similar to if a woman is considered the whole of the of the neighborhood. Now that gives you free range to whenever she comes into your house and force yourself upon her. That's what he's saying because this is what she's used to. She's used to giving it up. She's used yeah, to get, she used to, she used to pop in a Molly. So now when yeah. she pops a Molly and she feels a little bit more loose, I'm going to take advantage of it because she's feeling a little bit I more. I did loose. not hear him say anything of the sort. I, I understand you didn't hear him I, say I, I that. Agree. I understand you didn't hear him say, but that's what he said earlier. These are the things that he said. Yeah, yeah. Initially, he said earlier that he didn't consider uh, Molly a S A uh, uh, a drug. Yeah. No matter who it is, he still yeah. believes that he believes, and, and and I'm not jumping on. That's why I wanted to seem like we're we're jumping on him because I agree with him to a certain extent. I don't. He agrees that which I don't agree with that Molly is not a quote unquote uh sa drug. A, a sa yeah. drug. That's his belief, and he gave his explanation of it. That's my pushback. Yeah, That's it. it. Is. It is. It's it's, 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 it's it was already defined as such by yeah. PhD. Already. Yeah, yeah. And but I get that, what he's saying, and in, yeah. in the same sense yeah. that if she if she's like knowing that it's there, but that even to everybody else's point, doesn't mean that it can't alter at any time just because right. of the tolerance, just because she knows about it and she's tolerant of it. Right. Right. I just want him to understand we, that pushback. Yeah, I think okay. So, so, so if a woman asks, if a woman regularly takes Molly, right? She asks for a Molly or whatever. She's there to have a good time and everything like that. If she cried and say after, I think she's shitty. You said repeat the last part. You broke up a little bit. That's a shitty person. If she goes over there to take Molly, she knows what she know what time it is, and then she holler essay afterwards. I think that's a shitty person. So, cool. Kelly Beth, have you ever heard of women right, say, right, right. I got a question. So, Kelly Beth, have you ever heard women say, like, you know, they was at a dude house, they wanted to do it, panties down, they, they, they're about to, but they changed their mind, but they was, they were scared to say no at the moment because they liked to do, but they didn't really want to do it. Have you ever heard a woman say that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and but she still didn't get sexually assaulted. But what she does that mean? She was scared to she, say it. No, no. I got a very important still, question, too. Because she still consented. Just because you're doing put, something you don't, don't want to do. Yeah. Oh, wow. But hold on, hold on, Sharon. Let me mind this out, please. We are not allowing women to be scared and say, hey, at this moment, I want to say no. She cannot say no no more. Callie, Callie, Callie. A Callie. lot of women say, she I'm so afraid she... to say no because hold at on. this moment of oh, the position crazy, that I'm bro. in, that I walked into this house, I took a sip, I took my panties up, I let them kiss me, and then now I feel like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't, I don't want to run past what Kelly said. Kelly, when you right, said so, she took um, Molly yeah, and she knew what time reader. it is, what does that mean? She know what time it is. What can you elaborate? What th what does that mean? She going yeah. over there to fuck. She know what time it is. So just because she do the drug means she going over there to fuck. That's, that's part of knowing what see, time it is. If she's going over there to take Molly, she's going over there to fuck. And Hold on, let me mind it out, fellas. So, yeah. so in your Ooh. mind, because she do the drug often and she going over there to do the drug, that means that she gave consent, correct? That's not what I said. But you said she gave consent. So I'm trying to figure out at what point did she actually say it's okay to have sex with me versus saying it's okay she, for me to do this drug? She knows what her, I'm, talk, I'm talking about someone who knows what her intentions are, okay? She's intending to go over there to take Molly and to have sex. But we wasn't talking about somebody who made her intentions clear to us. We wouldn't know about the individual's intentions because we just know that she was S.A. We, we, we wouldn't know about their intentions unless she made it clear to us. Unless she, unless she made us unless she made us privy to her intentions beforehand. We are assuming. Uh, that so, I mean, with that understanding that because I'm not going to put nobody here, but any woman from this space can just come around me and get high and I can fuck them with or without their consent because them getting high with me is the consent. Is is that what you're saying? No. Elaborate for me then. What else is there to elaborate on? I'm talking about the woman and her intentions. It, yeah, it has but, nothing but, to do with it has nothing to do with y'all. I'm talking about the woman and her intentions. So if she's intending on going over there to take Molly, she's intending over there to go ahead and have sex off of said Molly, and then she goes ahead and has sex and then turns around and says, Oh, I was under the influence of Molly. I really didn't want to do this. I think she's a shitty person. But Callie, my question to you fairly is how can you know her intentions without being made privy to set intentions beforehand? How 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 are you so certain? That her intentions were to have sex. 
I'm not talking Toronto, about what answer, the Toronto. man knows. I'm talking about what the woman's intentions are. And that's what okay? I asked you. you. you How do you want to know? Kelly, Kelly, let me let me share because I I think everybody else hear me. You're speaking that she has the intentions to go over and have sex, and I'm asking you. Unless she made those intentions clear to you verbatim, how can you know about those intentions? How because, can you be certain because she's about going it? over because she's going over there. She took the Molly and she's having sex with you. That's how you know what her intentions are. So you don't know. Okay, I got it. Cool. Kelly Bell, that's your question. Is she not having sex with you? Kelly I Bell, asked you about her question. intentions. How would you know those are her intentions? Because she was great. She's she, having hold, hold on, about the she said Sorry. she was. Hold on. She, if she's saying that she was great, and as a, that means that she didn't give consent. So I'm asking you, how did you know before the situation occurred mm -mm. that that's why she went over there for that intention to happen? How could you actually know that? It's not about you knowing, sir. It's not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not about, I'm not about the man. I'm talking about you. How could you, Kelly Bev, know this woman's intentions? Oh, I'm not talking intention. about that. No, uh, only only she would know what her intent is. So how are you speaking towards the other woman's intent now? I just said that if she is going over there and her intentions are to take Molly and have sex, and then she turns around and says, oh, never mind, I don't want to do this after she had already done it, then she's a shitty person. It has nothing to do with me paying third, third um, uh, Monday morning quarterback. I'm talking about her and what she did and what her intentions are. I'm not speaking as a third person. I'm speaking on her, period. Who? The can woman. You, okay. And I'm asking you, how can you know that woman's intentions? No, let her mind I'm it not out. talking about me knowing her intentions. I'm talking about her operating off of her own intentions. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a third party here. I'm talking about her. Okay, all right. You mute your question. Ron. Okay, class, your quick question. Real, real, oh, go, go. Oh, you mute it. You mute it. You mute it. Ron, you mute it. You mute it. You they mute say, it. hey, they, most of the time when a man is buying a woman over that he's trying to pop up for the first time, he said, hey, just come over. I got liquor and all of this. Uh, we're just going to chill out. We're going to hang out. That's what he say. They're not saying, oh, we're going to get some alcohol, get drunk together, and have drunk sex. That is not what it said. Right. So the reason why he's giving her those things is because it's going to make her feel loose. It's going to make her feel a little bit more acceptable to that man. That is the problem. So when does it become a a, a situation where she could say no? Is the issue us. that she we would say no about. and leave? She ain't got a drink because well, he offered her a drink. What the fuck and, are we talking and you, about? And you already agreed that some women they get to the point where all these happen when they got all these things. It's two a.m. <laughs> I've been drinking with them. I, I took the drink and all these things. If you're not trying to fuck them, the why are you over there at two a.m. Yeah, that is the uh, thank you Wait, that you said what? That, that, that is that is the issue. Yes, if she crazy. is over there Kelly at does. two a.m., oh, is... why are you acting surprised when he wants to fuck? Sharon, may I? May that I is the issue Sharon? right there. I That's the right. issue. Yeah. 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 He conflating the optics. We just so, making so, it seem like it's one. Let me say this. Let me say this again. A lot of, I, work oh, a lot of, I work with a lot of ladies before, on my team, real quick. Yeah, right? just, um, hit the super oh, chat, and I'm gonna let you go ahead and uh, run it, it ahead, up, Daryl Long. Uh, whew. um, go ahead, Kelly Bell. I mean, um, you coming, she coming over there at 2 a.m. to play cards. What the fuck? Right, you coming over at 2 a.m. to play cards? What are we doing here? Come yes, on, that happens. Right, so Brownsville, New York, uh, MDMA is an illegal hallucinogenic. Mm. If you give it to anyone, they can't legally give consent, whether they ask for it or not. Be careful out there. Absolutely. So let me say something real, real, real quick. Again, I work with a lot of different women on my team. The other day, Jen came to my house around almost two in the morning, maybe almost yeah, probably between two and three in the morning, because she makes the fucking merchandise for Sim Nation. She came over. She brought some new weed. We sat in the car and fucking smoked and was on her laptop the whole fucking time. She wasn't seeing pop her titty out, right? So again, this is very dangerous rhetoric that yes. women can't just go to men's house at any time of the night and do something because they have to be expected to have sex. That's stupid as fuck. When but I now, know, that, but oh, that was the You knew that was the We're not going there. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
Hold on, Kelly. Hold on. Hold on. That's Everyone, bullshit. You'll be, be able to untwist the words and you feel like he's twisting it. You'll be able to untwist it by lying. Hold on. Whether it was wrong, right, or different. Even if I got you, I got you. So even if even Kelly, hold on. Hold on. Even if he twisted your words, you will have your you will have the opportunity to untwist it. You don't have to answer it game. directly. Just wait until he finishes the thought and untwist the words. Use your words. Team. But go ahead, uh, Darlon, finish your point. Don't make it attack because you know people just. No, yeah, I'm not twisting the motherfucking so, thing. I, I understand. I don't. I, I got you, just, just, I got just, you. Yes, please. I got you. I can speak to, so to her gonna, point. I can so speak before to her point. Before, before you go, I got you. So we're gonna go Daryl Long, Cali Bev. You're gonna get a chance to rebuttal. Uh, Darlon, you get a chance to rebuttal after, and then we're gonna bring Otis into the conversation. Let's try to have the, no the conversation and no attacks at each other. Please. I've had I've had women who I would eventually go on to fuck, who <sighs> I wasn't fucking at the time, who I was, you know, who women who wanted to suck my dick come over at two in the morning <sighs> and smoke with me, and nothing happened because that's how it went. To, that's how, as a man, I wanted to fucking go down. She didn't have, oh yeah, you come to my house, bitch, at two in the morning, you gotta fuck me. No, it don't work like that. Period. If I'm fucking with a bitch, or if, or or if not. Period. It don't work that way, right? That's some rapey shit. Oh yeah, you come into the house, so you 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 had to know what's up. You know what's up. You know what's popping. No, no, absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. And I hope one of you niggas' daughters tell my. I hope one of y'all sons tell my daughter that so I can put a bullet in one of them niggas. God damn. That make no sense. That y'all uh, and, and then y'all gonna raise sons like this and then blame the woman when the little nigga end up in the motherfucking on ground crying and shit on, on, on TV. My son didn't do nothing. Your son was a fucking predator. Hey, Beretta Scott King, who are you speaking towards? You got to say somebody's name. Uh... Uh, you want me to read it? Yes. Beretta Scott King. You know what? Uh, drop yeah, that floor, Mammy, and allow PH to have the floor. That's crazy to say somebody like that. You can't be right. slandering people. But, but whole, who exactly do you mean? I mean, Kelly point Bevin's two, the only, woman, I mean, I'm the only woman up here that's yeah, talking that about women should not be going over men's houses. So she calling me a fucking Mammy, even though that's goddamn common sense. If you have no said purpose of going over to that nigga house, they don't just use the thing talking about some. Yeah, she was over here. And up up. In Yo. As he said, Callie. So yes, it is Callie. So you have 15 minutes. Beretta. One Scott, of my friends, Callie, Sharon, can I say something? said Callie. One of my friends, Sharon, came to my house just a few weeks ago before I got locked up. Her name Ariel. We went to college together, bro. She watched mm -hmm. my daughter be born. I, I literally took her to the hospital. When her um, when she was pregnant, bro, it was like one of my closest fucking friends. Now, of course, we not smashing them like that. But again, I, I got a lot of female friends, bro, and a lot of them can come and kick it with me at any given time of the day or night. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it, and 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 they, and, they, and they won't have no ex, no um expectation to give up no box, bro. That's dangerous, predatory type rhetoric, bro. I have um PhD, Diva. Um. So first off, I don't think Callie is a mammy. Um. That take is a little male identified, though. Uh, okay. So, you know, I'm from a city that don't close. Right. You know, mm. it's, it's open all night, all day. And so I've been at a man's house at two, three o'clock in the morning, you know, and not slept with him. We may drink. We getting ready to go to a next spot, you know. And mm -hmm. so there are plenty of reasons why a woman could be at a man's house in the middle of the night. Um you know, that don't involve sex where she might be enjoying herself and having, you know, having a drink or even popping a molly and it doesn't have to, you know, revolve around sex. But, you know, I kind of get where Callie was coming from. You know, there was an old saying that ain't nothing open after 12 but legs. <laughs> and right. so it's kind of that type of mindset. But no, I think there are plenty of reasons that wouldn't involve sex and that a woman don't have to be going to fuck or knowing what time it is just because she's at a man's house in the middle of the night. Absolutely. Don't provoke me to anger, or else you be in danger. Gurkha legend, bring Cali back. Absolutely. Yeah, and also, I want to bring man. into the show D Town. What to do? You are also in the show as well. And podcast, you have an issue with your. I cannot bring you in yet until you. It's the like kid that did. What's up with it, y'all? Y'all out here on this it? Friday? Hey, D Town. Hey, y'all. It's Sunday down here. D Town. Looking out there for y'all. 
Man, stop using sauce walker lines, nigga. Just because you from Texas. Stop it. I caught all that. Let her let her Kelly Bev so she can yeah, get right, a chance Kelly. to uh actually get her full thought out and let her get her full thought out, please. Even what's though up, it is what's up, D Long, y'all all right. What up, Lee? Thought, yes, hold on one second, D Town, Kelly Bell, let her get her full thought out. Okay, so there is a difference between going over your homeboy's house. Okay, that Big is y'all y'all known each other for, for years and all that kind of stuff like that. There is a difference between being there at you know 2 a.m. because y'all get ready to go somewhere else or y'all finna go to dinner, y'all just got back from um from you know partying or whatever like that, right? That is your friend. That is a pre um how do you say that? Uh that's a relationship that's already been established between the two of you, right? Okay. That's much different. Then some nigga that you talking to and you over there in the middle of the night or whatever like that and you want to act surprised because he want to clap some cheeks. That's crazy to me. If you think that being over at somebody's house at old dark 30 in the morning, somebody that you're talking to, right? Y'all don't have no kind of years friendship down there. That's not your homeboy or no shit like that. And you don't think that he's going to want to clap cheeks. I think that's wild. And I think that is um, like some kind of, I think that's a little bit naive to think that he ain't going to want to clap no cheeks and the expectation wouldn't be there. Now, if you find yourself in that situation or whatever, because everybody got to, you know, I won't say everybody, but some folks got to bump their head. Like I'm one of the people that got to bump their head before they learn a lesson, right? So if you are, if you find yourself in that situation or whatever, right, make it clear, hey, that's not what I'm over here for and you dip anything else please. that goes on after that after you dip and he forces himself on you and all that kind of stuff like that 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 that, that is sexual assault uh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, can i please follow up behind that please and sure. I'm go you, i agree and i got your back on this one kelly bell everything she said is accurate what, you can't even pronounce what, her name stop it anyway damn it <laughs> anyway, come on now. Anyway, the thought process of what Daryl Long said, that's a caveat. We're not talking about friends and exceptions to the rule. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a baseline. The baseline is, and I want to see the numbers, Pre please, no emotion, no nothing. The baseline is if a woman goes over a man's house, at two o'clock in the morning, nine times out of 10, she's over there for some type of sexual encounter. Nine times out of 10, the baseline. Wow. We're not talking about the- Y'all niggas dangerous. Y'all dangerous. Me otherwise. And so, I teach you the door to this. I so teach you the door to this. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> Let the me same finish. daughter you don't even talk to, but you know they fly. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that for free. Okay, do that. One at a time, y'all. Let's keep it one at a time, please. When so, I interrupt you, you're gonna have a problem with it. Again, let, let all this get all this finished. Just don't read. Just, saying, hold on, I got you. Just don't just don't reiterate it. Go ahead, okay. land it. Go I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm gonna stand on it. The baseline. We all know what the definition of the baseline is. Majority of your women that go over a man's house in the a.m. two o'clock in the morning, nine times out of ten is a sexual escapade. Nine times out of ten, and I'm gonna stand on it. I'm not talking about somebody coming over there to make memorabilia or brand work for your website. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the good friend that's really gay or y'all really true have a platonic relationship. But oh, it's like that's not factual. That's good. feeling. That you, you added emotion though. You that's contradictory. You must say y'all adding so much shit to get this all yeah, in a you, fucking you sense. You saying that that is fact? That that's not true. Just prove what I just said. Daryl, you this added all shit talking did. about making merch. I didn't add a motherfucking thing. Okay, I stayed on. I dressed with the fuck. I got y'all. I got y'all. I didn't add a motherfucking thing. Hold on, one at a time. Now, one at a time. Let's do it. One at a time. Let's keep that. Let's keep the name dropping. Let's try to have a conversation one at a time without us getting upset at each other. Just have a topic about. Let's have a conversation about the topic. Let's not throw it at each other, please. 
We are just talking wow. about the topic. Please, can I can I've I had people substantiate their points when women like PhD, but whoever PhDs like she'd say some shit and men try to make her substantiate her point. Is, is there any facts or anything that we can use to, to fucking substantiate this, even in the smallest? What about you? Okay, but 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 let me say this what to y'all because exactly. I've been in the I've been in the bleachers, I ain't on the field, so y'all probably don't see the holding. In, 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 in the off sides like I do. You get what I'm saying? On both sides. Now, on both sides. You get what I'm saying? So let me say this. I get what you're saying, Otis, but you know they want us to be, um, you know, your words mean everything over here. So mm-hmm. I understand where they trying to say that. It might not mean that, but coming from a woman's mouth, like Callie just told us, I'm going to go with the woman. And the woman said, nine times out of ten, or most of the time, the girl know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Now, with the Molly situation, if Molly is classified a man said as that, a, by the way, not a woman, but go ahead. Okay. Anyway, however, man and woman, however. Okay. But with the Molly situation, uh, if Molly is considered a um a, a date rape drug, date rape drug, then I understand. Okay, that's what it is. But my boy 1015 wasn't applying that he was using it to get any type of sex from a girl. He was just saying some girls have their preferences of drugs than others. Some like alcohol, some like weed, some like this tea. Crazy. But D Town, the story said, that we started off at. Let's, let's, let's let him get it out. Let him get it out, Let's let him get it out. But it's important to say that the woman was SA. We started there. The woman we said she was there. SA. Let's start okay. where the fucking start. The premise the was, was the woman. Hold on. Let me try get all right. All right. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Let's, 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 let's get a conversation. Some air. Hold on. I got everybody. Let's get a conversation. Some air. Go ahead, PhD. All right. Sway producing. Old people are hilarious. Y'all argue to argue. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Damn it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> But so what was the premise 10 15 hold on. God damn it, we got more oh, sorry. i didn't know i didn't know Shit. Bad. Go ahead, God, <laughs> all right brownsville new york can Justin, i read it for you no my oldest was doing good shaking my damn head otis is never doing good <laughs> damn beretta scott kane so should we make what? the same so should we make the same assumptions when men go visit men at 2 a.m as in diddy's case Absolutely. Damn. Women always yep. change. The if they gay. Always. If they Man, gay. That's how they get down. I mean, yeah, well, we yeah. have no yeah. way of knowing yeah. if they gay, just like we don't know people's intentions. So, if they going what over there do- for that what if it's 2 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Yeah. We got one more, PhD. Diva. Okay. Sway producing. Goofy little old people. Eat a snicker. Move the convo. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he said he tired of y'all. I'm for you short, older cats. Now, no tolerance. We also gonna bring a podcast into the conversation. I don't What's know up, podcast? Long, but it's new podcast. What is What's your thoughts so far on? No, the, uh, hold on, let me finish this thought to D Town. Okay, the podcast. Mm. Yeah, talk, talk to me, D Town. D Town. So this so we can have a fully understanding because niggas love jumping all over the fucking place. One thing we do know on the record is a woman was SA and she said and and and, and, and toxins show that blood all this shit was found in her fucking blood system. None of us can. None of us here. Can say why she was there. None of us here, unless you interview her on the record, can speak to her intention, right? So why are we doing all this bullshit saying, well, we, we didn't say that uh, he was gonna rape her? Okay, then he never said that. However, when the motherfucker was talking about the young lady, he's he openly said, Well, I don't think the Molly is a is a fucking drug that can lead her to being great. Therefore, what Sharon was saying, you're not really you're not really saying you would do it, but you you basically advocating for it. Because this woman said that she went through this something, she got drugged to the point where she didn't even know what the fuck was happening. Does that sound like somebody who does that drug normally? But again, it got all the way down here. <laughs> to prove this the motherfucker didn't want to stick to the fucking topic. Yeah, because they gotta they gotta we gotta move the goalposts to, to prove the point. Uh that's that's the issue that we are really having. Uh even though we all agree with it at one point, but then they want to move it a little further to say, hey, but what about that one woman that comes over at 2 a.m.? It's plenty. It's crazy to me, personally. But do y'all do y'all agree on that premise of the one? No, I do not agree with it. No, just because I gave a girl three, four drinks and we at the club and that was two a.m. 
No, no, no. I agree hey, with that. Just come over to my, just come over to my, uh, just come over and hang out with me. I ain't trying to. That, that's what happens most of the time. Niggas is not just saying, "Hey, you know, it's two a.m. You drunk, and I want to have some drunk sex with you." That is not happening at nine out of ten. What happens nine out of ten times? What happens nine out of ten times is the dude say, "Yo, just come on back to the crib. We're just gonna chill." Most men are not saying outright saying. Hey, you coming over so I can have drunk sex with you on this NDA? That is not know. happening. Listen, if know, she Sarah. go over there and don't expect him to want to have sex, she a goddamn fool. This is, and this is a I woman talking dang, to you. You don't right understand now. how dangerous what you're saying is, but it's okay. Uh, no, it's and, dangerous for women to be walking around true. thinking, um, walking yeah. around, um, getting drunk or whatever like that, and then going and then to a going nigga to house or whatever house. that she and just met at the club. They don't want to have sex. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that's, that's dumb. Right. That's, that's how girls right get great every day. Hey, just come, just come over to my house at two o'clock in the morning. I just met you at this bar. Just come to my house at two o'clock, and we gonna go over there. We gonna go over there. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. One at a time. Black Cali. So here's a lot of black men in jail with that same story. This was known for so long for sexual assault. If this was known for so long, everybody knows this. Everybody that has agreed with y'all, and that why is it so many? Of these situations still happening and women get as aid and why and why black men in jail for it because they fucking stupid that's why that's how you gonna go over stupid. somebody else's house no dead ass I'm, I'm not taking shit back she's a fucking idiot if she meets a nigga at the club after having two or three drinks and you talking about come over to my fucking crib and it's old dark 30 in the morning and she don't expect that nigga to want to have sex she's a goddamn fool Period. But we still not addressing the gray area. Which yeah, is we're, the not, we're not addressing. They don't I mean, want to address that part. They don't want to address that part, vapors. They just saying that the woman has all autonomy, even though she might be drunk. Is it is what they don't want to address the gray area. It's just if you go over at any man's house at two a.m., that is it. You might as well accept that you are going to have a peen inside of you, no matter what. That's is not what I said, Sharon. Exactly. Exactly. That is not what I said. Jesus Christ. I, I, I said, don't be surprised. I said, don't wow. be surprised if he wants to have sex. I didn't say anything about expect to have a penis in you. Nobody said that bullshit. You don't think that's what he's doing. You don't think that's what he's doing. Okay. You don't think that's what he's doing. But it's fine. Okay. That's how it manifests, we, if we want to go verbatim what you said. You better go verbatim what I said because your remix is horrible. You're a horrible DJ. Okay. We don't go verbatim what you said. If you are a woman and you go to any man house at 2 a.m., that man is going to expect sex from you. That's it. That's what she said. So cool. Now you you happy with me saying it that way? The average man, put the average on there, and that's true. No caveat. The average man is going to be affected. The blanket statement. statement. Leave it. I don't understand don't have why you think what I said is different from what you're saying. Okay. It's just that I'm being a little bit more honest. <laughs> <laughs> average nigga ain't getting no beans. pussy. Little man, podcast. Man. What is your thoughts on the topic at hand? And before you go, I want um no. uh shout no. out to she is rising. Go ahead, PA Diva. All righty. There is never an excuse for assault. Be careful. That's what? about to be a situation. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. She is ri rising souls. I appreciate that. That's the part that they not really understand what we are trying to talk towards, but it is okay. Go ahead, little podcast. I just wanted to, I really just wanted to thank you for keeping the intellectual standard low. It makes it easier for the other channels. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. She called it a remix. That was crazy. How you took what Kelly Bev said and made it what you wanted it to be. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. So, hold on, so, 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 podcast. Are you saying I that mean, words don't mean something? They don't insinuate something. I'm saying they absolutely do, which is why you shouldn't have took her words and made them mean what you wanted them to mean. What? You how, how, hold on, hold on. Hold that on, is Beans. crazy. Beans, what he said was what? fucking true. That's how it manifests. Y'all act like, let, let's say we can see to y'all point. Hold on, Beans, let's say that. Hold on, hold on, Sharon, I got this. Because I, 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 if we talk about intellect, I dare a nigga show me they resume and they education. We can talk about intellect, right? But let's have a real conversation, right? A conversation. <laughs> when she said that the men expect that sex, how does that manifest? How many women have said the nigga came over and put a dick out? So when he said that, it goes along to her fucking narrative. That these men expect sex. You think that they're coming over there and, and making tea and crumpets? Oh, oh, oh hold, 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 hold on, Callie. Go ahead and tell me that they all treat these women like gentlemen, too. No, no, you don't, Callie. It's still oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not you, podcast. Still, it's still my turn, Go ahead Callie. and tell hold me on. how 
they are whole they come over there and they and they had this expectation of sex and they putting the pillow down and they doing like no they treat them like fucking hoes or 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 am i wrong okay break it down for me if you go okay. into a nigga Cali, 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 Cali. Right. I believe niggas with no intelligence so, some intelligence. That's crazy. So, so, so let me let me ask you a question, Sharon. <laughs> Your man just tried to make the argument that expectation equals to manifestation. That's what he just said. See, I'm not remixing. Oh my fucking god! What he said. I'm saying exactly what he just said. How does no, it manifest? That's what he said. So he said expectation leads to manifestation. So why is that's it? Not that what I said. Is it? It's not okay. Then you go mis ahead. mischaracterize. Oh, please, go ahead. Go Good. Ahead. I said if the man had the expectation, this is how yeah. how it might manifest. I never mm -hmm. said that expectation always lead to manifestation, but that's what you dumb niggas say in space. Let me correct right, it right. again. Let me correct right. you niggas again. Okay. Right. If a right. man have the expectation, one of the ways that it might manifest is him pulling his dick out. It might manifest mm. with him holding her down and graping her. That happens too. It right. happens, it manifests in a lot of different ways, you dumb niggas. And if you actually listen to women, right. they tell you this. I went over his house, just like Kelly said. And let's <laughs> say if I was going over to, have, um, to get drunk and have fun. And then he whipped his thing out because he right. expected sex like Kelly said. This happens right. for beans. Does it not happen? No, you you, you win. So, I Sharon, can see my time. Sharon, here's my question to you, first of all. <laughs> Is it yes or no? Can you give me a yes or no answer? Because I'm not going to waste my time if you can't. Uh, I, I believe so. <laughs> Is it wrong for a man to pull his <laughs> dick out of his own house? Yes. In front of a woman that didn't yeah. ask for it? Yes. That's sexual assault. So we, 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 we just want to have... No, so I, 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 I got you. I got you. Let me apologize. No need. I got you. It's no need. So if we just going to go up that blanket statement, uh, no, it's no, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> just wanted to make sure we wasn't saying that. So here's the thing, right? Sharon, specifically what she stated was about expectation, right? Here's the thing. And this is something that I'm about to use on my next show. And I want to thank you for this because you just made me realize this. Women are full of shit, right? Because they will go to a nigga house at 2 a.m. Knowing bloody well that that man is expecting sex. Are you so Sharon? I want to make sure I understand this clearly before I before I regurgitate this on my platform. You can see to the fact that women know when they're going to a man's house at 2 a.m., he has a desire or an expectation for sex. Yes. By this conversation, I would have to say yes. Me personally, no. Uh -uh. Okay. So I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because right. not because because we, we gotta be careful how it's framed because somebody would take that me and beans just saying yes or no and they would intellectually reframe what me and beans is actually talking well, about. Well, you gotta let people be stupid. It's okay. So listen, here's the reason why I'm saying this, right? Because <laughs> as a woman, if I'm going to a man's house, knowing I don't care what time it is actually, and I know for a fact that this man has a desire or expectation for sex, and I'm not gonna give him none. I'm literally going to reject them. Why would you do that? Why are you going? If you know that you don't want to have sex, what is the reason that you're going? You know he wants it, and you know you don't want to. So mm -hmm. why are you going? Uh, yeah. so, can so I answer? Uh, yes, you can't answer that, because that is very dangerous. But go ahead. Uh, oh, my God. He always hurts. Thank you, for the same man. reason that men will solicit a prostitute and then stiff on the payment after he done got what he wants. So that's not Damn. an answer to why you're going. Exactly. That is an so, answer. It's not. If they don't want to. Because they don't want to. I want to jump in beans. I want to jump in beans. And then... uh, This is a super easy question for you, Sharon. You let her respond, so let us have a conversation, right? She, this, the words out of her mouth was because they don't want to. So remember the question, Sharon, was why are you going? And she said because they don't want to. See, this is when you know that a person is listening to respond. This is they, they don't want to is not even a the answer to the question of why did you go? 
You see right, what I'm saying? We're not, we're well, that's how you know it's a bullshit that, response. Let's not on that. So, so, so <laughs> yeah, we have to because we need to highlight people when they're we fucking. Don't, we don't need to highlight those things. Oh, yeah, God. Here's the thing. I got you. I got you. I'm a brother. Right. The biggest dummy. I've been in college. You can say whatever you want to. I know how to answer a question. Okay, so not really. So, here's. I got you, brother. Hold on. I got y'all. So, here's the problem. So, if a woman wants to meet and understand who this man is, she was going to go over to his house and eat some dinner, eat some food, hang out with him, drink coffee. These mm -hmm. things is natural when we got dating and you getting to know somebody. So, no, it shouldn't be a time frame on when you could go and hang out with somebody. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, get to know them. But if that's what y'all saying, y'all don't realize what you're saying. For what some if y'all both have insomnia? Insomnia is a man. Is what we're saying is this, Sharon. If, you, if, if somebody told you to come work a job that you knew they weren't going to pay you for, you wouldn't go, right? So I'm saying use the same logic right here. You know this is the man what he wants. You know this is his intentions. So why would you try to force him into anything else? Why would you try to force him into a getting to know you session if you know for a fact that his intentions is sex? So here's what I'm asking. Here's the hold on, hold on. Here's the problem with what y'all saying, what y'all don't realize. Y'all really all saying this on a sober mind. We are talking about people that is drinking, having fun, and things can carry on. And like, hey, we want to continue this fun. This is the part that is, is weird to me that we don't understand how things escalate into people hanging out with each other. It's also just as fun, and two, it ain't no fucking more. That's how it happens. So it's also really one drink, about it. two drinks, wow. three drinks, four drinks. Hey, let's say the, the bar is closed or the stores is closed. Let's take it over to my crib because I have more drinks and coffee and all these things. And that's how things happen in the escalate. So now so is that, that the scenario that I have with the conversation, we act like we are not insinuating anything that every time when we talk, we're talking strictly and, and absolute, and that's not the case. Okay, but Sharon, to be fair, so this is why this is unfair. Because right now, what you just said was about being at the bar and having drinks and then going back that's to the man's house. Okay, so here's the thing. when I That's a lie. And I, and whoever wanted bet money, let's do it. When I tuned in, you were, I specifically heard people saying shit about getting a phone call, him saying come over. I heard y'all say more what? scenarios than just being at the club. So, so, so podcast, there's the no, problem. So the problem is, is that they, they, couldn't, they, couldn't, they couldn't beat, they couldn't okay, beat. Just said what I heard, yeah, because he, he, that's what he came in at. It, it, right, that's, that's why he I came, came in, in at. So, so the problem is, is that they had to do all those things to try to prove a fake point. Yeah, oh, so they switched though. the scenario to that. Yes, yes. they kept we trying to that, that. We kept trying to bring it back, and they was like, "No, well, what about okay. we ain't talking about?" Okay, so that's, under, that's so. See, this is what this is why we got to allow each other to talk because sometimes exactly. it's that little gray area that we could miss, and that it could change the whole conversation. That right, one yeah. little, that one little piece of information. Because now that I said that part, he understands why I'm talking the way how I'm talking now. He like, oh. okay. So, 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 so with that being said, now that I understand yeah. the parameters of the example, okay. let's use it. Sharon, that's better. If yeah. you're at the club, we I know women like the line say they went to the club for the music. I got you. Okay. But you at the club, there's a man there. I don't like how you, I don't you drink. like how you painted that one though, but go ahead. It, it is what it oh, is. Man. Man. I don't I don't hate women. I, I want to get I want to get verbal in there and Sean and Tony in there as well. Well, look, go ahead, you explain hey, the, the, the original situation. The 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 there's a hey. guy buying her drink. Let's, let's, let, beans, let beans land it. Let him paint the conversation so, so we could just move on with the conversation. That's all. So, go ahead, so Sharon, look. So I'm asking you, right? Let's walk it down. So you're at the club. You're a woman, right? You're at the club. There's Damn. a guy buying you drinks. Yes, because you're the, you're on this side. We're we're, we're debating right now, right? <laughs> so so there's a guy. He's buying you drinks. In the moment when he's buying you drinks, do you as a woman know that he's buying you drinks because he wants to have sex? Yes or no? No. Okay. Secondly, you said after the club is closed, now he invites you back to his house. Do you as a woman know that he is inviting you back to his house because he wants to have sex? Yes or no? No. Okay. So now when you get back to his house, are you saying there's more drinks and stuff involved when you're at the house? Correct. Okay. So now you're at the house and you're having more drinks. Are you saying that he's filling you up with drinks now at the house, but you don't believe that he wants sex? Correct. Okay. So now I need you to explain to me how it is that you will come to the assertion that he does not want sex in all three of those phases. Because I was assuming that we was getting to know each other. We was having a good time and we continued a good oh time after the club. No, no, no. 
Joe. But Saran, but, but Saran, but, but listen, let me show you what you just did. You just said, I, you as the female, were yes. assuming that we. So I'm asking you about his intentions. See, what you're doing is describing your intentions. And Correct. this is why I'm trying to give you the example of why are you going to a man's house that you know is expecting or desiring sex when you know you don't have the intention to give him any? Because why not just I, say, no, I'm not the, coming as, to your house as, until I know I'm ready to say yes to the desire I know you have? Right, because as the woman, I'm assuming that you are not a creep. That I could be able to say no, oh, that I got full of time of myself and say, hey, oh, I'm just taking out with home, but we're gonna go get food, we're gonna go get dinner, we're gonna get breakfast when things open up. Because for oh, example, I, I have done so for example, me personally, I have done that personally, but I don't want to bring yeah. my personal life into that. I hung yeah, out yeah, with yeah. somebody at the bar, we kicked it up, we talking, she outside, we continue to talk, we go get some right. food. Hey, I got some more drinks. I could we just hang out the crib. And all Absolutely. that, and I didn't have to touch it. I didn't have to force on about it. None of that things. But I Absolutely. know most men are not moving that way because most men would say that whatever I would have did to her at that moment, she should have known I was going to do that. Is what they are saying, and they don't realize that they are saying that. And just so, to make wait, it clear, do the women know. I just want to know, Daryl. You can answer this too. What he just said it. about what most what what he believes most men are doing. This is y'all checkmate yourselves. Do you believe women know that? No. Answer it. I'm confused about what you asked. This what you just said that you don't think most men are the way that you moved out. Meet a young lady, having some drinks, go get something to eat, hang out at the crib. No expectations. You just said most men don't move like that. You're acknowledging that most men move with the expectations. Do women know that most men move with the expectations? Sharon Bracey, yes or no? Not when they drinking. No. I'll be down. We are leaving a part. We are leaving a part. That's dangerous. Are, they are leave, we are leaving a part out that they are not in a right state of mind. This is the problem. Y'all act like these people are conscious of what's going on. They are not in their right state of mind at this point is what that we is are dangerous. having a conversation of. And y'all want to talk to these people like they are sober human beings. This is not what we're talking about. We are talking no, no, about you that liberate. No, and we're Sharon, talking about a man I'm and right talking about right right a man that is taking right 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 Sharon, right. you're, Sharon, wait, wait, wait. Sharon, you're making an argument for, for the for the, for the the reduction of inhibitions. And, and I'm not going to argue against you. I concede to that. But we're talking Ooh. about knowledge. This is pre-drunk. Pre-drunk, you knew what men moved. You knew how men moved. You knew what their desires was. You knew what their expectation was. You knew it. This is what I'm saying. So before you started taking the drinks, you knew what the man's expectation was. Sharon, so I don't care right, what so your friends right, think. So you fine. know this we is We are willing me. to concede to oh that. So God, if we are willing man. to concede to that. I'm fine with that. So that means no woman should ever take a drink from a strange man. A woman should never Absolutely. say hello to a strange man because oh, all you not, that's much. crazy. We this, talking is about alcohol. this is what you can't say hello when we were just talking about alcohol. Don't do that. Yeah, anymore. not not hello. Yeah, but men buy drinks. It's just hello, person to a buying a drink. What I the fuck like, is y'all talking about? Y'all don't understand well, that y'all insinuating some crazy shit. No, what I'm saying is I'm gonna make it clear. Sharon, they want to go to prison. They want to go to prison. That's what it is. They want to go to jail. You say hello and say good night. I can get that. Everybody going to get their thoughts in. This is what we're gonna do. PhD is gonna run down the super chats. We're going to let Verbal get in there. We're going to let Sean Antonio get in there. We're going to go Otis, Daryl Long, uh, Cali Bev. Let's try to keep it like that so everybody can get their voices because sometimes, you know, we can get, you know, tight with the mic. So let's uh, attempt to do that. Go ahead, Cal, um, PhD. Oh. All right. Scorched Earth, 824. Why are drunk at the club? Wait. Why are they drunk at the club at 2 a.m. going over a strange man's house is the more appropriate question. Mm. Okay. Where are oh your girlfriends to take you home? Mm. All right. Brownsville, New York. Lure someone Good plus ass, alcohol boy. plus drugs. When you mix these three things I together. I can't do this shit, bro. When you mix these three things together, you satisfy the elements of the offense for attempting uh, essay. Consent is illegal. Mm. <laughs> Black built like a conquering king. Just don't talk to drunk women. Well, there's that too. There's that. All right. So now, yes. so uh, I forgot. I forgot the goddamn lineup. My dear. it was it was it, it was it was verbal and PhD, but but ladies, if, if you don't mind me stepping in just for a second, it was verbal and Sean. That's what. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah, verbal yeah, Sean. Verbal. Shout 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 to Sean. I know you won't mind either. We had to switch it back. 
to this fucking understanding of a woman leaving the club where originally, right? Because y'all don't want to, I like how y'all make up a scenario, but the woman told you what happened to her, right? And, and uh, um, Sharon, please pull it up so we can see that, that the time was 2 a.m. Why you niggas adding parameters to it, right? Mm. She was at a place doing drugs with a friend. And then she said that she blacked out and don't know what happened and was SA. So can we use that scenario? Right. No, we're going. We're going. The reason why we don't want to use that. The reason why we don't want to use that because everybody's going to right now. Everybody's going to agree to that scenario. Let's keep it more of a. But but Sharon, it's easy to say. Well, if a woman, and all of her adulthood was at the bar at two a.m. and went to this man's house, and you're you're framing it so you can get a specific answer when that don't normally fucking happen. When we have a real story of the woman that she actually fucking gave, we don't have to frame it. Right, it's already fucking framed. Dog, have you ever what? been to the club ever? <laughs> do you know what happens after nigga, the club, nigga? What do you think? I'm assuming no, because you just said that that's not normally what happens. I can see my time, dog. When that is like, exactly have, what normally what happens. When I have to go to clubs, we would go to Verbal Assassin, Sean yeah. Antonio. Hey, everybody, cool. what's going on with you? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, what we used to just go go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles after the club. So, I mean, I, I don't know, but I'm old. So, y'all don't go to breakfast no more after the club. Denny's. That's not, we're not talking about that. We're talking about people. I'm just trying. I'm just saying. 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 Anyway. 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 I'm still talking. So I have a question specifically for Callie Beth. Hey, Callie. How are you doing? So here's the thing. I get it. The whole going to a man's house at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know what? The truth is. Two o'clock in the morning, you know, you're going to a man's home. You know, he's attracted to you. Probably at two o'clock in the morning, he's going to want sex. Okay. <laughs> that That is just what it is. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but that is what it is. Okay. We can't really lie about that. But if I go to his house, Callie, and I, maybe I, maybe I'm interested in it too, right? Okay. I'm going to go on over there at two in the morning and I get there. Do I have the right? to then change my mind? Or is it the fact that I went there and I wanted it initially, but then I get there, I, I have to still go through with it? I, I just want to get it straight. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you were saying earlier? Of course you didn't say that. Uh, no, are you Callie? I'm sorry, because Callie's voice is a lot lighter than yours. Damn it. <sighs> no, I just want to know. Okay, I was so, okay, so that's my question. My question is, regardless of all the other stuff y'all talking about, the bottom line is, does a woman have the right to withdraw her consent? Sure. Regardless yeah. of what her intent was initially, regardless, can she withdraw her intent? Yeah, I never said anything different. Okay, I just wanted to know. Thank yeah. you. You know yeah, Sean. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this conversation is kind of weird. <laughs> one thing I hate about YouTube, and I'm, I am going to be that guy. One thing I hate about YouTube, a lot of us are really intelligent, but I do feel like we we argue just to argue. I really mm. do. So what I'm going to do, so I, see, so I see both, I understand points on both sides. I don't know what's so hard about these conversations or what's so hard within us to say, you know what, I understand what you're saying. I agree with this part. I disagree with that part. For some reason, we just can't do that. So the thing is, right, so what where my brain goes is Sean. Sean as Taylor's dad a girl who's going to be 18 in December, my brain goes to what, what am I going to tell my beautiful daughter? Don't go back to no guy's fucking fucking place. Period. You shouldn't be doing that. It's the same thing my grandma told, told would, would say it, and, and, and my mom would say. Don't go back to no nigga's house because niggas are foul. Sometimes, well not sometimes, like I told her literally two weeks ago, even if a nigga is nice, even if he's a nerd, he wants sex. He does at some point. He ain't just being mm -hmm. your friend just to be your friend most of the time. So uh -huh. I hear what y'all are saying, but how would my question would be, how would you advise my daughter if I told you to give her some advice? I would hope you wouldn't tell her to go back to the crib with some with some nigga, especially if there's some drinking involved or some weed or anything involved. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if, if we if, if we're being honest, the real advice is don't we know that some some people, I'm not putting no number on it, no percentage, some people have an expectation of sex. You know what I'm saying? So don't put yourself in that situation. Also, guys, when you're in that situation,
don't be a fucking a predator or a sexual assailant. Don't do that. But the first thing for me, for my daughter, please don't be there. Right. So, so that, that's that we was giving advice to the women. But what we was attempted to do was to give advice to the men. <laughs> that's what we was exactly. talking about. So, Sharon, this goes so back, though. Talking, I got you. Yeah, I just want to say this one thing and I'll be quiet. This goes back to a previous um, show that you had not too long ago about the safety of women. Mm. See, Otis said that all the women are safe. You know, we ain't got nothing to worry about. But clearly this Ooh. panel with the way the men are speaking, we're not safe. Period. Right. Facts. Yes. Can you please? I, I know you're trying to make your point. I'm not trying to be fun. Let's have a true discussion. When did I say all women are safe? I don't think I said that. And I don't believe all women are safe. Uh, so it was it was the conversation where we said when we brought the stat from the CDC that 50 percent of women are getting S.A. And you said it is not that and deep. Situations like the one that y'all niggas um, green lighting. Yes. Yeah, but what, women aren't, aren't safe. They are. They are. Correct. Like they're walking around with one of the most precious things we could think of, and there are people who will take it. Like, period. Correct. So, no, women are not safe. Yeah, so, what, 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 what the which is exactly so, why we should. Uh, we I just want to. Um, I want to talk to what Sean said because that point was missed. Um, we was talking and giving advice to young men and saying that this is not an excuse to be going ahead and just giving women liquors because you know that makes them loose. And then now you're going to be upset if she do calls and say later that she's been essay. That's what the advice that we was trying Fortune. to. Can, can, I, can I be honest? Do. Can I be honest about about can that, we, Sharon? Because I, and I just want to put this out there for conversation's sake. So uh, one conversation I had with with uh, with with my chick, right? We were we were wondering, like, in these situations, right, both people are drunk or something like that. Is it fair? Now, I'm, I'm not giving my opinion on this. I'm just asking the question. Is it fair that consent, if both people are blackout drunk, if consent is only is on the man has to has to uh, has to has to receive uh, uh, consent from the woman, if both people are blackout drunk? Like just just get past any bias y'all have and really think about that. And yeah. Is that do we feel like that's fair? That that so, that consent is you know. On the so the reason the reason why I would say it is fair is because uh, of our body weight and our fat mass and our muscle mass. So we able to uh, consume consume the liquor faster than a woman because of normally our body type. But I'm saying if you're at the point where you're blackout drunk, mm -hmm. and right. she's at the point where she's black, whatever point it is, whatever it right. took to get there. Both of y'all are, we, we've all been uh, blackout drunk before. Like mm -hmm. real talk, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if we're both, if, if the man and the woman are both at that point, why is it strictly on the man to get consent? Because most of the time for, if they both blackout drunk, one of them had to wake up. Yeah, because if, how you having sex that, if you're blacked out. Yeah, and, that's not right. so usually, and usually the person that wakes up is the man because we could fight off alcohol better because how our body is designed. So usually, yeah, usually so the most, man is not blacked out. We both drunk. get blacked out, like, and then the one of them wake up, which is usually the man. So the man's <laughs> gonna wake up, and his thing still works. He's gonna be able to go through that's it. Crazy. If the woman You're was to wake that. up, if the woman was to wake up and he is blacked out drunk, and she tried to, it's gonna stay unwoken. No. So, it's not gonna get arrested. Not correct. So, so exactly. I think I think I think y'all 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 missing the question. Y'all no, it's not. Why why y'all have to why does it have to devolve into saying something like that? You gotta let you gotta let uh, so I mean, I'm Sean, gonna... you gotta let them be who they are, bro. Go ahead. Right, right. Please, I, I, I would never call you dumb. Please don't do that to me. This is exactly why I, I didn't call you here. dumb. I said it was a dumb statement. Yeah, but why even say that? Why, why not just because it was because okay, it didn't that's, make that's sense. No, it's it's a question. It's not a statement. It's not even a question. It's a statement. Well, bro, he's just saying. He's just saying. Please don't refrain refrain from as that. Let's just move the conversation and try not to throw ad hominems at each other. Damn, y'all whine and cry. But <laughs> go ahead, Sean, try to reiterate the uh, the question. I guess so I can understand it better. And we're gonna open up some more people to uh, answer the question as well. So, so say for instance, right? If if, if we both come in and uh, maybe I'm drunker than my girl, and you know we do what we do in general, like, and she has sex with me. I'm laying there, passed out, drunk, damn near, and she has sex with me. Do we see it in the same way? Like, was she supposed to somehow wake me up to get to get my consent, or is it just her doing what we don't normally do? We have we uh, get drunk and go home and have sex. She should have got your consent. But if what if I gave her my consent beforehand? She should have got your consent. Too. And I had no intention of. But how would she get it? That's by waking you up. I'm, I'm, I'm saying sure in, that, in that situation work. for me, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't say she assaulted me or or violated me in any way. I would say that this is what we do. 
you better fuck me at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's what you said you was gonna do. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? But but, 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 but I will say this to Daryl yeah. real quick though, Daryl. I appreciate the consistency. I'm glad you're saying that, right? Because it's consistent, right? But the problem is that Sharon, when he answered Sean's question, is very he, he's well, I'm not gonna say he's being disingenuous, but he's I believe he's pretending as if blackout means unconscious. And we know that it doesn't, right? Because people drive through blackouts, people fight, people do all kind of stuff. They are very much being active and and and, and causing things to happen. The point of the blackout is that it's a lapse in memory. They don't remember what happened. Beans, That's me, the point of a beans, blackout. Beans, exactly, let me let me ask you exactly. this. Hold on. Let me walk this down on myself. I'm using myself. I'm the dumb one, right? If MJ go on her channel tomorrow and said, I have a I want a public service announcement. Me and Duro was getting super drunk and I had gave him permission beforehand to have sex with me anytime he wants to. Mm -hmm. But I was super drunk, blacked out, didn't know nothing that happened. Right? Mm -hmm. And he I woke up, he was fucking the shit out of me. Do you think the men in this space are gonna say, Duro, bring light? You good, Duro? Or they're gonna call me a grapist? No, no. hell no. Nah. Nobody if they call you a grape, oh, my bad, but you got it. I'm sorry. Well, no, I was just gonna say, but Duro, I think that that would be biased though, right? Cause you're saying what they said about you, absolutely. But that's just because they don't like you. But mm. if they didn't have a problem with you, absolutely they would be on your side. So you what you're saying, I'm glad you led there, cause that was a trap card. So what you're saying is these individuals, they just don't tell the fucking truth when they want to. They lie. Absolutely, right? I say that all the time. They said they got, they said they got switch spirits. We absolutely, I say that all the time. You know, you know, you know, you know, so that's crazy. They so, say so, so look, I, like I'll give y'all an example. Hold on, hold on. So, Sean, let me, let, let me concede the here. So, Otis, what they're saying is right. Otis, hear me, hear me, hear me. An example I made. I'm listening again. I took my girlfriend up there. She she made a public video about it. But if they like me, she won't get no protection. If they don't like me, they gonna shame me to like being said. But if they like me, if they fuck with me. She gonna tell that story for no reason at all because they gonna defend that individual just because they like um, that individual. Not it's not about what's right or wrong, right? So I told you, Sharon, stop moving in the light side. This is the fucking hell. This is this is the darkness. Stop it. Right, but but but, but 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 respectfully, you are making a point about a specific space of about a hundred niggas. So we, we the fuck <laughs> these hundred niggas over here. Right, right. So the beans, the beans, the beans, the beans, the beans. I'm glad you said that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta say this, but does it not correlate to real life? You can say right. I'm making it about a small people, but I can put right. this on real life. It's the reason why we started with R. Kelly and all these, uh, all these other individuals that did stuff. That Dan, right. the dude from Nickelodeon, this no applies point. everywhere, right? Because those individuals saw stuff happening and because they like that individual, blind eye, Sharon, like I said earlier, oh, blind eye. Blind eye niggas. My, I think my point is that I think we have to be careful with some of what we're saying. Like my girl likes my girl likes to take edibles, right? I don't I don't smoke weed. I don't take edibles. None of that shit. Um, but she likes to, and she be like, she just likes to take edibles. She likes how she feels during sex. This is just TMI. I don't care. She likes how it makes her feel during sex. Um, mm -hmm. And and so <clears throat> sometimes she is just higher than than other times, depending on where she got the edible from. So right. if Theron, if that's what you and your wife, you know, was into, and that was y'all's understanding, an understanding would be an understanding. Even if she's high, she wants to have sex. Correct. And I, th I think a lot of times when, when 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 I'm listening to this from the sideline, it makes it seem like it's just like it's it's, it's easy, like like assault is assault, and I want to be clear about that. And and people who do that should be under the jail forever, to me. But there I just go. I don't know. It just it just sounds like. I don't know. It almost sounds like like is some that people saying that, that great? assault it's, is it? Yeah, yeah is that like, great like, area. So, it's, so I understand that. Right. So I think that I think that's completely different. That's why we was talking about um, strangers and things like that. Not people that have that understand like Kelly Bev. She smokes a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure sometimes she gets higher than others other days or whatever. What blah, blah, blah. It's not. It's not like she's gonna look at her husband now as he as aids her one time because she forgot about it more. And she yeah, they just both woke up butt naked. Oh, I guess I'm peeing funny, so I know what happened. But Sharon, I don't, I don't really remember. You know, we know right? that's gonna happen every once in a while. But that's not something that that's not the the subject to it. We know it got men that that's what they they plan was to get that right. girl out of her mind so they could go ahead and take her home and do these things and she don't really know what she's doing this is right. what happens this is but what we really time that's time what we was attempting to talk to and then people want to defend that's people want to defend um situations where they are uh just no casually. what you're doing oh, hold on, hold on. is you're taking let me let me land real quick let let beans let beans jump in there you can go ahead right after that super quick cuz and then and then he got it right cuz Otis, the point that beans was just making 
It was about biasness, right? Again, when they talk about any leaders in these spaces, no matter if, real leaders, right? They shouldn't have biases against African Americans. They should judge fairly, right? Otherwise, they shouldn't be leaders. You, these men are telling us every single day that they are. They have these biases. They will not to the truth. They will not do what's right if they have a bias. You're not a leader then, because if you were, um, if you were a white judge or you were a KKK leader and you get placed, um, um, in a fucking position where you can judge black men and you have that bias, you're gonna say, oh yeah, biases shouldn't happen. You should be fair, right? Mm. But again, these niggas and some of the women too, they have the biases and they won't tell the truth because the bias, but they want leadership and mm. camaraderie. Stupid. Got her beans. <laughs> so, so my thing is this, Sean. What, what Sharon is doing is he's taking situations where we all would agree on the SA part of it. Nobody will disagree on any of that. Nobody is ever saying that under any circumstances should you take from a woman, right? What we're, what we're supposed to be talking about is prevention, right? right? I could have sworn it said hashtag SBG. I thought that stood for solutions, right? So what I'm saying is in order to get to solutions, you have to have a conversation about the way that people think. How do they get into these situations in the first place? Mm -hmm. And the thing that Sharon is doing, which I don't just hate because of the fact that I know that that uh, um, um, disaccountability is a disease among women. But it's off the fact that we want to treat them like they're minors. Right. Like as a woman, you absolutely know what's going on with men by the time you are old enough to go into the club. I've been interviewing women for two years. And I've heard the stories about how their lives change when they hit puberty. The men and their families hug them different and hold them different as soon as they develop breasts and as soon as their behinds get a little bit bigger. So you're not going to sit here and tell me that a 21-year-old woman in the club, the before she took one drink, didn't understand why those drinks was being purchased from her. We have to stop playing that game. There's no there's no game where we sh that we should be playing where we take accountability off of women for their own experiences and their own choices because we're not doing it with the men. Sean made the point before me. But when you talked about the woman being drunk, right, and being out of her mind and you didn't give men that same that same grace. Right. I can tell you stories of how I knew men used to crush up. Uh, What was the other one? Not Molly. What was the other one? Before that, ecstasy, yes. crushed up ecstasy, and put it in the Hennessy bottle, right? Before they went to go see chicks, right? Mm. It wasn't because the ecstasy was gonna make the chick pass out; it was just gonna make them horny, right? And make them that much more likely to say yes. Mm. So we know that men do that. Here's the thing: let's we just deal with men, black yeah, women. Boys will be boys, exactly. It's and that's the problem. Million. That's the problem. Forty-two million black people in america 22 million of those are females 12 million of those are women what percentage i'm asking you directly sharon what percentage of the 12 million adult women in this country is that happening to 50 hmm. percent, at least and and see this is what i'm saying the fact that you're sbg but you're willing to say untruths at any moment <laughs> So mm. how is it untruth when the CDC said 50% of women get SA? That's not what I asked you. I you said, said, what percentage of women are being drugged? And I said, let me give you an example. I said 50%. <laughs> that's no. not lie. That's not what I that was not true because you can't. Hold on. He's asking me something that I can't actually. It up. Hold the fuck on. Yes. I cannot actually substantiate because it got to be self-reported. So you gave me, you gave me a, a question. I gave you an answer. Don't yes, tell me that my answer is wrong because, answer. You, because, because there's no way you believe 50% of women no. are being so The problem is this. The problem is this. This is the problem that y'all have. Y'all keep acting like the words that y'all say don't insinuate something. They do. They absolutely no, just, insinuate no, something. You just right. insinuate that the only way you can get SA is if you're drugged. That's what you just insinuated right now by saying that 50% of them were drugged. Yes. When, when, the stat, when the stat said that they were just SA, you don't have to be drugged to be sexually assaulted. And you don't have to have here's sex. Here's the issue. Here's the issue with what y'all saying because clearly y'all don't know how to. Here's a problem with y'all don't know how to read stats, but that's just what's reported. So therefore, we know it's most likely higher. We know it's higher. So therefore, that's why I gave the fifty percent. 
Like, y'all want to act like y'all not insinuating something. And this is the problem that I have with these conversations. Y'all are not just, it's not that fucking hyperbolic where we could just say it's just us on these panels. Y'all don't even think, trying to be The rude, problem is like, that you don't think no. that it's, it go past Bro, what do your kids saying. watch this shit? Do you, do you, do you realize not that it. you are intentionally dumbing yourself down? Why the fuck would you do that, Sharon? There's no way that you believe that 50% of women are drugged, drugged. And sexual assault does not mean sex occurred. Listen what I'm saying again. So this you can grab this a woman this too hard. This this way you can hear me. So I, said, huh? I specifically said S A, right? So that's the ones that's yes. Reported. But I asked you about uh, hold being on. So let me let me make sure you understand what you are saying because you don't get that you are saying something past your exact words. Most people do not listen to words exact. You act like everybody it's has the thought pattern. You act like hold on. You act like everybody has the thought pattern to hear words exact. They do not. So therefore, I'm not just speaking to you. I'm also speaking to you in real time, and I'm also speaking to an audience in real time. So if right. I use exact words, this is why I don't like to say yes and no because, like, that's why I had to frame it. When you ask me a yes and no question, it's gonna they could use that yes and no and say I said something that I did not say. That's number right. one. Number two, when we are saying that it's reported fifty percent, we got to assume that it's high because most people do not want to report it. Most people do not want to go to the to the. Uh, the authorities and say this person did that to me because they know that they're going to be implicated that they was hoes because how did you get to his house? You walked there. Oh, how did you walk there? Blah, blah, blah. And then we go down a whole rabbit hole of the reason why you got there in the first place. And that is the issue. So yes, I would say 50% of the women that get us a, they are drugged. That's how I got to my conclusion of it. Now, whether you agree with it, you think that I'm just trying to cape or something, that's a different story. <laughs> no, I don't but think I'm you're not, caping. So, Sharon, you're saying 50% of the 50%. Yeah. So when, I, when I'm saying, um, because that's my thought pattern to it, so it's not, I'm, so I want to make sure I'm clear that you don't, because I know sometimes. No, I mean, I understand like, I'm what being you being just disingenuous. said, right? I'm not, I'm not being disingenuous. This is, well, that's my thought pattern to it. That's what I'm okay, trying to Okay, I understand what you just said, right? Okay. But that, if you actually think that out, that wouldn't make sense. Based off mm -hmm. of the definition of the term S.A., Bro, most niggas ain't taking time to drug no woman before they take it. Think, Sharon. That's I know you true. keep goofies on your panel, it's but you don't true. have to come down to their level. I don't believe Think. that. Yeah. He's most, specifically well, MJ, MJ just put it in the yeah. chat. He says 43% does involve alcohol. And alcohol is a drug. Alcohol involved doesn't mean somebody is drunk. I want to get Sean in there as well. Go ahead, PH Diva. If you dare. So we're gonna go this MJ the last side with the fiber. It's actually 43% of SA had alcohol involved. The stat is in the chat. Good day, Sharon and panel. Thank you, MJ, the last time. So I was off by seven percent. I apologize. Hey, hey, Sharon. That's Sharon, from I'm college campus. You. See, see what I'm saying? That's from college campus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold please. on, because because hold on, because these don't think alcohol is a drug. It's okay. You don't believe alcohol is a drug. I okay. get it. Yeah, go ahead I and get that part. But that, that's I, I understand that part. Yeah, always. This is what I'm saying. But this is what I'm saying. Because me and you can have that. Yeah. Literal conversation, but the audience cannot have that same right. conversation. You cannot right. do that, and this is why I gotta frame this. What? This, is people, this is why people think that I'm being disingenuous is because I'm having conversation. Go ahead, Ron. Listen, you just told the audience that I don't think alcohol is a drug, and I never said that. That's why you keep talking while I'm trying to correct you. People than just me and you, and absolutely okay, nigga. How many times you gonna say that shit? You got it. Alcohol is a drug. Go ahead. Oh, wait, Sharon, when did I ever say that it wasn't? Go ahead, Brownsville, New York. I'm oh, not this saying is that the you point where you self-check. I never said that it wasn't. You just said that I meant that, and most I never people, said that it wasn't. Most people do not look at alcohol as a drug. Right. So now okay. you're speaking for most people. Yes, because okay, I have so conversations with next them. Time I ask you, a so the, the fact, the, his, his, you know why I know Make that sure most people. For most this, people. Is, this is the reason why. This is before we go. This is the reason why I know most people do not look at it as crazy. a drug. Because when I gave you the fifty percent of women are drugged, you did not want to believe it because you, most people will go straight to hard drugs. That is the reason why you gave me so much pushback in the first okay, place. Okay, Sharon, let me ask you a question. Let me ask now you a question. that we got the let actual me ask you a question, stat, Sharon, let me ask what I'm saying is this: question. now that we got the actual mm, stat, I am wrong. more. It's closer to me. Saying that I was telling the talk. truth because 43% contains alcohol. 
Right. Hey, Sharon, Sharon, let Sharon, me know. Let me ask you. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. Come on, please. I, I understand. We. I understand. We excited. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna get you in there, Brownsville. I'm gonna get Jesus you in there, verbal. But this we. Let, let us. We all gonna have the conversation. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Beans. You. You act like with me saying 50 percent that I was far off when the. I'm actual acting time. like you won't let me talk to you. Stop telling me what I'm acting like and let me say it. The problem is, before you go ahead, this is where I give you the space so you can get your full oh, thought out. And he's, and let me let everybody know. Please let Beans say his full thought. He's going to be long with it because he got a lot to say. Please you create another him, narrative. Please allow him to get out talking. his full thought. It's, it's just what it is. It's not me painting the narrative. It you, is. You got a lot to say right now. It's okay. I'm asking you questions, nigga. I don't got shit to say because you're the dummy. I'm asking you questions because I'm trying to see why the fuck you playing this dumbass game, bro. Because you you are, you're not understanding that fifty percent. How you feel to talk again after you just got right. to ask everybody else? Now you talk. feel to talk I am again. I'm doing my best to give you a space to talk, but you don't want. Right, so then be quiet. This you how you don't like when I just created a narrative about you. I'm not don't do it to me. I do not care about no narrative. What okay, I'm then, to say so this. let me talk then, Sharon. Since you don't. No, care. let me fucking talk. Right, exactly. Jesus Christ. Right. Stop making the conversation. I, I know what you're doing. You're trying to get people to think you're so frustrated so they can spend some money and kick me off. Sharon, you can just drop me if it's that serious. Or you could let me fucking ask you the question I've been trying to ask you for 10 minutes while you keep creating narratives. No, you could let me talk. Yeah. You, don't know, you're you not just told me to talk. talk. You do not know. You are interrupting me while I'm talking. Go ahead, Sharon. You got it. It's your show. I apologize. Sharon, you might. I'm <laughs> what I'm saying is what I'm saying is this. So me saying that 50%, I wasn't even far off. But when I said 50%, you were saying I'm disingenuous, but you didn't want to put that on me. You said, nah, this, that's a crazy stat, blah, blah, blah. But my number was actually really close to the actual number, is what I'm saying. Right. But when you jumped off the rail and paint Sonata that I mm -hmm. was egregious about my 50%, where I'm actually very close to the 50% is what mm -hmm. I was trying to get to. Go ahead, Beans. Thank you mm -hmm. for allowing me to say that. Let right. me roll my weed up. Ron, let me ask hey. you a question. If can you concede to that first? Absolutely not. Why not? Because you're trying to and you're trying to conflate a stat. The stat said that 43% of SAs were alcohol involved. You the motherfucker who five minutes ago told us that words matter. Is there a difference, Otis? I'm asking you because you seem like the most rational person right now. Is there a difference between alcohol involved and drugged? Is there a difference? Uh-oh. Drugs and alcohol is the same. No, 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 thing. no, no, not drugs. D R U G G E D. Drug duh. Is there a difference between drug duh and alcohol involved? Yes or no? Based no. on your clarity, no. No. <laughs> no, based on your clarity, no. But based boy, on your mother, clarity, boy, boy. I hear what you're saying. I hear you, Ron. I hear what you're saying. But based on Sharon's clarity, Alcohol, alcohol is a drug. That's not the no, y'all y'all missing this question. Oh my god. god! No, no, he's missing. What he's saying is this. What he's saying that once I give the what he's saying is this. This is what he's trying to say. He's trying to say because because she wanted the alcohol, that means that she wasn't drugged. Yes, <laughs> nigga, that's, that's exactly what, what it means. But you are yeah. wrong. What the fuck you are, are you wrong. talking about? <laughs> hey, Sharon, Sharon, so, so, let me, 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 we just have a different clarity of what we're saying, but we are on the same page. Uh, go ahead, um, Brownsville, New York, please uh, get your point in. Uh, did we go Sean Antonio? Oh, man, this is this is a great back and forth. But, Beans, you got to let us have the conversation because we were on the same page this whole time when we thought we wasn't. But go ahead, uh, Brownsville, New York. All right, it's a great conversation, man, but let's get down Excuse to me. some truth, right? Um, first of all, to reframe the conversation, uh, three, what is it, 318? What was his name, 1015 or whatever his name was? He brought up the conversation of inviting a girl over giving her some molly and then having sex with her right that's how this whole conversation got framed from that premise right now verbal and kylie bev and sean all three of them had good points about prevention right we got to teach our daughters we got to teach our ladies not to accept drinks from men not to go into men's house late at night not to accept drugs or any type of bro prohibitive substances from men right because 
men by and large are untrustworthy in that regard. So yes, we get that prevention is absolutely very important. Yes. But however, the conversation that seems to be going over everybody's head is that consent in forms of legalities has already been adjudicated. Congress has already set the boundaries on consent, right? Get so them brownfield. Anytime, anytime you introduce a drug or alcohol into a sexual situation and that person is intoxicated legally, they cannot give consent. That's if they ask for it, if they request it, any, any of those things, right? This is what we have to teach our young men and women because this is very important, right? Mm -hmm. The conversation you guys was having was, but well, what if she came in with it? Or what if she asked for it and she took it and then we did it? No, if she's intoxicated in any way, she cannot give you consent. Even if she gave you consent prior to the intoxication, once the intoxication happens, the consent Hello, is niggas. no longer legal and you're mm -hmm. in trouble. That's if the she point. leaves your house and go to the hospital, call the police, and she says, hey, I was involved in a situation with this guy. He gave me some drugs or alcohol. I got intoxicated and he had sex with me. I didn't want to. Even if she wanted to, you're putting yourself in jeopardy. What the fuck is the point of this? Well, Brown's bill, let's say, hold on, so, hold on, hold on. So, so you mean tell me that the law has written Hold on, hold on. So, Beans, you've been right, Kelly. Hold on. So, Beans, you've been right, Kelly. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Damn, y'all act like y'all don't have no goddamn coof. Goddamn. And so, Beans, you've been telling me you disagree with what he said? It's not about this. It's fucked up in 2024. Yo. God damn, they done got him. They <laughs> Sharon. To, to, to land Shout my out, hold on. Sharon. All right, go ahead. Sharon. Hold on. PhD. To, to land my plane. Hold on. I got you, Browns. Will you be there? Go ahead. Uh, PhD, are you there? She rising souls with the twin, but the disrespect is not warranted by beans. Yikes. Wow. Uh, yeah. Also, Sway producer, <laughs> member for one month. If you're drugged, you're forced to take it. That is beans. Um, reasoning that's how he looks at it as well uh so that's at two that Damn. one 159 yeah that's what that's how he's saying he's saying the drug that means you don't know this man said it is that's what he's that's what he is saying that, he's saying that, that is what he said right. that's exactly yeah, that's, that, that is what he, that is what thank he's saying thank you so y'all like y'all don't understand but that's what he said I mean, yeah. Yeah. if you are drug that means you don't know that you took that that's, 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 that's what beans. you are drug means yeah, that's what beans okay. excuses to it, but that is not my definition to it at all. But uh, go ahead, Brownsville, finish out your point. Go ahead. And if anybody want to say beans before um one fifty nine, it is twenty dollars to bring beans little podcast back to bring back the argument. Go ahead, Brownsville, New York. Are you there? Going once, going twice. Go ahead, Sean Antonio. Can you uh, bring back uh, MJ's super chat? Okay. Which one? Uh, 43%? About, yeah, 43%. Um, now, I may be the resident stickler for stats, but this this is, um, this is doesn't tell me anything in terms of a stat. 43% um, alcohol involved can mean a lot of things. It can mean that the guy had a drink. It doesn't mean he was drunk. It can mean that the woman had a drink. It doesn't mean that she was drunk. What it also doesn't do is tell us if anything else was involved. So I just want to be just state we got to be careful with things like this because it doesn't tell us anything in terms of causation or anything like that. Who's got music playing? This, this, that's me. I mean, I'm in a restaurant. So yeah, that's 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 my point. At, at the end of the day, though, um, at the end of the day, though, I want to say it one more time guys can be creeps, they can be. Be careful if you're a woman. Guys, please avoid these situations. The other thing, Brownsville was just saying something about um, yeah. he was saying that um, he was just saying that uh, consent was adjudicated. So if consent is already adjudicated, I don't know if Brownsville is still here, but Brownsville, in that adjudication, does it say that it's adjudicated for women only or for men only? Because what you said is that uh, basically you said a drunk woman could give consent. But wouldn't that mean that a drunk man can't give consent as well? Uh, so I'm glad you asked that question, right? Because you mentioned drunk. 
Drunk and intoxication aren't the same thing. Okay, right? cool. Intoxicated. Replace the right. drunk with okay. intoxicated. Cool. So exactly. does it, does it so, strictly say women or no? Does it say and I and I didn't say and and I didn't put I didn't even put gender in my whole soliloquy when I was explaining. It. No, you said women. You said women. No, I didn't. You did. I didn't you say did. anything we, about women. Bro, we, bro, I don't make nothing up. We can run That's it back. Okay. But you That's okay. To, run it back. I didn't say anything oh about women. I said what men and women need to understand. Because here's the thing, just like you said, right? You conflated drunk and intoxication, right? And that is the problem because you're assuming that someone may not be drunk, but on the other hand, they may be legally intoxicated. And at that point, you're still thinking that you have the right to get consent, but you don't. Legally, you're in trouble. But she didn't answer my question. My question was, does the law, does the adjudicate, in the adjudication, does, does it say people or does it say women specifically? And if it, in that instance, does it, does that mean that me as a man, if I'm intoxicated, to use your word, then do I have to give consent? Does that mean that she does not have my consent, even if I expressly gave it to her beforehand? Yes, I already answered that. It goes both ways. It's not gender specific. To to Sean, I don't is that Sean, but to, to Sean's point, right? When he when he brought up that two people who are blacked out drunk, right? And they're they're having no neither one of them can give consent at that point. Once anyone is intoxicated, consent is automatically withdrawn. Okay, so what I'm trying to highlight is that a lot of times we have these long to Sway's point, we have these long drawn out arguments. But most of these things that we try to make gender specific are not. They're just human things. You know what I'm saying? Consent is a thing in general. It's not just it's not just that women own consent. Like women can put themselves in a bad situation too. It's just that men don't report it. So I'm just saying, like, let's why why are we making it gender specific when it's not not that? Well, I didn't uh, make it gender oh specific. I'm not saying you, I'm just saying in Oh general, my god, you keep saying the same thing. Okay. Uh so, Jesus. Okay. All right. So we got that clear. So it's not gender what all Sean was trying to get us to understand that it's not gender specific. That's why he asked the phone question. He wasn't actually questioning Browns, but he just wanted to get it out there that it's not gender specific is what Sean was attempting to do. So now we understand that you men, absolutely, you have the right to say no to some vagina just because somebody's walking down the street. It's Gabrielle Cinebray Precious come and try to drop it on you like it's hot. You can tell her big ass no. It's what okay. we, we okay, also, so Sharon, we also, then, we also gotta We also got to answer the question, though, as far as who is getting sexually assaulted more, men or women? Oh, right. Uh, That's the point. I think um, <laughs> I, I actually believe it is very close to each other, to be honest with you. Uh, but, it's, but then, the, it's the but then that, it would be that, males. That, it, it would be males. males committing the, the situation. On it would be sides. males doing it to other males if it's close. Correct. It's not women doing right. it to That's men. Right. That's why I asked. That, that would be the getting, next, who was that would be the next part. The act. Yeah, it's mostly men on both sides, whether it's a man or a woman. MJ, the last snapper, she says with the 10 ball, the initial question was percentage of a drug was used during SA. Don't conflate the question to add other variables to undermine the stats. Thanks. Very true, because uh, the fact that it is, is that uh, alcohol is a drug as well. Um, can I say something, please? You I want to go. Can. Okay, great. Thanks. I want to go back to what Brownsville said when he came up and and gave the legal definition of consent and um, how that's already been adjudicated. And there was a couple of comments on here that, uh, well, the law is stupid. It doesn't really matter if you think the law is stupid or not. There's a lot of stupid laws on the books. The point is, it is the law. And if you break it, your ass is going to jail. So that's what the focus needs to be on. If you don't like it, you can go and lobby and try to change it, but that's the law as is. Live by that and you won't find your ass up underneath the prison cell looking like R. Kelly. Right, and it's also it's also a little bit more difficult for a man to say that he is forced when he's on top of her. <laughs> I was forced to go up and down on top of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult uh, of a conversation to just be honest about it, right? It's one person that's usually the dominant. The reason why we say penetration, uh, the person that's doing the penetrate is the dominant one, right? So it's just a little bit more difficult. To no, but Sharon, she came over at 2 in the morning, right? She should have known what was going to pop off. Mm. That's going to be my defense. Hey, that's going to be good enough. Still true. Nope. That part's still true. Me. See, that part's see, still that, true. That, now you're twisting it again. That's now you're twisting it again. Yeah, that part's uh, still true. 
She should have known. I stand on it. I don't care. Hey, I come on. She still should have known. She should. She should not be surprised. She, she should come not on, be man. surprised. If it's exactly. That don't change the narrative. That doesn't mean that she should be. She shouldn't be surprised that he is um, forcing himself on her. Those are not. Those are not the same things. Well, don't I'm be saying weird, is, oh, when woman. a man go to court, right, and he's and he tell the the jury, she she came over there. She should have known when it was. What's gonna happen? Mm. All no. I'm saying is this. There you go. I saying, girl. Again, I'm, Ask I'm, a simple I'm, question about what the judge gonna think about what the fuck y'all talking about. No, the judge is he's gonna be fucking prosecuted. No, that's not an excuse. He's gonna be prosecuted. Yes, he's gonna be prosecuted because he actually committed the sexual assault. He committed a crime. Right. But my daughter, that has has nothing to do with the fact that if a woman is going over to a man's house at 2 a.m., don't be surprised that he expects sex. Those are not the same statements. Okay. Hey. That yeah. part. That's it. Yeah, keep saying, oh. yo. It's so interesting to expecting, me that y'all are... ex- 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 expecting sex and actually going through with it after she says she doesn't want to are two different things. So, like, so here's, here's, the thing, here's the thing that hey, y'all, don't that y'all, y'all don't realize that y'all. This is the thing that y'all don't realize that what y'all insinuating to uh to other young men that are that possibly watching, right? Is that anytime they invite any woman over, no matter what they say. Right, they could say any they could say any other thing, but as long as it's 2 a.m. and they had a drink or something, they could invite a woman over, and that woman got to automatically know what his intentions is. And, and that's the part that y'all don't understand. This is what gets people confused about what happens in the middle of the night. This is why women get a wow. looking of you say you wow, so, but it's you clear, naive, bro. Yo, bro it's, you it's, naive. it's clear to say it's no. clearly it's Her clear to you right. saying any man, of what course. you were saying, any man that take you over at 2 a.m. That is it. You got to expect that to happen to you. Don't not be surprised. Wow. Wow. Those are my exact words. Do not be surprised. The majority of men will. Sex. So, then Callie, will. so then Callie, Bev, and Otis, would you say then that men are inherently predators? Yeah. Because that's what it sounds like. You, you, you would say that. No. 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 No, Expecting sex and actually Otis, forcing Otis, yourself on somebody are two different things. Thank you. I can well articulate that. There's okay, but 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 okay. Well, let let me ask this: Should this he crazy. should he expect sex because it's two in the morning? I mean, like, is there a thing where he yes. has to be expect okay. expecting that, or Good is question. he wrong to expect Gracie. that? Great he can question. want it. Should he expect it though? Can I ask? I'm not, I, I will not say that he's wrong. I got you in a second, Mister Alignment. I got you in a second. He ain't wrong for expecting sex. I don't understand. The link is why not. Expecting why is he not in the morning? Why are you there? Sometimes because it's, it's, goes, so it's two o'clock in the morning. But why should he expect it though? He's it's not his right to have sex with anybody at any time of the day or night. Nobody it, said it was his right. Expect it one. So he shouldn't be expecting it actually. I know they do, but he shouldn't be. I, well, I'm not gonna say that he's wrong for expecting I, it. Absolutely not. Well, right, because it's a predator. So much. It's crazy. Verbal so that's, not a predator. Do... that's not a predator. When, when, I, when I stand in line at Taco Bell, I expect to get my order taken. That don't mean I might not get my order taken. Right, because Taco Bell is actually in the business of it. Now, he can expect sex from a prostitute because he's paying her. So oh, those are two uh, different things. If we're trying to have an honest conversation. Is he paying her? Oh, sorry, <laughs> Kelly. Are you saying that she's a prostitute? Are you saying she's a working girl? Callie's, she used the no. word play. You're not saying okay, then. Callie, so, 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 so where's the expectation? That's that's the thing. It's like I know they do. I'm not saying you're wrong that men do expect that type of thing, but why would you expect that? Like, what, 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 Callie, what is the you, why? why? Why are they expecting oh, sex? Callie, why don't we, why don't we have that, that conversation? Okay, right? Right, hold on, hold on, y'all. One because at a time. It's the so, middle so, of the night. If on, a dude come over to my house at two o'clock in the morning, I expect some dick. Great. Wow. Wow. Right, right. Tell it, Kelly. Tell right. it. Go ahead, uh, Sean. I know you I'm want to get in wanted, people's so look, genitals. That's what y'all so, need to do. I'm so verbal. Yeah, go ahead, Sean, and then we're going to bring in Miss Carolina. If you don't mind me asking, verbal, are you married or have you ever been? Who is talking to me? That's Sean. I'm a widow, Sean. I'm sorry to hear that. And so I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, he um, is too. So look. Man, that's crazy. Oh. Okay. Like, why are we acting like we don't know what booty calls are? Okay, so look, we're not talking about. I think, booty calls. I think in this conversation, a booty like, call is two o'clock in the damn morning. And, and no, it's not. I think what I'm struggling with. I be damn. I think what I'm struggling with is. Hold on, let the man talk, please. 
what I'm struggling with in this conversation, right, is there are just so many of us who've been married, who's been with somebody at some point, like the way that the relationship progressed, yeah, the person comes over your house, you know what I'm saying? And, and things just kind of go how they go. Like in route to Sharon being married or Otis being married or any of us getting married, I'm assuming that this thing, the two o'clock in the morning thing was a thing. And so I just, I just, I just, it, I just really just want to say like, it's not always bad. It's not always a predatory thing. Sometimes it's a thing that, that leads to a long-term, a lifelong partnership. But it just sounds like every, every, everyone that is, that's involved in this situation is a predator. And I think that's a dangerous, you know, that's dangerous, dangerous well, rhetoric. Well, no my, one said my that, issue sir. is no the, no, 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 I'm saying nobody, no, it's, it's being intimated is what I'm saying. I, said, nobody I mean, because that. that's the way that it's coming off to me, because again, y'all are talking about this expectation and you're acting like it's actually okay. People have an expectation and it being okay and proper for them to have that expect expectation to have access to someone's body just based on the time of the day it is, is crazy to me. I agree with you on that. Like expectation, I think, I never used the word expectation. I said people will want it. Expectation is different. I completely agree with you on that. But we can't act like niggas won't, don't want that. So expectation, like you said, that's entitlement. That means like you damn they're going to get it one way or another. I completely agree with you on that, on that specific word. Right. But so let's not act so, like niggas don't want it. So that's the problem that when they using these words, they are telling other young men that it that gives them the green light is what we are trying to explain. That's why we was talking to young men saying, step trying to use drugs and alcohol as a way to get and lure a woman to your house to be this goddamn sex dealer. Because that's what we are telling them to do. They don't realize Lord. that they're doing it. They don't realize it. I get it that they don't realize it because they want to use their word as exact Bible. And other people's not going to use your words as exact Bible. That's the issue that I'm having with the conversation. What I'm saying is that young men, we didn't stop using alcohol as way to get a woman into her panties. But for some reason, as long as it's 2 a.m., you should know you could be a sex demon at 2 a.m. Go ahead, Mr. Alignment. What's your thoughts? Yeah, y'all can hear me. Yeah. I'm good. So yep. my only my only thing with this is um I, I guess I can only talk to Sean Antonio with this because he's been in college. He's been outside. He's actually been around women. So if I'm out at the club and I vibe with a little shorty, a little female, and we rock, and I say, yo, what you doing after this? You're like, nothing. I'm like, are you trying to come back to the crib? She's like, yes. So is there anywhere in between there where I'm, it's not said that I'm expecting the fuck, but once we get there, I'm pretty sure it's some type of movement. It's some type of action that we're kissing. We're in a car. She's touching on me. That leads up to once we get to this place is what the fuck is we going to do once we get here? Lay down, watch a movie. Ho, you can go home. Well, not ho. I'm not going to get on. Sorry. <laughs> but if we, been, if we been for real, like, come on. Like, niggas, niggas be booty calls, too. I just got called mm -hmm. up the other day. Shorty wanted me to come over. That's and a fact. She wanted me to throw everything I had in her. What she, what I was, she was like, yo, come over and do that for me. It was three something in the morning. I got to be to work at seven. What, I, what, I, what was I supposed to get over there and do, Bracey? Here's the problem. What you're saying is completely different. She made it well known what she was going to be that's doing at I'm three in the morning. Right? She Bracey, said, come over here. Damn. She said, come over here and put that thing on me. That's completely different than her saying, hey, come through. I got some weed. I got some E. Just come through. And you come through, you play Xbox while you're getting drunk and all that. You start taking advantage. Damn. You. Because, Bracey, it's sometimes Because you're the same person that's talk about Marie, uh, remedial rhetoric and not being embarrassing, but how do you say, I got weed, I got X, come over? What the fuck transpires after you use those drugs? So Y'all play Uno. Y'all supposed to play Uno. I guess that's what you're trying to say. Y'all supposed to play cards. Say less. Y'all don't see. This is the problem. This is this is this shit is so crazy to me that y'all don't understand this that y'all don't, don't understand. Y'all don't understand what y'all are saying. What you insinuate to somebody that has less intelligence than what you have. Oh my god! When you now say that, I just gave you props. I said less intelligence than what you have. Do you even know what ad hominems mean? No, nah, I don't. Clearly, because I just gave you props. I'm saying that you speaking like everybody is on the same mental pattern as you. When you say these things, somebody of less intellect, they will look at it completely different than what you are looking at it as. Why am I worried about the reason how the reason how we know because somebody could use the goddamn Quran 
and say that this book says it gives them examples to go ahead and do things that is egregious in life and they will blame Allah for it. But if you read the Quran, you know Allah never said no shit like that. So y'all got to be careful about what right. you say because people will use what you said and run with it. I absolutely agree with you. That's irrefutable. Okay, I got that. But well, Bracey, I, I think it comes to a point in life where people get on YouTube and we try to, y'all try to paint y'all narratives and want people to follow your perspectives where it becomes reality, like real life actuality versus YouTube talking points. It's motherfuckers that's out here in real life every day. So even when y'all talk about fucking relationships and shit and, 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 and I, I, bro, it's so, it, it's just detrimental and it becomes a hindrance that it drives me insane that I, I don't even know how to fucking uh, expound no more. So here, here's it's, the problem. Here's the problem, up. Mr. Lyman. A lot of people, they do have good intentions when they just hanging out with somebody on a, on some Yo, start here. getting dressed. You gotta go get a haircut. Come on, there Okay, let me put you on mute while you talk to Mom. other people. So... So here's the thing. So you you in good faith hollered at home, girl. You bought some drinks. Y'all at the crib. Y'all chilling, drinking, smoking. Y'all had sex. Everything was consensual. And you Absolutely. Are adding, you are adding that into the scope of how everybody moved. That is the problem. It's 50% of women getting essayed every day. 43% okay. of that 53% is have some alcohol involved. This is That's the point that y'all make. Y'all keep putting yourselves in these goddamn situations, your morals and your standards amongst all these little motherfuckers so, that's out here that's out here doing the wrong thing is the fucking problem. Stop being a fucking um, promoter and trying to save everybody. Act like your moral you. standards is where everybody else is moving. Like the way how you gotcha. move is not the way how these degenerate that's people a, are moving. That's a fact. Bracy, can well, I say that? I'm, I'm trying to say them. Stop having survivors or more just because you did what yeah. it, with good intention doesn't mean everybody else is moving with good intentions. Yeah. Um, uh, so all if everybody do. don't have good intentions, shouldn't no woman be going over no man's house at 2 o'clock in the morning to play according to, space? According, to these, according okay. to these conversations, a woman should never talk to a fucking man at all. Because Did all I these get... motherfuckers is degenerates exactly. and predators. <laughs> exactly. If we allow y'all to keep talking. If we keep allowing y'all to talk, y'all don't understand that y'all saying women need to run away from men. No, that, bro, that's no, what you're no saying. fool going over there at 2 o'clock in the morning. Exactly, the and the fool would sick. talk to a man. Exactly. Of any Anybody that talks to a fucking man is a fool. If he's a out. fool, Absolutely. period. I figured it out. Absolutely. Wow. Don't even look him in his eyes, ladies. Don't even look him in his eyes. Because if you look him in his eyes too long, he going to expect sex. Yeah. Yeah, Prince yeah, Alec was again. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Y'all, y'all, so, y'all so stuck in your own self in your own bubble that y'all don't realize that's what y'all saying. That's the real problem. That's not true, and I hate when you say that, bro. The, the only which, which is my right to feel this way, and I'm just gonna keep it real. I'm, a, I have the right to feel this way, and I respect the hell out of you. I don't like when you honestly feel in your heart that we don't agree with you. You start just, you to me, you change the narrative. I don't believe Kelly Bell, but I don't want to speak for Kelly Bell or me or saying what you really saying. We, I'm not, let me speak for myself. I'm not saying that, bro. I honestly believe in my heart without microing this down, I'm going to keep it macro. I believe in my heart. I teach my daughter this. Yes, I'm a gentleman. Yes, I know the difference. But if you put yourself in a situation to be in a man's home, at 2 a.m. in the morning, unless you want to be there, because nine times out of ten, not ten out of ten, nine times out of ten, that man is expecting sex. So please, my daughter, please, my daughter, don't be in no man's house at 2 o'clock in the morning. There's right, nothing wrong with that. That's so predatory. That I got you. I got you. So my next question is this. What if, so my next question is this. What if she goes to, what if she, let's just change the scenario. We're going to change the scenario. We're going to leave the 2 a.m. alone. That is a dead horse. Let's change it to, she went to a day party at 10 a.m. She's been drinking mimosas. Now she's going back to a homeboy's house at 2 p.m. Does that change the scenario for you? She's going back. Okay, now you're changing all sorts. Now, so now, so now we can talk. Okay, she's going, okay. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't change nothing. Oh, okay. It really doesn't. Wow. Again, well, Otis, 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 the, 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 the problem, Jesus the problem Christ. is, right, everything you said as far as what you should tell your daughter is correct. So that's the same thing I would tell my daughter. 
everything okay. Cali Bev said that she would tell her daughter and that she's telling the ladies is correct as far as preventing situations. That's the exact same thing I would tell my daughter and I would tell the woman in my life that I love, right? But right. at the so same the breath, at the same token, we have to tell our men. What I would tell my son is if you invite a, a girl to your house at 2 a.m., there's no such thing as implied consent. That does not mean that she oh. wants to have sex with you. You still have to get consent, period. That's the same thing I would tell any man. Just get consent. There's no such thing as, well, I thought this was going to happen. No. Just get consent. Because once you get consent, now you're, you're, you're good. What is the problem? Why can't men understand that point? Right? I'm, I'm not, you know, that that I disagree with so far. You I are. Think gonna be ending. Are you about to end it soon? No, Trump? no, baby girl. We good. Oh. Hey, how you doing? I miss hey, you. Bomb hey, Cherry. Hey, 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 Bomb. Hey, Bomb. I miss you, too. I miss you. And how you doing, Cali Bev? And, and Otis, how you doing? How are you, hey, ma'am? Where you been, Bomb? Uh, oh, is that my girl in the back? Yeah, that's oh, good. Even she here, too. Uh -huh. What's going on, sis? I haven't been feeling well. But anyway, let me say this, okay? So, because I've been here the whole time. I've just been sewing and chilling, right? Now, what I will say is, I've just found out for the first time doing this stream that y'all motherfuckers, not I understand the man-woman dynamic. Y'all not, y'all not getting together, doing petting, kissing, hugging, like, when I used to get together with young men and at 2 a.m., they ain't never put their motherfucker dick in me. But Beak. I was kissing them. We was French kissing, hugging, and petting, touching each other. And y'all motherfuckers not doing that. Like somebody said in the chat, I think it was Dragon and a few other men and women. Like, I didn't know y'all wasn't getting together. That's why y'all missing the intimacy. Men just want to put their dicks in women, and women not for that shit. Mm. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we even get to know each other for me to know if you might, you might have one of them strange looking dicks? I might not want that strange dick in me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might need to look at it a little bit. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's what oh, I'm saying. Man. You could change your mind, right? When he whoops it out, you could be all ready. Exactly. When he whoop that thing out, and you'd be like, hell no. Nah. I was like, oh, oh my God. God. Right. Oh god. So um so yeah, so that's the thing I think um that is is missed in this conversation is that like just because she's coming over to your house, it doesn't give assumed consent is what we are talking about. And y'all acting like because it's 2 a.m. Oh that is consumed oh is it's consumed consent, and if it's 2 p.m., it's not no. consumed consent. That's no. what you said. You said no. if you go over no. to any man's no. house at no. 2 a.m., we no. expect this is why a no. lot of women the woman should just know what it is. I got you, no. Cali Bab. I have I was talking, Cali Bab. You'll get your All chance right, to talk. Ahead. I promise you, I promise you, you'll get your chance to talk. The problem is, this is why a lot of women do not come out and say something happened to them because it was late at night or they was drinking, and they Absolutely. are already perceived as they was knowing what was about to happen, and then they want to change their mind because they was embarrassed after the fact, not during the fact. And this is why women. When it happens to them, they do not come out. They but don't say anything. Happen. And women gaslight, we can gaslight our own selves because of that, because we know that people are going to say things like what Callie's saying, well, she should have known. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, well, people just say, okay, well, you know, they're not going to say anything about it. Right. So uh, go ahead, Callie Bev, and then I want to bring in the beautiful MJ into the conversation. Go ahead, Callie Bev. Him expecting something to happen has nothing to do with implied consent. That just means that's what he's looking for. He's looking for some sex. And don't be surprised that he's looking for it. Now, after you say no and he keep going, that is absolutely sexual assault. That's it. There's nothing else to add to it or anything. That's true. That's, that's, that's the thing. I, I understand what you're saying, right, to a degree. Um, and But like Sharon says, when we speak into a whole audience of people, 100 plus people, and, you know, everybody don't have their common sense, mm. you might have to rephrase things. So I have sons and I would never want them to assume that because a woman came over at two that he get to get him some. Like he need to understand that he need to treat her the same way he would treat her at 2 
2 p.m., mm. that he would treat her at 2 a.m. Mm. And that is what respect. Make sure that this is what you want. And also, you need to make sure she's not drunk. And that's where the topic started, I thought, so I would bring it back. Yes. Men, I don't know what the problem is. Don't give her no drinks. If you don't want, don't give her no drinks. You, why would you want her drunk, drunk anyway? Like we if, know if why she, we try to yeah, we try to skip past that part, Bob. They want to skip past that. It makes them illiterate. It makes their decision making a little bit impaired. We want to skip past that part. Any no, just because we understand that. Yes, I gave my wife a drink before. That doesn't mean I'm trying to take advantage of my wife. Yes, I understand that, but that's not the common denominator when we outside in these streets. We know that. So stop yeah. acting like just because you had good intentions when you gave your wife a drink or your girlfriend she ate a, whatever drug she takes. That's not what's going on in the world, bro. It's now you know not. I can use your words and use them against you, right? Or, or, or are you prepared? Are you prepared what I'm about to do? Because I could take your damn every words, which I do agree with you. I agree with you to a certain degree, but I could just take your words. That's what you would do. But in my mind, and correct me, the average man in the bar, the average, not you, and not me, and not Daryl, the average. When you at a bar, when a man buys a woman a drink, in their mind, what is their end goal? The average man. Can you answer that? Not you, the average man. Please answer that, sir. His, his goal is to soften her up so he can have an invitation to have better and longer conversations with her. Conversation? Yes. Yes. Wow. I've had men buy me drinks, and it was just a conversation. That's it. Some Look. Right. I don't know why they think I be lying. I don't understand. This is crazy. I said to me. majority of men, not you. I said and the majority I, and, of men. Uh, and it still stands because guess what? Majority of men that's in the strip club, they just want to talk to a fucking woman. I'll be there. Okay. I'm done. Because I can't have work. Is buying conversations. They're not even buying goddamn lap dances the way how y'all think they are. Yeah, they're buying conversations. Yeah. It's clear It's clear to me that y'all not really in tune with what's going on in this fucking world, bro. Whoa. No, no. That's because I don't agree with you. Just because I don't agree with you. It's not that you don't agree with me. I'm buying conversation with the host that leave the text, though. No, you don't agree fact, it's, not the, it's not the fact that I don't agree with you. It's the fact that you are so far off. You know, just a simple fact when the the way how I know y'all so far, when I said 50% of women are getting uh as a wow, oh my god, why would you say that? And then it comes out that it was a true stat. And I didn't then say how much of them get yes, how much did. of them oh, getting drunk? Oh, it's 43 percent It's a true fact. But when wow. y'all y'all respond to me, it's like, oh, I don't know where you you live on planet Pluto, Sharon. But every time Bandit. I'm talking, it's a fact that backs up what I'm saying. <laughs> this is crazy to me. I want to bring in MJ, the beautiful MJ. Um, welcome to the show. What's your thoughts, my love? Hey, Sharon. Hey, everyone on the panel. Hi. So I was listening hey. in. And Mr. Otis. Mr. Otis. Yeah. You know, I like you, Mr. Otis. But it goes back to the conversation that we had uh, a couple of days ago, right? What's up? When you state it in that way, like there is an understanding that men, some men, especially at that time, will be thinking about that, right? Sexual interactions with a woman, right? The problem is, is that now you're making it seem that the collective of men think like that. And I think that's that's what Sharon wants to make the um the distinction at. Yes. That not every man is thinking in that way, but we can always take precautions that there are men who are thinking in that way. And once you get the sign that he's thinking in that way, you're not comfortable with the situation. Now it's time to say no. Now it's time to let it be um, you know, be confirmed that this is not what we're going to do. And then try to remove yourself from the situation if it progressed after that, right? Because my problem is that I don't want to keep a label on, oh, if it's 2 o'clock, um, 2 a.m. in the morning, 11 p.m. In, um, in, in, at night, that this is, um, this is automatically letting you know that this is the nasty time, right? Because think about it like this. There's people who work um, during the night, right? So can they have like rendezvous or sexual escapades during the day when they're working at night because they're working on, you know, they have the night shift or the overnight shift. So an essay can happen during the day. An essay can happen in the afternoon. 
An essay can even happen after a concert. What about the um the, the people who goes to a concert and the concert ends at 12 o'clock and they have a house party after um, um later on? Now are you saying that every woman that's going to the house party after on has to assume that this is the time that they were supposed to have a sexual rendezvous, even though it was just like a um you know, at, like a after get together or to eat like something, whatever, not after going to a concert or event or or anything. Right. So we don't want to start labeling when SA occur. We don't want to put labels in that at this particular time, if you're outside or you're amongst certain people or you're with a certain type of person that now there's um is an expectation that you're supposed to be doing something we don't want to do that because that's how a lot of sa victims that's what happened to them right they would Correct. go out with their friends they went to the club or they went to an event a concert afterwards they was invited to go to a house party or go whatever other event and then something happened and if you have people thinking that because it's 2 a.m in the morning 3 a.m in the morning that this is that they know what's going on they know what's going down especially if they're um receiving even more alcohol or substance and they already been drinking throughout the day that this is what's going to happen and you expect it you see what i'm saying so i think that it's really good that we should just disassociate not every man is thinking that way but we can definitely as women know that precaution that there are men who do think that way and if we don't want to um, be in that position we can think consciously and say okay we're going to remove ourselves from that position that's all i wanted to say may yeah, i respond real quick yeah. <clears throat> everything that you said, everything that you said is accurate, but I don't think you honestly heard what I said. I'm going to say it one more time, and I respect everything you said. You named a lot of micros. I was speaking in macro. You named a lot of micro situations, and all your micro examples were accurate. What I said, and I'm going to repeat what I said, I feel, and I teach my daughter this, a woman should not, for the most part, for the most part, not all, 100% accurately and, and all be all, should not be in a man's home at 2 o'clock in the morning. I, I put the time on there for an example. Because, because we all know not me and are all predatorial, not a predator, no. But we have sexual thoughts all the time. And I'm using myself an example. I'm going to put myself in the average. If I get a phone call from a female at two o'clock in the morning, and I'm being honest with you, brace yourself. The first thing to come across my mind, is this a sexual encounter? Yes, that's the first thing to come across my mind. Watch, watch your word. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. After that come across my mind, and I actually have a conversation with the female, of course that might deter, and it might be a platonic situation based on the not the conversation, but the first thing, hear me out. The first thing as a male who is not a predator, who is a homosexual, who considers himself to be average, get the phone call from a female. You just say you're homosexual. Listen, you he, he misspoke. Listen. He misspoke. You no, I misspoke. Hell, he misspoke. I, I'm, a, I'm a heterosexual. Uh -uh. I misspoke. Freudian slip. Freudian anyway, slip. anyway. No ditty. No ditty. No ditty. My no point doubt. is, Ray, no my ditty, point is, no doubt. that's why I told him to be careful. Hey, yeah, listen, yeah. Matter of hey, hey listen, the no diddy, no Thank doubt you. shirt is out. Make sure, hey, I please get, wow. Make sure y'all go and pick up your no diddy, no doubt sweater. It's in the solution page <laughs> store. Go pick up wow. a no diddy, no doubt sweater. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the uh, promotion, Otis. Gab, yeah, finish your thought, Otis. <laughs> Thank you, PH Diva. I, I love you. My point is, I honestly feel that way. And I stand on that. And I am not a, a predator. I'm an average heterosexual man. And a woman calling me at 2 o'clock, the first thing that's going to cross my mind is sex. But after I have that conversation with her, it will be later broken down. And I will handle myself accordingly, for the record. I so, land my plane. That's perfect. So here's the problem that this is why we um rebelling against this remedial rhetoric because when you put the time frame on it, that's why I gave the day drinking part, right? Because they do have day parties. You can start at 12, you can go home of at 12. And the same thing can happen at the day party. So the problem is, but again, 
y'all don't realize what y'all are saying for some for whatever go. reason y'all don't realize what y'all are saying but when you put a time frame on it that means that that woman is now safe when she goes over for lunch to his house at no. 12 p.m when we put the time frame on it that means basically don't expect nothing different that's, that's it's, it's pretty much irrefutable at that point that sex is on goddamn brain that's the reason for the time so when, it, so when is it a safe time to meet a strange man have two drinks and go hang out with him it ain't notice that they talk about right. they so think so about sex all the time all right so definitely so, so again, again, wow. so I'm glad that you said that. So this is what wow. y'all are this is what we keep trying to explain to y'all. Y'all are telling women to never speak to a man. This is what y'all are telling no. them because no. y'all keep what saying no. y'all keep giving no. men excuses no. to no. only no. want sex instead of no. saying let's all get no. together and say, Hey, young no. men, we just no. start treating women no. with respect. No. They are equal human beings to you, no. and we need to teach no. our no. youth no. that no. so this way the fucking temperature of the community can change. No. Y'all don't want to change the goddamn community. No. Y'all don't want to change the temperature of these young men. No. Y'all want them to keep doing the same shit that they've been doing for the past 20, 30 years, and it has not been working. And y'all can't no. get that to your thick ass skull because you're so concerned with 2 a.m. No. The you know expectation, the what expectation, I is, what, what I'm saying is, is yeah. that if you go to deep a man's breath. house Drink the water. alone, okay, you're alone with the man in uh -huh. his home, don't mm -hmm. be surprised if he wants to have sex with you. Wow. That's and it. And you said that if there's nothing wrong prepared, with the expectation, why right? Why can't I be surprised? Why can't right. I? There's nothing wrong with the okay, expectation. Okay, but the, but the expectation is what leads to S.A., that's what we are trying to explain to you. <laughs> exactly. And, oh, so just because oh, you expect oh, it, that means that he's gonna that, he, that means he's gonna sexually assault you. Because the, the expectation is, is what you leads to as a woman came over, he feel like he have a right because this Correct. is what she must be expecting. That's Why else expecting. would she come to my home? And no, literally, no. I, I am speaking strictly to females. Okay, strictly to women. If you are not ready to have sex with a man, don't go over to his house alone and it's just the two of y'all. Tell a man it's to stop simple. expecting sex. And that's, that's, that's the key and here. Cali, 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 no, Cali, 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 I didn't say that at all. I'm talking as I, I a feel woman. Question because you're saying that anytime you go, anytime you accept a drink from a man, anytime you accept a, a open door. I didn't say that either. Hey, Sharon, okay, let, me, let me bridge part, the right? gap. Sharon, so, Sharon, let me nope, bridge the gap. I didn't say nothing about no damn drink. Sharon, okay, let me bridge the hold gap. Hold on. Hold, I got you. I got let, you. Let guys me bridge the gap. No, no. I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is this, right? So, what Kylie Bev is saying is fine. There's nothing wrong with what she's saying, right? What she's saying, she's talking about women preventing being in these bad situations no she's that's not her, that's a point no hold on yes that is, that a is point. exactly what i'm Sharon, saying no. okay hold on. Pause it it hold on no 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 let me break how it down. you gonna tell us just not what she's saying that is yeah, not what she's not, saying you know i don't hear her saying that she's Listen, not saying hold that hold on but she's she only telling on one women. side of the story that's the problem she's only telling one side of the story that's the problem so otis otis now now you brought up a scenario right and i want to walk that scenario with you now kylie bev Callie Bev told 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 her her friend, "Hey, it's two a.m. You shouldn't go there, right? You shouldn't go there." But the friend didn't listen to her, right? So she came over to your house anyway, Otis. So now, Otis, what do you do? Me personally, all, all the average man. Me no, personally, the average man, the average you, man. Yeah, he is the average man. Why you keep right. saying that? Well, you well, are well, the well, average man. Let, me answer, let wow. me answer it. Let me answer it. Me personally, I know I wouldn't do anything. I would lay her down, make sure she's okay. That's me. But I do know a lot of men, a lot of men that would take advantage of that situation. It's not ah, correct, okay, but I know no, some men. I can touch them. Go, no, but you said, listen, listen. That's what okay. I'm saying. Let's mine this out. So, Cali Bev gave the advice to the lady. The lady didn't listen to Cali Bev. She came over to Otis's house who's expecting sex, right? Because that's what you said. You said, okay, hey, I'll, if I call I'll, I'll a girl it. at 2 a.m., I'm expecting sex, right? So now okay. she's at your house. What do you do? Me or Kelly Bell? Me? You. You. And she's drunk. At your house. Hold up. What, 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 tip, what tip? Is she drunk? No, no, no. Listen. Listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying. 
right? It don't you, matter you where you invited she the girl at. over at two a.m. You invited the girl over at two a.m. Right? Yeah. And you said, yes. "I'm expecting sex." Right? The girl talked to Cali Bev, and she did not listen to Cali Bev. She's okay. at your house now, Otis. Now, what do you do? I'm going to. I'm gonna be real. I'm going to talk her into having sex with me because it's two a.m. in the morning, and oh I'm expecting you came over here for sex because it's two a.m. in the I'm morning. Well, then, if she came over for how, sex, you then you do don't that? have to talk her into it. Right. How are you going to do that? Explain that. How are you going to do that? All right. So this what is why I didn't want to go. It doesn't matter. I don't care about his game. I don't care about none of that. Right. Yeah. Get, get, get to the point. I understand. Because I understand the narrative you're trying to prove. So the problem. No, the, the problem narrative. Right? The narrative is, listen, because Sharon, the, the whole point of this is this, right? Because what he was going to say is he was going to use his pressure tactics in order to get something from her that she did not want to give him or intend what? to give him. But that that's what is he the, said. That he is said, the I'm talking to give me sex. Yeah, he that's said. what he said. He said, I'm going to talk into it. That's wow. The wow. Okay. Yeah. That, right? wow. He already wow. said it. So, so wow. that's, the, that's, why, that's why I was asking him. Because listen, Otis, we, it's simple. When you on the phone with her, why don't you say, hey, so what is the intentions for the night? What we doing? Why can't we teach men to do that? Right? Yeah, they're clear. not doing it. Be clear. They're not. Be intentional. Mm -hmm. Callie said. Don't, Callie don't said. Don't play games. Don't, don't <laughs> use pressure tactics. Don't try to trick them. Which is also Be predatory. Right. Don't use any of wow. those and again, so Don't get a drunk. And don't get whatever the ecstasy or that bullshit y'all were talking about earlier. Right. I don't so know. To me, I just said if she take the pill, I agree with all that. Don't you think that's micro? Because she has no, sex. No, it's not. Cherry so can't finish her point, guys. So, so, so again, again, this is this is what... Uh, uh, get bomb, Cherry. Go ahead. No, I was, I was just saying that earlier I heard that somebody said that if the woman came over and took what the pill is, y'all, because I don't right. know nothing about drugs. Mm -hmm. It was Molly. She, and if she have sex, that's because she wanted to have sex. And we're like, wait, how do you know she wanted to have sex? Just because Correct. she wanted to take this pill and have fun. And, right. and it's like everybody else don't mean she wanted to be thought how y'all slawed out of sex. And all right. that. She just wanted to have fun like everybody that's else. It. Correct. Yes. And that's the and that and that's the issue, right? So that's the issue. So a lot of times when they say, "Oh, come over to my house and drink," they're not saying come over to the house and drink so we can have drunk sex. They're gonna say, "Oh no, we're gonna extend the fun. We're gonna have more music. We're gonna dance. We're gonna party. We're gonna have fun." Mm -hmm. That is what that's the game, and we act like we don't understand that part of the game, and we need to start telling our young men this is not game. This is not cool. It's predatory. It's what we was trying to explain. So this way you won't be caught up in some goddamn puffy situation, right? This is the part that y'all don't understand. This shit happened to a lot of men. A lot of young men, they get caught up and they, wow. they in college and they get caught up in some goddamn uh, great situation because they think this is cool. They think this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to get the bitches drunk and then we take them into the room and take advantage of them. This is why a lot of young boys get in messed up situations because they listen to y'all say this dumb remedial rhetoric all day, every day, and is excused. For them to do these things and to tell them tell the boys and the men that it's okay to expect sex based on the right. time frame that a woman comes around you that's okay i would never tell them that it's wrong for them to expect sex oh okay so and women you're is, in danger right and and you, you also endangering so, and you also wow, endangering other young you are also endangering other young men when they are drinking okay. and, and expecting exactly. that, Ron, okay, Ron, and Brown's the problem. I'm not just wow. talking to you, Otis. What I'm saying is that we are not realize that we're endangering young men as well to go to jail when we just say things at 2 a.m. Expect this and expect that. Okay, since you're trying to make me out to be a weirdo, and I know y'all do. We're not talking about you, man. We're not talking about you. I got you. I understand. I'm paying. I'm understanding. I didn't say you, brother. I, oh, I'm not you. Not you. The chat. Not you. The chat. The chat calling me a sexual predator and all that. Not 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 you. The chat. But <laughs> I'm asking question. What the chat? What oh the yeah, they they dragging oh, Otis Dawn in the chat. Oh, okay. Otis been dragged here. every day. What all the chat <laughs> of. Men thinking about sex on a regular basis, the average. What 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 were those numbers? As much as women. 
Come, come yeah, stop it. Come on, bro. Why are you niggas serious? So again, again, so again, this is a part, this is a part of the remedial rhetoric right there. It's a part of it. This is a part of it that y'all think that men want sex more than women. This is a part of it. And so every time a man is walking down the street, every time a man is walking down the street, he see a big boy, his dick get hard. That is a problem that you are telling these young men this. It's a problem. They always looking at these young ladies as some kind of sexual deviant. That's what you don't understand. I asked you for a number, bro. I hear you when you're done with all that talking and all your little soliloquy and all that. I number, asked you for okay, a number. So, so you asked for a it number. It just seems like we, the, uh, the, I'm sorry, Sharon. Go ahead, baby girl. It just seems like, um, I guess uh, maybe I might be um, hearing it wrong, but what I'm getting from it is because we know the nature of men and nature of men want sex, that because we as women have to take protection. We have to think about that precautionary. And because there's this underlining uh, rule that I don't, I never seen this rule before that, you know, if at two o'clock, three o'clock, you're hanging with a man um, that it's going to automatically be assumed that both of y'all want sex, that we have to just remove ourselves from that situation or not put ourselves in that situation. And I, I mean, to me, it's just like it's kind of sad, really, because it does make men look like sex deviants. And if that's the case, right. then, okay, I will agree with you. They're sexual deviants. And then for women to actually er ever actually really be safe is not to deal with men at all in any capacity, not even during the day, not even during the night, not at events, not at club, mm -hmm. not at lounges, nothing, because the, that possibility is always going to be be there. Right, the major women, the major Daryl was showing some major no. women who bowing out. Okay, so Kelly Beth, it, guess, let it explain to us why you don't think what you are saying as is, they promoting, should. is promoting women to run away from men. No, you're just preventing miscommunication and problems. That's all. That's all it is. That's not saying that, oh, if you go over there, you might get sexually assaulted. No, it's just to prevent a problem or, or a possible problem or a possible miscommunication or but anything. Every like man that. walking down the so, street, yeah. when he talks to a woman, he is looking for sex from that woman, correct? No. <laughs> this is what you are saying. That is not what I'm saying. That's wow. not what I'm saying. There's a difference between walking down the street and talking to somebody out okay, in Okay, perfect. So now what is so being now, how in the can, house all right, with someone perfect. alone Perfect. So now, how can a woman decide when a man just wants sex from her or he want to actually get to know how he's going to know that? How she's going to know that? What the hell are you talking about? How would about, the woman Sharon? be able to determine? How would a woman walking down the street determine where the man is trying to have sex with her or when he or when he is trying to get to know her for a relationship? How would she know? Because uh, you talk to the person further. You get to know them further. You don't go to their house and act like I want to talk and get to know you at the house. That's fucking Now, stupid. my next question to you is this. Any man that's talking to you, do he want sex from you? No. Okay. Hey, I got a, I got a question. I got a question. I was not saying that not too long ago, but okay. I got a, I got a question. You, you ain't you got not proven nothing, Teron. Exactly. What the hell? That's my point. I, that damn that's what you said. You said hell, hold, hold on, hold on. See, this is the problem. Y'all don't understand what y'all said. Y'all said that not too long ago. Yes, y'all did. Sure yep. did not. Did. Exactly. Y'all are. I got a, I got a oh question God. for all of you. I women should expect that men want sex. That's what. And that it's okay for men to expect. It. Yes. It's not if she okay, is at uh, his expect, house at two o'clock in the morning. Yes. But expecting something and wanting okay. or desiring something are two different things. Desire okay. is one thing that's natural, but expectation mm -hmm. is something else. And the expectation well, yeah. is what leads to SA. So, Correct. yes, Callie, you should no. be telling boys that they sh should not have an expectation of sex. If you at somebody house at two o'clock in the morning like that, yeah, the expectation is actually normal because it's wow. two o'clock in the morning. Wow. It's yeah, two o'clock in the morning. All right, well, I don't give a damn what time it is. Generation, 
where y'all don't know nothing about booty calls and shit okay, like that. So, I'm glad y'all at. Y'all don't know nothing cool, about booty cool. calls. Cali Bell, so Bell, again, booty calls don't have a set amount of hours. Okay, or okay, like Cali Bell. So we got fine. 2 a.m. So now what happens if they say they was doing the same drinking, but it was in the daytime? Is that 2 p.m.? Do you change your ideology for that? Because it's 2 p.m., so that makes it okay, right? It's daytime. Wow. That don't make no sense. No, the 2 a.m. example is because it's inarguable, period. But for Okay, me, so 2 p.m. What about 2 p.m.? Okay, you, same you, situation. Uh, 2 p.m. I say at 2 a.m. Okay, 2 same. Okay, we move past that. We am agree I, am with I you. Let's just say we, we all, all agree with 2 a.m. Okay, fine. 2 p.m. What's your thoughts? Damn. On 2 p.m. 2 p.m. If, if you're not ready to have sex with that man, don't be at his house alone. So now, so now you change to ever, That's right? That's horrific. <laughs> so now it changed to you should never be alone with a man because he's wanting sex from you, correct? No. What I'm saying is, is that to... Right, you're saying that if you don't want... Because you, you, the thing that you're not understanding, you're saying the young man is expecting it, right? So that means no matter what, if you go alone with a man somewhere, that expectation is sex. That's what you are saying. Yeah, I think she froze. So I, and, and, I, I don't... hey, so I got a question. I got a question for the queens because this is very important, right? Because we got young men hearing this, and they're probably very confused as to how they should engage women, right? Because we've been giving them some crazy ideology today to where they're they're going to be expecting things, and what's going to end up happening, the outcome is going to be they're going to end up behind bars. So we got to fix that, right? Mm -hmm. So. My question is to the ladies, all the queens on the panel, right? If what did you what do you prefer? How do you prefer a man to entice or 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 ask for you to be intimate with them in that way? Do you do you prefer them to be out front with it and real with it and and just straight up, you know, letting you know how he's feeling and wanting to know how you feel or do you expect him to try to play games with it or try to use uh you know game and 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 use uh uh trickery to try to get to get your draws down what do you what do you prefer as a woman how a man should communicate his expectations to you uh Brownsell, i'll go first um i would rather have honesty and consent and i think the problem is the reason why sometimes men use coercion or they use the like the slow the slow kill you know like butter you up and love bomb and stuff like that is due to the simple fact that they don't know how to express themselves to have consent sexually without being raunchy and they feel that by being raunchy is going to be a turn off to the woman she's going to make it seem like she's going to feel like um unvaluable or she's gonna feel cheap or something so that's why they lead in that way because they don't want the woman to feel cheap but they are they're um they're having a hard time explaining to the woman hey i'm sexually interact uh, i'm sexually um attracted to you and i want to interact you in that way are you okay with it so i think that's why they do that kind of coercion type of thing but yeah i prefer honesty and um you know consent but it doesn't have to be raunchy. It doesn't have to be nasty. It don't have to be something that can be a turn off. Mm. Great. Great. Go ahead, PhD. Uh, Bob Cherry or PhD, but yeah. Go ahead, Either PhD. One. You hear? Oh, she's not here. Okay, well, so for me, y'all know I'm married. So my husband just going to, he's going to be like, I want some. I'll be like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's it>. okay. <laughs> Straightforward. Go ahead, no Verb. Points. You there, Verb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, uh, I would be it, pretty much everything MJ said. I completely agree with her. Yeah. I don't want to be tricked or yeah or, co or coerced or you know just tell me what it is. Absolutely, Daryl Long. I agree with the wifey. Hmm. Callie Bev. Warm the engine up. <laughs> ah, man. Yes, you should definitely warm the engine up, and alcohol is not the way to warm it up. God damn it. Can, can so you how, how, how on do that, you Callie How Bev? do you warm? Yeah, Callie, how they warm <laughs> your engine up, baby? What they do? <laughs> Whisper in my ear. You probably might want to lick my ear, kiss me on my neck, <laughs> rub my thigh. Oh, shit. Warm the engine up. 
<laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. And so I can make um, a decision from there if I want to continue. If I don't want to continue, I'll be like, nah, we ain't gonna do this. So and that's the, so, so that's, that's the beauty. Like the way how you worded that, that was beautiful. You didn't say that he should expect um things to happen if he do all those things. That's the difference uh in the conversation and the language, right? Is that um you didn't say he should expect to have sex with me after he do all those things. After he hit me in all my right spots, he should expect this to go down. And that it, it takes away the autonomous of you to make a decision. And that's what we was arguing really is that expectation where that expectation where it could get very dangerous when we have in these conversations, especially against people that might not have the same common sense as we do. Uh, right, that's the but, part we was arguing. Question. Right. But, but basically, cause I'm shocked that she said what she said. I'm not shocked that she said, well, my engine and what to do. I'm shocked that she thought that she had a choice because after this man to touch all your buttons and got you all touch on you and now he's aroused. Mm -hmm. Now you saying that you could tell him no, that he shouldn't <laughs> expect nothing. Right. You the can't be saying that because that's not what you said for the woman who went over there at 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, the 2 a.m. example is pretty much just um, use as it's indisputable. It is what it is at that point. It's wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, somebody in the chat asked a question, and I thought it was a good question. Uh, what time of the day are women able to expect money from men? Damn. There go. <laughs> Boom. And there it is there. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Oh, no. Women can't do that because that's when, when women are predatory now. They're gold diggers. Hey, I thought that was um interesting. So I, I thought I thought that was very interesting, Cali Bev. Um, I'm trying to mine that out, thought pattern wise. Um, that he I think he gets all aroused, y'all both aroused. He's not supposed to expect that you're supposed to still that like, that's <laughs> right. So I that's I how I feel. I had two daughters. Either so way, no, if I say no, it's sexual it's sexual assault. If, if Callie is saying that she's going to tell her sons they should expect sex, then I'm t definitely telling my daughters they should expect money. The men say I'm that. I'm not telling my sons that they should expect sex. What? I've never said that. Okay, okay, so that's, let's make sure we understand it. So, unless it, but if, so you saying you're not telling them that unless it's 2 a.m.? Why does common sense have to be explained on a, on a should or, or, or should or have to basis? Just, this I'm is just going fucking by crazy to me. You, but you, you said that, that it was okay for them to expect sex. And you said that you would never tell a man I that he should it, not expect sex. You said and that you to me. It was given if it's 2 a.m. these spaces, no, it's crazy. About yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. I, I said I wouldn't be surprised if he expects sex at 2 o'clock in the morning. No, I, I, I told you. But remember, I said to you, Callie, you should you, you should tell men that they should not be expecting sex. You say, oh, no, I would never tell a man he shouldn't expect sex. That's what you said on this panel. That's what you oh, just yeah. said. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. So you would tell your so you would tell your sons that they should expect sex. Yeah. You call a girl at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Come, that's setting them up. That's, that's, putting them that's putting them in danger. That's putting them in danger. That's, that's putting they, that's them in danger. Men get in danger too. They they yes. be in jail for sexual assault. And the yes. woman, how is how is how are they going to be in jail for sexual assault if they sexually assault person? Because they expect so something. They expect it. Yeah, when they she expect says it. no, he going to be like, no, my mama said I should expect it, which means exactly. you need to give it to me. Oh, I'm sorry, and you're my wrong to say no. My so this, not so, stupid. All right, so so this is a problem. This is this is why we was having the conversation and saying that not everybody has the common sense. Like you or your sons, right? Because your sons is the exception to the rule of this um this talking point. Cool, that's fine. But we cannot assume that everybody else has the same intellect as you and your sons to have discernment when a woman is coming over at two a.m. She might possibly she still has the possibility of consent when he's supposed to be expecting sex from a woman coming over at two a.m. In the well, morning. yeah. If she comes over at two a.m. and he and she does not want to have sex, yes, he has the right to be surprised. Yes. Wow. Be surprised. Yes. <laughs> he has the right to be surprised that she don't want to have sex. It's fucking two o'clock in the morning. What are you talking about? But okay, whatever. Get out. Wow, that is. Bye. Go ahead, Daryl Long. This is how young black men. Well, if a man, mm -hmm. if a man don't get my daughter's money, I'm gonna tell them they have a right to be surprised. Because it's an expectation. Why are you even talking to my daughters if you're not going to give her any money? I'm confused. 
She has a right yeah. to be confused and surprised that this man is not giving her mm -mm. any nope. money. Because oh, so it works for the boys nope. with sex, but it doesn't work for the girls with money. Exactly. Oh, wow. okay. No, that's not got exactly. it. Thank that's you. Okay. Got it. Yep, yep. Unless y'all live together, he ain't got no business giving you no money and paying your Unless y'all live together, he ain't got no business expecting sex. You ain't got no business not expecting sex or being surprised that he expects sex if you at his house at two o'clock in the morning. Wow. He shouldn't have invited Why you to open the door. He didn't have to open the door. So this is that bullshit. This is no, this you is went over there voluntarily. I said, man, no, it's two o'clock in the morning and you ain't surprised that he expected some sex. Get out of here. He's talking no, to her voluntarily. So my daughter shouldn't be surprised. He shouldn't be surprised when she expects money because he's talking to her voluntarily. Yeah, he's in her face. That's he's in her face. Therefore, she should expect don't get provision from his ass. Let's stay together. That's exactly what I'm going to tell my son. Don't get that whole no money. Does she live with you? She don't need no money. She got her own She got her own bills. She pays. She got her own job. She can pay her own fucking bills. He got his own hand and he can use it. They got some women who got to drop right. their drawers if they he go does. by a man and get eat dinner and get treated nice at 2 a.m. But everybody don't have to do that. You know, I've been by men homes in the middle of the night, the middle of the day, for weekends at a time, weeks at a time. And I ain't have to do nothing I ain't want to do. Some women, though, they right. do. Nobody, put nobody said you have to do anything. Yeah, but All I'm saying do. is don't be surprised if he, don't, do. don't be looking crazy. Don't be looking crazy if he wants some sex. Yeah. And tell you, crazy. don't be looking no, crazy when on, that woman on, wants some money. Hold on. So here's a here's a problem. Damn son. That's for damn well, son. they don't live together. She, he ain't getting no motherfucking pussy neither. <laughs> don't be over there. You ain't, don't be so over be there. That. You don't, so you so you do that. Don't pay, don't up some I don't give a damn. If he's talking to my daughters, he's giving up some dumb. Period. And she should expect it. Yeah, don't go over there if you ain't trying to give up no pussy. Don't be over there. Don't be talking oh, to my daughter if you ain't giving up no dollar bills. Sons, if you're not yep, trying to stay give up no your daughter, then. How about that? They you yeah. might get attacked. Oh, my God. Yeah, it um, might happen. Unless, hey, unless, 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 unless they live together, he ain't got no business paying her damn bills. She got her own job. Pay her own this bills. Is, this is unless crazy. they living together, she, he ain't got no business expecting sex. He got his hand. You'd be shocked at how many men like or another man's no mouth. Business. Yep, don't or his own there. mouth. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what y'all do these days. So this is um, I don't know. To me, um, I think I think as well that um, people want to defend uh young men so much and the, the time frame and all this. I think that's is kind of weird to me personally because I think if we if we talk to weird young, to me, if we talk to younger men, we should uh try to get them to move better and not just keep on with the same remedial oh, rhetoric God. that's been going on. That's the only part that's kind of really bothering me is like, why are we not trying to, why are we not doing our best to to change the way how young men think and understand that women are human beings? What are you thinking at two o'clock in the morning and fighting a female over there? What are you thinking? Yeah, it's just you a think, time you, of you day. You thinking y'all gonna pay cards? Some people just I'm invite you over to play dominoes. That's crazy. You think you're like the So again, so what you are saying is that, so that what you're saying is that, only at that time of the day is the only time when a man should be expecting sex, correct? A man should never expect sex. No, the, uh, guys. I'm, the I'm, I'm just wondering. It's, so it's, 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 it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's, it's two o'clock in the morning. It's self-explanatory. There's no gray area about two o'clock in the morning. So That's if, always my son, if my before. son have his homeboy or his, his homeboy, a, a boy, come over to our house at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning, should I suspect that they fucking? <laughs> yeah, we were, we we covered it's that earlier, in 2024. Sharon, what I was trying wow. to say earlier was this because you know I've been editing all these uh, like these old videos, <laughs> etc. Right? That's crazy. On the panel that we had, that most of us here was here for, they said that it was predatory if a woman expects a man to pay for a fucking meal mm. and not give him sex. They use that word specifically, predatory. Mm. How the fuck? No, it's not predatory. How it's the just, fuck is that predatory, sexual. right? But what we're talking about today is not, mm. right? It's not because predatory. I would hate to go get the clip and bring up the arguments that everybody made that fucking day, mm. right? Well, look, that it I don't was know predatory. About, I don't know about everybody else, but I will say this: it is not predatory. Okay, 
what you gonna call it? What it is is a dumbass expectation just because you paid for dinner that you're supposed to get some ass. This is the first date. That is stupid. That's a dumb expectation. According to who? According to me. I said speaking for so me. That's the, so this is the problem that we have with the conversation. This is why I was saying earlier, way too often when we had these conversations, y'all want to put yourselves in this fucking bubble wrap and think that everybody else thinks like you. That is the issue. That's why so when you are saying these things, you are giving the assumption that people have common sense like you. And clearly you said your son has the same common sense as you and not everybody have the same common sense. So when we are out there saying, and there's somebody else that's out there, they might take your same words of expecting, they might start just calling people up at 2 a.m. I'm going to just call a woman at 2 a.m. because I know they know what time it is when I call them at 2 a.m. And hopefully somebody eventually answers the phone. Yeah. Those, are called, those are called booty calls, sir. Yeah, but you can have a again. You can have a booty call at two p.m. Yeah, you can have a booty call. Have you ever heard that song, "Afternoon Delight"? That's that's about sex in the afternoon. That's a booty call in the afternoon. Like sex is not only happening at two a.m. at night. Oh my god! And also, we are talking to people that most likely don't even have children or, or any of those things, so they can have a booty call at any time of the day or night. That's right, young people. Right, my, we are. So a guy call and say to my daughter, "Hey, what you doing? Oh, I ain't doing nothing. Hey, come through. You know what I mean? We we'll play some music, play for some video games, cause that's what the fuck they doing these days." And she go over, and that don't mean that she want to have sex. He might want oh. some sex, but you know what I mean? Okay, let me mute myself. Yeah, but he said that he wants to play video games and all that other stuff, right? All right, so that's the thing. Most of the time, most of these men are not saying come over at. Whatever time of the day it is, all night, they're not saying, hey, come over here so I could put something, so I could drop something off in your drawers. They are not saying that. They say, hey, come over. It was, we could just chill, talk, have a coffee. Uh, I know you just got off work. I know you work the nighttime shift, so just come over and chill out because I know you ain't tired. They say all types of bullshit just to get the woman there. Yeah, I mean, isn't that the whole saying with that whole Netflix and chill came up? Correct. That whole statement. Right, because everything was leading into we're doing everything else but sex. It's never a real right. conversation that's being had. Like, hey, come through. She's talking about a, a subconscious understanding at, at two a.m. If we're going to be hanging out with each other, then most likely we're going to be hanging out with each other for the whole morning and doing other things behind that. And I mean, look, I'm not saying that Kelly Beb is wrong. I'm just saying that the the you know the expectation part is is pretty it's sad, crazy. right? It's, it's pretty right. sad that you know we are trying to condition young boys to to believe that this is how this is some unspoken truth or some right. unspoken law amongst the community that if you come at this particular time, then you can have that in your head that you can be expecting sex or even try to persuade this person to have sex with you. I, I think that that's, that's just poisoning because what happened with that expectation, not all men, but some men take advantage of their brute strength to, to, to act on that expectation. Exactly. And the law doesn't agree with that. Mm. The law don't know That's nothing about no damn booty call. The law don't know nothing about no unspoken um, rule and code about don't come to the house at three a.m. Because if you don't go anywhere with a man at three a.m. and then and all and all of a sudden something happens to her, or she goes and say that she got S A or she uh, she didn't give consent. He's gonna that's gonna be his ass. Mm. It's not gonna be like well she knew what it was because she came at my house at three a.m. That's not what's gonna happen. No. The courts ain't gonna yeah, hear I, nothing about that. They don't nothing. give a fuck about our little fucking little fucking codes and fucking all that little rules and shit like that and subconscious shit. They don't give a damn about that. No. Once she said that it's unconsented or she been as a, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. Done. Yep. Well, when, and you can't yeah, go into nobody's court talking about. Well, it was two a.m. Your Honor, I expected it because my mama told me to. He ain't no, gonna care about none of that. Not a bit. Actually, actually I was to twenty-five to life, nigga. <laughs> I, I wasn't saying nothing about the man. I was talking about women. I was talking about women and two women. That was that's it. the problem. I wasn't saying nothing about. How was that the problem? Because you're not holding men responsible in a situation where they are are the ones that's committing the fucking act. That's the fucking problem. Okay, why well, have to hold them accountable? Sexual assault is sexual assault. Period. 
even well, before then, well, having well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. Even before then, having the expectation is the problem. No, and you keep going. There's nothing else to say. You sexually assaulted her. Period. If a mother tells her sons that if a woman comes to your house yes. at two a.m. and you and you should expect sex, that's the problem. Yes. Period. That's the fuck who? No. Yes, the fuck it is. Yes, that, that is, is a problem. problem. That is a big problem. You got, you you that's pushed it. In fact, you 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 the catalyst that started the sexual assault. You kind of told your sons. That if she dares step foot in this home after two, two a.m., she came over the busted wide open, and there's nothing else to say, as you put it. There's no gray and, area. That's and just this, and it. this is why we said when you say that there's you no are you 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 are, you are talking to assume consent. That's why we that's why we framed it that way. Um, no, I'm not talking to assume consent. I understand you think you think you that when you no, say no, I'm saying what. Okay, so again, okay, so uh, I got a question for you. So if he if he takes it too far and she gets away, right? Do you still consider that SA? What do you mean takes it too far? If he's start, if he start going on to her a little too strong, puts a finger where it ain't supposed to go or something like that, and she gets up and run out and says, "No, this is not what I want." Is that still considered SA? No, because she said no. He was he was cool all the way up to that point, right? And you don't just go ahead and again. I'm, let me let me let me let me, let me say it. I, I say it again because clearly you misunderstand what I'm saying. I want you to hear me. So this way you're not thinking that I'm trying to get you in some kind of gotcha moment. I'm just conversating with you. If he expects her to have sex and he's coming on strong to her and he's taking it too far. My phone is breaking up. My phone breaking up. Hang on, let me try okay. my Wi-Fi. All right. So so what I'm saying is this, is that so he is expecting what he's expecting. She comes over and he's taking it too far. He's coming on strong. He's and she's saying, stop it. He put a finger where it ain't supposed to go. Is that still not considered a S.A. situation? She said, she said stop before he put the finger in. Yes. And yes, that's sexual assault. Because he and so when you say him, expect, um, what I'm saying is that when you say expect, he's going to come on strong, stronger than he would normally do if it wasn't expected. This is what we are trying to explain. What I'm trying to explain, young men that hear the word expect, they would come on stronger than they normally would if they didn't have that expectation is what we are trying to explain. That's why I said when you put it in practice, right? Let's switch it up a little bit, Sharon. If I pull up in Brownsville, right? You and your cousin Brownsville, right? I don't expect him to give me money, right? So I'm a move with him different. But every time I see you, I expect you to come up to run your whole wallet. I, I expect this of you. How do you think our interaction is gonna be? How do you think it's gonna favor you? Hmm? Of course it's not. So that's why I said earlier, and you said it earlier when somebody whip out their fucking dick. That's what happened when men expect shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, expectation breeds entitlement, right? Entitlement, and especially yeah. because you're setting up the you're setting up the scenario to say that this is what is supposed to be going down, right? When it goes down to Callie Bev's point, she's saying, okay, there is a um a, a subconscious agreement that this is what's going to go down, but she is not making an excuse that if she does say no in the mix of it supposedly supposed to go down and he continues that is not essay. So she's not saying that, right? She, she's saying that if he does continue and she said, no, it is SA. but she's saying that the initial partake of being in somebody's house at a certain particular time is like a sub is an unsubconscious agreement that this is supposed to take place. And I personally, I disagree with that, right? I mean, because I, sh I mean, I wish I should feel comfortable if I'm hanging out with somebody, and unless we say, "Hey, this is what we're doing," you know, because that's how I operate. This is what we're doing. That I wish that people wouldn't expect certain things of me because I don't want no one to have that s sense of entitlement that this is how things are supposed to play out when I'm around you. Right. Exactly. So let me, babe. Let, so let me ask. There. Let me ask the question a little differently than Sharon did. He invites her over. She comes over and he touches her on the butt and gives her a hug. She didn't really want that because she didn't give him. She didn't. He didn't ask her. He just did that. Is that essay? She should, she could prosecute for that. Yes, correct. That's right. That is S.A. Even yeah, he didn't have to put his he didn't have to put his finger in her. He he didn't. She didn't have to say no. Because he was supposed to get consent. See, right. some of y'all think 
he needs to say no for it to be an assault. Be but it's really where he's supposed That's to correct. ask, can he do it? She shouldn't have to say no or nothing. He's supposed to get permission to do it. Great pickup, Bomb. That was a great pickup. Expectation. A strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. That's what expectation means. Sure. A belief that something Friday. will or should achieve something. Should is another word that's part of expectation. Sharon, you saw Friday when Debo got off the um sorry, when he walked up to um to Craig House, he expected they necklaces. He expected Red to give me that bike. And, and what Red said, give my bike back. What you say, nigga? Damn, and I also, wanna, I also yeah. want to welcome to the show Jabba, the Rainbow Boogeyman. What's your expectations in your commentary, sir? I don't have any expectations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, again, I said it in the comment earlier, I think y'all are conflating anticipation with expectation. I think that's where the disconnect is, just listening to the way you guys are going back and forth about this. Um, but also, um, I mean, I try to stay out of this dynamic argument because I'm not part of that dynamic, but y'all got to pick a lane because sometimes women will come up here and say, well, I gave him all the signals and he didn't do anything. So again, and then now you're turning around and saying, well, if he has an expectation, he's wrong. I, that's why I'm like, I'm trying to figure out like, wh where does that line need to be drawn? Because you, or it seems like it's- What are those two? Uh, I got you. So so here's the thing. So if somebody's giving you signals, those signals could be mm -hmm. done anywhere at any time. It could be at the job. It could be walking down the street. It could be where you open the door. It could be all these other places. It, it could be so many things. And plus also giving them the signs means that you are in constant interactions with this human being. But still, she still don't have no expectations. She's just trying to give signs and she just don't understand why he don't understand. Having expectation means that you have a strong belief that something will happen. A strong and okay. Anticipation is regarded as probable, expect or predict. So you are predicting that this is what's going to happen. That's why I'm using anticipation because it's not necessarily the expectation of. I agree with you about the expectation. I think that does implicit some kind of uh, unspoken consent. I Correct. agree on that part. Yes, but what, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to understand is that right. if you're telling if you're telling like if, because there have been women who come up here and said I gave him all the signals to go for it right. and he didn't and, and then it was like well did you actually say that and she said I don't have to say that I shouldn't have to say that so then if you turn around and you say that to a man it's like that's where I'm kind of like you got to really pick a side here because it's like you that's going that's too much back and forth like if you want to verbal consent and full consent i agree with you you should have you should have verbal consent especially now when consent can be revoked at any point so and again you, after the deed is done I would so let the, speak to job so about the, this so the, so the difference is, is that you speak yeah, to somebody. The so, so the problem is that you speak to somebody that's having an ongoing relationship with somebody that is just constantly trying to give them signals, flicking their head. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. I've heard women come up here and say it was just some dude in the club. She was giving him all the signals, and he just wouldn't go for it. Like I've heard that, and I'm. Just I'm like, having trouble. I'm, right, so, so, I'm sorry. I'm having again, trouble so seeing the that is, correlation. The is that, that that man, that man, he didn't want that woman. That's all. I would just say right. to Jabba real quick. As I um, I but, have but heard that, that. I have I'm heard that scenario. Go. I'm sorry. I have heard that scenario before, where some mm -hmm. women who like a man to, you know, uh, I guess, you know, uh, you know, show out a little bit more, show that they're interested in that way. And they said that it was giving hints, blah, blah, blah. We're talking about the protection of men in these scenarios right now, right? Um, yes, there are some women who are like that, but is it really safe for men to act on that and thinking that they're actually getting a hint or not? Because them thinking that this woman is giving them a hint can put them at risk. So for me personally, I would prefer like actual consent, you know, actually having the conversation and confirming what is going on than just trying to pick up signals that we can get wrong. Like, you know, there is the risk of getting signals wrong. So- right. You know that, that I'm thinking more on the protection wise for like my son, yeah, right? Yeah, I would rather absolutely. him to get confirmation than for him to want to be Mr. Uh, Suave and and pick up a hint to see if a woman would really want to deal with him that way, and it turns out that is not that scenario. And mm -hmm. I have to think about that because I am a boy mom. 
So I don't want Absolutely. my son to be put in that situation. And just I, like you know, do like you know, and just like do like Donald Trump said, right? We could just do that. You, you know, now you know what? Now you know you like now you try to move off of. This is a, I'm not. This is what y'all don't understand how this shit escalates. This is how it turns into goddamn locker room talk and fucking barbershop talk. Hey, if you famous enough, so that means if I'm yeah. a good basketball player, all of a sudden I could just do what I want. I could just grab the way if I want to. So this is I, this is and Java, like, just to clear it up for you. This is this is an expectation. Sake. That's what expectation is. Just to clear it for you, Java. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just clear it for you, Java. I'm trying to take like 20 fucking minutes. I'm just gonna keep fucking. Y'all really believe that y'all words don't go past the panel. Java, just to clear it for you. We didn't bring expectations into a motherfucking thing, right? And excuse my tone, it was Cali. We was literally talking about a woman and her actual story, not the one that they fucking made up. And what right. they said was, well, if a woman goes to somewhere, she should just know what it is. Then I asked, what does that mean? What does a woman just knowing what it is? To the fucking point being answered, she said, well, a woman should know that men expect this. If you are a man, go, the, go back and watch the fucking tape. I know. Men I'm not, disputing, I'm hold not, on, hold I'm on, not arguing you. that. I'm so, just saying. I got you. So, hold on. I got you. Because again, we never even was arguing expectations at all. The real conversation was about this woman who had drugs in her system and blacked out. Is that appropriate? Right. But because she went over there and, and, and that wasn't even confirmed at a certain time, we twist the whole conversation to, oh, she went over there at a certain time. Fuck her SA on story. The only thing that matters now is she it's went over there at 2 a.m. The men should have fucking known. Uh, uh, the woman should have known she was going to get fucked. That is fucking That's goofy. It. Right. That is goofy as fuck. Right. But I, I'm okay. So that I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing that because I don't no. Know shit about that damn situation. So I don't know what you. I don't know what you mean, Daryl. The topic. Then you, then, 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 then you have to put your thinking cap on and listen to what we was talking about. Goddamn. No, I put in later. I don't know y'all talking about a specific case. This type. Like what? But we alluded to it multiple times. My sister, my sister specifically said we started off talking about this. We alluded to it multiple times. So at this point in the conversation, that's not an excuse. Right. They no, we were even talking about that case. The whole thing yes. we weren't even talking about that specific case. We were talking about what everybody else was talking about on the damn panel. No, Wait, regardless, regardless, regardless of the case or not, regardless, we still framed it the same way. We still framed it the same way, and we framed it that you should men should not be having expectations because the expectation is going to lead young men into the jail system. That's what's going to really happen. And if you don't want to believe it or not, that is up to you. And uh, but that is well, that is towards the lines that we are going. If young men expect things to happen at two a.m. He's going to be a little bit more aggressive than he's supposed to be. And his ass is going to go to fucking jail if that woman decides not to go along with it. That's as simple as that. I don't know how we can get. We can't we can't go past it no more. So young men out there, God damn it. Listen, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. It don't matter. Shout out to Beretta Scott Kang. God damn it. About to be a situation. The boy mom is giving her predatory son an alibi. Wow, that is sheesh. Uh, I don't think that's what she meant to do because she said her son has common sense. Uh, but the problem is we are talking to her, bro. We're not talking to her sons per se. Um, and that's where I think the confusion is for Kelly because she's not looking at it as that um, at all. Um, she's talking to the broader example. And the problem is a lot of people do not have those common sense. And we will see y'all. 9 a.m. ish. This is how we do it. Solution based group. We continue to build this plane as we fly it. Rebellion against remedial rhetoric. Thank y'all and see y'all later.